Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome in. We got Red in the chat. We got Bart in the chat. Shout out to anyone watching in the YouTube VOD squad. Y'all are real ones. If you are watching the stream right now live or in the VOD, be sure to drop a like on it. It helps out a ton with reaching out to new people and spreading awareness of the community. And we want to get new people in here. So drop a like on the stream. That'd be appreciated. But how are you doing, Red? About to rearrange your room a bit. But how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got to sleep in today. I don't have the stuffy set up. What is wrong with me? Um, but today's pretty good. I just woke up a little while ago. I'm ready to get started. Um, I realized I forgot to do my Friday upload. Uh-oh. Which means we're going to have two Saturday videos. Ah, uh, your boss threw a weekend job on you? That sucks, Red. <laughs> hey, things are starting to warm up. It's starting to be that season. <laughs> Hunting for Mantis with an outbreak. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, Red. I see you. Well, y'all... We need to pick our first target for the night because the whole thing with our one stream, as I like to call it, one stream sequel, is that we need chat suggestions on what to shiny hunt. Only 30 p.m. pickup tomorrow. Mm. At least you're not set up and pick up. But hello, Zinzin. Welcome in, friend. I'm going to sip on my coffee, and y'all, we need some suggestions on what to hunt for first. You're just throwing this out there, but I see Numel in front of me right now. There's a place in the DLC area in the terrarium that you can hunt camera up to Numel. Like you can hunt whole ass camera up. 11 a.m. Damn. At least you get to sleep in a bit if you want, or have some personal time. But okay, y'all. Ugh. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we hunting camera up? I kinda wanna hunt camera up. So Bart's hunting for Mantis. Then, then, what are you up to today? And Red's about to rearrange some furniture in his room, I believe. Hunting on a Cobblemon SMP. Ooh, okay, okay. So, Minecraft, question mark? Is that just like a Pokemon mod alternative to Pixelmon? 
but like on an actual SMP. That that actually sounds so fun. Square Pokemon, so Pokemon that look like Minecraft. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's like in the Minecraft um, stylization and everything. I get you, I get you. We got a ground sandwich. We are going. It is the one stream sequel that no one asked for, but I am wanting to do. <laughs> <coughs> to be fair, my videos that have been like, I found 15 shinies in one night. Like, those haven't done bad, necessarily. But this one, I think instead of saying how many shinies I find in one stream, I'm going to just leave it at how many can I find in one stream and let people figure it out. Red, come on, bro. <laughs> be careful, man. You own swords. You have to know how to be careful with swords. Why is that shit sharp? Shouldn't it be decorative? I'll workshop the title and thumbnail and everything. The stream thumbnail for today on the YouTube side, the, the stream thumbnail, I whipped up in like two minutes. It's sort of just this Scarlet Violet background with the words, how many shinies on it. Like, it's not a very good thumbnail by any means. But I had to just whip it up because I wanted to start streaming. And I didn't prepare a thumbnail yesterday because I went to bed early yesterday when I really should have stayed up finish uploading my Friday video so that that would have been up on time and possibly made some a better thumbnail for today. Oh, bye. Love you. Have fun. You're decorative and real. Well, please be careful, Red. I care about you a lot. You know, there's a lot of Numel here, but I'm really hoping to see the whole camera up. Found the Mantis. Yo, let's go. Also, hello, Rebecca, in the YouTube chat. How are you doing, friends? So good to see you again. Oh, there's the camera up. Oh, shiny camera! Oh, what was I just saying? What was I just saying? Oh, it's the fella! Oh, it's the fella? 
Yeah, Rebecca, don't worry about missing the stream yesterday. You're good, hon. I just, I appreciate you whenever you can come in. Yo, Re Rebecca brought the luck. Holy shit, look at this guy. Hey, you're crazy. Hey, you're not marked. Damn. But hey, shiny camera ups, guys. That's exactly what I wanted to see here. Let's throw a quick ball. I was invisible? Hello? Why was I invisible? No marks for either of us, Bart. You spent five hours holding the baby. Hey, however you can help out with them. I'd rather hold a baby than move furniture, quite frankly. Yeah, get some nature guesses in, y'all. Um, I need to move this over here. You know, we haven't been recording all that long, and it's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna guess Hasty. Alright, I say Hasty. We got Jelly from Rebecca, Modest from Bart, Lax from Red, Jelly from Zin. She is impish. She's a little trickster. Good for her. Oh man, that's so cool. Here, let's throw that out. And actually, oh wait, I just realized, yo, we got synchro mode. Oh, did I? Did he? Did he just die? Or she just die? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, <laughs> she's so slow. So goofy with it. Boinga, 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 boinga. Hee <laughs> hee. This is funny. This is such a cool Pokemon. I, I like. I know the shiny is supposed to be black, but it does look more blue to me in this lighting. Like, doesn't that look blue to y'all? Like a very dark blue, dark navy blue. Okay, well, that is our first target down. We're just gonna move on to the next phase. <laughs> yeah, it's like a midnight blue. You get a chat. Also, Red, you have not been letting me down even in the slightest. Please do not think that. You have been wonderful. You, you've you been as present as I thought you would be. Plus, you gotta remember. Yeah, you weren't here yesterday, but you were working yesterday. And I didn't stream quite as late. That's okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure you were here for part of yesterday anyways. Yeah, Red, don't worry about it, Hana. You are doing A-OK. -okay. I'm very proud of how hard you work. I'm proud of everything you do for me. Plus, how, how can you be letting me down as a little brother, you literally helped me get to my doctor appointment yesterday. Red, it's okay, you're going through stuff. You... To be fair, I didn't stream during the weekdays, so it's not like you missed anything then. And you're here on the weekend, that's literally all I can ask of you, right? Gonna try and get some pedal outbreaks. Oh wait, Bart, actually... Um, can I show you where you could get Petalil to spawn isolated, kind of?
I found out a place that you can get Petalo to spawn isolated with a special little um exploit. Here, let me come over here and try and find it. It's uh... oh, it's right up here. It's right up here. Okay. So you know where the Bombardier Titan is, and like those rocks are like falling down the area that had like no grass or anything. You know, I have a ground sandwich going right now, and I'm flying around. I might as well just start recording, just in case I find something on accident. You never know. But, if you go up here, supposedly, supposedly, if... You make a grass sandwich and stand somewhere around this area. Right over here, there'll be a bunch of petalil that spawn with a grass sandwich. You might get a few skiddo spawning around every once in a while, but they don't spawn on this part over here. So if you just picnic reset over here and then like walk over here and do this, like where those flabebe are, that's where the petalil are. So that's where you can get Petalil. I would do that right now, except I'm trying to min-max tonight and try and get the most shinies I can. So that's kind of a slower hunt, but it's probably better than an outbreak. Now, Bart, in exchange for showing you this fun little spot to hunt Petalil, I'm going to ask you to name our next target. Something that's somewhat easy to see, somewhat easy to isolate, if you can think of it. You've done a lot of shiny hunting, I'm sure. Would you like to pick our next target? You can decline, but I just need a new target. Since I have ground type going, go for the flag online. I can do that. Oh, I can totally do that. Hell yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. So, Rebecca, what are you up to today? By the way, everyone is in ad hell on the Twitch side, so I'm especially addressing the Twitch subs and the YouTube viewers right now, but what are y'all up to today? Your YouTube viewer in Twitch chat, you ain't missing anything. Let's go, Bart. Thank you for being a viewer on the Twitch or on the YouTube side as well. I appreciate boosting the algorithm. One of your other favorite games has a massive update you've been playing. Oh, what game? I don't know a lot about other games, but I'm always willing to ask people about other games they're playing. Because here at Talk to My TTV, we do, in fact, be gamers. We do be gaming. We are playing video games today. How's that different than any other day, you may ask? It's not. We play video games every day.
Oh, shiny Vibrava! Oh, with the baby! Already? Already? We've been recording- we've been hunting here for like two minutes. Ayo? Ah, oh, she's not marked. Damn. Hey guys, look, Shiny Vibrava. Oh, also, I think everyone was in ad hell previously. You're about to be in ad hell on the Twitch side. Let's throw a quick ball at this Vibrava and hope it goes in. It did not go in. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut here. I'll see y'all when this thing catches. God, I love Dandy. That one caught. That one caught. Let's go. Been here two years, never seen one. True, red, true. Rebecca in my YouTube chat says, name suggestion for the Vibrava is Brownie. Sure, we can name it Brownie. Although, I was planning on evolving this. You know what? Its name can still be Brownie. Its name is just going to be Brownie. It's just not going to be Brown. Well, let's get some nature guesses in chat. I am going to say this thing is hasty. It's got to be hasty. That was so fast. I just typed in the chat asking for nature guesses after the ad break. And ad break is almost over on the Twitch side. Welcome back from ad hub, everyone. Any other nature guesses? Oh, welcome into the YouTube chat, Scavi. Glad you're here. Would you like to get a nature guess on this Vibrava? And yes, it's her name is Brownie, but we are planning on evolving her just because Flygon will look cool as fuck on the thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, I say hasty. We got hasty from Rebecca, calm from Scabby, adamant from Red. She is serious. Good for her. She's not marked. That's okay. Let's evolve her. What? Brownie is evolving. True, she is a serious little brownie. Oh, hell yeah. God, I love Flygon. I need to do a personality mark hunt for this thing, like, immediately. I was planning on doing it recently, but then some things changed with some video plans, and I ended up not doing it this week. I still really want to do that soon. Alright, that's another shiny down. Let's keep it rolling, chat. You have a Gen 3 Shiny Flygon? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. I I want to get a Gen 6 Alpha Sapphire. 
shiny new trap inch eventually. Yeah, I want to get a Gen 6 Shiny Trap Inch very bad from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Only because I don't have access to a Gen 3 game. At least not one of my own. I could always borrow my brother's Ruby and Game Boy if you wanted to let me do that. But I, yeah. Alrighty, chat. Well, anyone want to help me pick the next target? Get that for the totally gonna have a mega flag on for ZA. Dude, I'm I'm telling you, it's for real. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for real, for real. Or just get my personality mark one. You see my Paldean Fates pulls? Two shiny full arts and one of them is the rare. Ooh, really red? I did not see your pulls. I'm assuming they're in the Discord. If so, I will see them later. I, I look through there every night, technically. Uh, I just didn't last night because I went to bed early because I was hella tired from getting, like, no sleep. Red says Spoink. Rebecca says Rowlet. Scavi in YouTube chat also says Rowlet. You know what? We can hunt Rowlet. We've hunted Rowlet so many times, and I know that Rowlet is a personal favorite of Rebecca as well as myself. So, you know what? Let's go get a round little guy. But maybe we'll do Spoink after. Okay. Let's get ourselves a flying sandwich. Bar, you lost the shiny mantis? What happened? Did you not save after you caught it? This is why I always save before encountering a shiny. That's so sad. I'm so sorry, Bar. Can we get some Fs in the chat for Bart's long gone, um, shiny Fomantis? Hunter Bowl, sorry, Fire and Leaf Green right now. Last one I need for the trio is third gen. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Let's go, Scabby. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, hello, Gabby. You just saw the live notification. Well, glad you're here regardless. Welcome in. We've got two shinies so far, despite only being alive for 40 minutes. We got some friends on the YouTube side right now. YouTube is doing good tonight. So, it's a good night, I think. I think this is going to be a good Friday. Oh, Bar, I'm so sorry, hon. Hey, what's up, Aiden? Red is here in the Twitch chat. Red is here in the Twitch chat. He's not in voice chat tonight. I actually don't have anyone in voice chat tonight. Not that I don't want anyone, I would be down, but also, Ayo, Dan in the Twitch chat. How's Dan doing? Ayo, what the Dan doing? Okay, we got some boys. Let's find ourselves a little green fella.
What are we hunting tonight? Tonight, we are doing a sequel to... What, in my little, like, video codenaming brain that I have, like, little nicknames for all my video files and everything. This is what we call a one-stream sequel, where it's simply, usually on a Friday night, about once a month or so... Um, I will try and see how many shinies I can find in one stream. So far, we're up to two. I'm taking suggestions from the chat on nice, easy targets to hunt. Kind of min-maxing the night away. Yeah, taking, taking chat suggestions, hunting whatever. No mark hunting tonight. No full odds hunting tonight. We are just getting Scarlet Violet shinies. If VC becomes available. Yeah, hop in here, Red. Get in here. You should... Red, I don't know if you saw, but you should have permission to just hop in the recording booth now. At least I think I gave you permission. I'm like 99% sure I did. Yeah, so right now we are hunting Rowlet. We want our green little fella. Our green orb. I wish to ponder the orb. Can you hunt Pikachu? I would, except the only place that I can think to hunt Pikachu also has Pichu, and that's a really hard one to see. So I'm trying to min-max tonight and get, like, the most shinies I can, which means we need really easy targets. And Pikachu might just be a little bit too difficult because of the Pichu spawns. Otherwise, I totally would. And I do appreciate the suggestion. I do appreciate the suggestion. I just don't think I'll be able to do that one. Oh, Chargebug appears there? Wait, where Bart? Bart is saying that there's a place to hunt Pikachu without Pichu, but you can also get Chargebug? I wouldn't mind finding a whole Chargebug. Where might that be, Bart? Don't don't tell me it's the Timeless Woods. You have access to recording booth? Yeah, okay, Red, then hop in whenever you want. Whenever you're ready. Can you come in bottom left the area by the pond where Oracorio appears, but not in the pond at least? So not at the pond, but are you talking about the wistful fields? That big field area right next to the pond? Oh wait, am I not in the recording booth? Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, I'm so sorry. I thought I was in the recording booth. That is perfectly fine. Well, hey, how you doing, Red? I am indeed doing slightly upset, but at the same time starting to feel like the busy season again. So, win and loss. How's your hand doing? You cut your hand earlier, right? 
Yes, it is fine. It, like like I said in chat, it was for real, for real, just like a little tiny hole in the thumb. It's nothing too Trying big. Trying to superficial? Yeah. I've okay, definitely as long as you're okay. In case you remember, when we first met, I had the whole front of my left thumb off. I don't remember that, and I don't want to think about that. Fair. Like, I don't know if it's the same thing for you, or if this is just, like, a girl thing, but whenever I think about, like, or someone, like, describes an injury to me, I get, like, a chill down, like, the back of my thighs and, like, my spine and everything, and I I feel like I, like, feel it, and I just, ew. I know some people, like, faint I... at the sound of, like, blood and open cuts. See, I'm okay with that stuff. I've dealt with, like, emergencies and done first aid before. Oh, hey, shiny Drowlet! Oh, it's the boy! Oh, it's the boy! But yeah, I just... Whenever people, like, describe it, like, injuries to me, particularly if it has anything to do with, like, peeled skin or anything like that, or cuts, I get, like, this chill down, like, the back of my thighs. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Also, I have a name recommendation if it fits... Oh, he's marked? He's marked? And small? Is this route actually tiny? Hold up. Are you... You're, you're large. Are you actually tiny? Are you actually so small? And I'm saving one more time. This is a very small route. This route might actually be microscopic. Until we know if it is a cool mark, or until we know if it is the teensy, we are going to quick ball this rally. He goes in. What a guy. Yes, Mr. Who, that is a shiny rally. We just got it. It is marked, Mr. Who we checked. I am going to guess bold for this bold little bird. Any other nature guesses, chat? Lock me in for naughty. Ooh. We got bold and naughty. We got quirky from Rebecca, sassy from Mr. Who. Lonely from Dan, Adamant from Gabby. He is relaxed. And this mark, we're checking in three, two, one. Dusk mark. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Rowlet the Dozy is, is Dusk. Okay. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that mark. But let's go get this Rowlet size appraised now. But yeah, Dan guessed Dawn Mark. It's basically the time of day slot, just wrong time. So Dan kind of got the mark guess, correct? Hmm. Yeah. While you're heading to have it size appraised, do you mind if I ask you a hard question? Um, I am already there. Mind asking me after the recording? Of course. Okay. Hot buff lady, how tiny is this bird? Slightly smaller. Man, not even a double XS. Okay, that's still... You know what? It's still cool. We got a shiny Rowlet. I love Rowlet with all my heart. I will never get tired of hunting Rowlet. And he's just... He's a little small. And he's a little dozy. That's okay. We love him. All right, well, that is another one down. Let's keep it going, chat. All right, recording is over. What is your question, Red? As a shiny hunting, I guess, influencer or streamer, YouTuber, whatever you'd like to call yourself. Yeah. Do you ever plan on doing pack openings again through either Paldean Fates or Shining Fates oh, or man. Shiny Pokemon I... cards? I want to so bad, but I, I, 
literally me and Jesse are on like the brink of exploding. Oh, hey, my texture on my backpack is all messed up. Like, I'm still relying on like you and my brother for like weed money and stuff like that. I can't afford Pokemon cards. I just can't. If you, if you were able to afford them, would you open them on stream or privately? Oh, definitely on stream. I I'd probably make a video out of like shiny hunting whatever shinies I pull from the packs. I'd probably turn it into content and into know. a video. Good to know. Good to know. Red might be doing red things soon. Oh, you know what? I would I would endorse red doing red things because I know red is responsible to only do red things when red is physically capable of doing red things. Indeed. I did get mad that I didn't get the shiny I wanted though. Damn. <laughs> I was going for the uh, Saru Ledge, and I ended up pulling, like, one of the rarest ones in, in the set. I'm still happy about it. You know, it's sleeved up. But I, I wanted the Saru Ledge. Damn. But yeah, like, imagine an Elite Trainer box. I would open the entire thing, and any Shinies that I pulled, I would go and Shiny Hunt them. Interesting. And I would probably, like, split up the video and make it so, like, I open one pack at a time until I get any shinies. And then whatever shinies I get, I go and hunt them. God, that'd be so much fun. I would love to do something like that. So. Also, thank you whoever thing. is spamming the hearts in the YouTube chat. I love you, too. Thank you for being here. One in so every five packs is at least one shiny. So, how many shinies would you get from one ETB, roughly? And well, it's it's debatable, cause uh, so I, I went to Target when I got mine. I got their like little booster box. It has like six booster packs in it, and it was half yeah. off, so I only paid like fifteen dollars. Out of the Ooh. six packs, I got like three shinies. Okay, so that's the booster box with six packs in it, and ETB is the one that usually has like I think it's like ten or twelve or something like that. Uh, ETBs have I believe between 12 to 15. I don't remember, but I did get the Shining Fates Giant Gay Fluffy Eevee ETB. Ooh. Imagine different size Pokemon, not Alphas, like bring back Fat Pikachu or... Oh, you're saying Slim Snorlax. Maybe not Buff Machoke or Machamp. I would like size dip. Well, actually, no, there are size differences, and I, they're probably going to keep doing size differences in future Pokemon games, because the next game is going to be a Legends, which definitely has size differences, based off the last Legends game. And then there is, um... Scarlet Violet, which I'm sure Gen 10 is also going to be kind of like Scarlet Violet. Open world, size differences, etc. That would be dope. I have a final singular question for you, and then I will drop the card uh, topic. Okay. Per se, if you were to take Lilo Potty one day, and there just happened to be an Amazon package on your door with my Twitch name, would, would that be a no-go? I'd be okay with that. You have my address, right? I do. I'd be buying you food. Of course I have your address. Oh, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. I will say, if if you're going to do that, look, I'm not going to protest. I'm just letting you know, I'm not going to protest, but I would like to be informed before the package gets there, just so I know when to expect it, and so that I can schedule ahead of time and plan for making a video. Oof, that ruins the surprise of you just walking out front and seeing it, though. Dang it. Well, more, right. than, more than likely, if you ordered it to my address, it would probably just be put in an Amazon locker. Or one the of the lockers. An and Amazon would, locker. Or we, it's not an Amazon locker, but we have, like, package lockers that the Amazon people have access to. So if anything is addressed to our address, it notifies us and we get, like, a code to go get it. It's to pre prevent porch piracy. Also, Gabby, what, what graded Pokemon card did you get today? Or did you buy recently? Red, if you want it to be like an absolute surprise, I will let you do that. I'm just saying I would prefer to be able to schedule ahead. Otherwise, there might be like a few weeks. Because I schedule like a, two or three weeks ahead of time what I'm planning on doing. 
So if you want to see it happen sooner than later, you would let me know about it. I don't, nec I don't necessarily care about when. I just care about if. I'm, I'm not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, so I'll be there when it happens. You know what I mean? You know what? Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to let you do red things. We can stop talking about it. You don't got to tell me anything else if you don't want to. Uh, but based off of the question that you asked me, I'm going to just say I wouldn't take the half-half chances on pulling shinies from the decks because I did also get, like, shiny full arts, which are a lot rarer to pull, so. <laughs> you got a Japanese shiny score bunny card. Oh, that's so good, Gabby. Oh, I'm so happy amazing. for you. Well, so score bunny is their favorite Pokemon, and they're a shiny hunter. So, like, that's just... That's a good purchase right there. Good job. Good job. Facts. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, we need a new target, y'all. Were we still wanting to go after Spoink or something else? Or what do we feel on it? Red is still voting Spoink as of last round as well. You know what? Then let's go for Spoink because that was our runner-up last time. Little Oink Oink needs the love. Little oink oink needs the love. Facts. Wise words from Red. Black Pearl hunting. Yeah, we're hunting for Johnny Depp. We're hunting for Captain Jack Sparrow. Although we can't name it that because I already have a shiny spoink named Captain. Because of that reference from the last time I hunted this, like, a week ago. <laughs> I still have to get myself a shiny rally. I'm gonna name it Granny Smith if it fits. Why? Blue Fire Pig next. Dan, are you saying Tepig? More precisely, Embor. Oh, yeah. If I caught Tepig, I'd definitely evolve it. Oh, speaking of it, I just gave Duck a shiny Embor. Oh, let's go. What is your current bid on if we're going to be getting a Mega Dragonite or not? Mega Dragonite would be really cool, but, hmm. Honestly, actually, Dragonite is a good contender for a pseudo-legendary to get a gimmick. Because we already have Mega Garchomp. Um, we also got uh, Mega Metagross. Oh, you're right. And Mega Tyranitar. You know what? Yeah, Dragonite could use some love. Mega Dragonite would actually go so hard. Makes sense to red. That's all I'm saying. No, Dan. I haven't claimed any codes recently. What is it? Dan, we've only been streaming an hour. Why does it feel longer than that? Almost all students have at least one gimmick, but Dragonite doesn't. But damn, what is the code to redeem? What do you what do you get when you redeem it? Because if it's just like a regular Pokemon or something like that, like I'm not that crazy about it. I'm not that crazy about the mystery gifts. But I didn't even get that mystery gift shiny Lucario a while ago because it's like, okay, a gifted shiny, I don't care. I agree to one exception. Hmm. Uh, if they were to do shiny Ash Hat Pikachus, those would be the only ones I claim. Yeah, I'd probably get that. But just like a regular shiny Lucario with... I mean, I think it had like a special mark or something, but... I already Mid. have a special marked Riolu that I'm going to transfer to BDSP and play the game with.
I don't know who your your SOV is. So I don't think I'm missing out on much by not getting that code. Oh red, um Aiden in the YouTube chat says hi. Hi Aiden. He says hi. I do have my Discord audio set up, right? Y'all can hear Red. Red, would you mind giving me a quick audio check? Audio check. Yeah. All right, they should be able to hear you. I'm just double checking. Boom, boom. I get paranoid about my stuff breaking because it does that sometimes. Perfectly understandable. Also, Aiden, you don't gotta call me the full like talk to me TTV. The TTV just stands for Twitch TV. It's just supposed to show that I'm a streamer. Like, feel free to just call me Toxime. Or May. Or Toxie. Whichever works. But you don't gotta use, like, the full username if you don't want to. Type it out every time. Thank you, Bart. Yo, Sobe is an anime song producer. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that's cool to some collectors. I just don't really care that much. Like, I collect so many cool Pokemon on my own. I don't need any, like, distribution ones or anything. Anything new and interesting in the world of talk? Um, I told you how my psychiatry appointment went yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah, so no ADHD meds yet, but at least I got everything else taken care of. So it went about as expected. Um, once again, thank you for helping me with the Uber so that I didn't have to rely on public transportation. I hate taking the bus. It gives me so much anxiety. Of course, sis. If I, if I got it, I'm going to do it. Thank you. Um, but other than that, World of Talks, not really a lot going on. Understandable and fair. <laughs> Dan says, or mommy. You can call me mommy as well. I'll respond to mommy. I am mommy May. I got a new flavor of Hot Pocket that I'm excited to try. I'm lame. What flavor? Uh, it is steak, tomato, jalapeno, and cheddar cheese. Mmm. That sounds pretty good. See, the stores that I go to just have all the basic ass bitch Hot Pocket flavors. Fact. And I only got them because I was on DoorDash because I needed a new body wash. I went to Dash Mart and I was like, fuck it, I'm at work anyway, I'm hungry. Let me see what they got. And it was between trying that or getting the chocolate and hazelnut Uncrustables because I haven't tried them yet. And I was like, Hot Pocket make better lunch ideas since. Fair enough. Is she that old bitch in the one town? Yeah, that was probably BDS for you. Tastes like conundrum. Do I drink a bottle of water or the 20 ounce Red Bull? Um, I say start with the water, and if you're still thirsty in a bit, go for the Red Bull. But if I start with the Red Bull, I could flush it with the water. Oh, you're real. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Red Bull time. Bet. Red Bull time? Indeed. The is that why you drink Red Bulls? Red. Actually, I'm not actually, like, 
a big Red Bull guy. I just only got like three hours of sleep last night, so I bought like three 20 ounce cans. One at work in the morning, one when I got off, and I'm gonna have one now. Nice. Half Red Bull, half water. Ugh. No, I'd rather just have him chug the Red Bull and sip on some water for the next hour or so. Red water. Red water. But I'm, my uh, go-to energy drinks as of late are either Ghost or Celsius. Ooh, I've never tried either of those. Ghost is amazing. They have, like, so many flavors, and I feel like it is the most accurate, like, flavor town type deal that there is. You get the Skittles one, it's, you go and feel like you are drinking liquid Skittles. Same with the pink Starburst one. And then uh, Celsius is, like, a zero sugar protein and weight loss booster. Hmm. But it's still an energy drink. Really good. I like the white peach. Okay, okay. Do I drink in the white monsters? Best monster? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think I'm more of a fan of just the regular traditional monster. But I also had a lot of the white ones mixed with alcohol back in high school. So I think anytime I taste or think about that one, I taste vodka. You know they actually make an alcoholic monster now? They got like six different flavors. Oh god, is, is it just a four loco all over again? It, no. So, from a person who has a very high tolerance and drinks a ton of energy drinks, my experience with it was, you drink the first one, five minutes later you're tired, ten minutes after the tiredness, you're just fucking wired. You don't feel like tipsy or anything at all. Interesting. And they're like, they're like the size of a standard Red Bull. Okay, good. So they're not like full on monster cans? Nah. They're pretty good, though. Oh, the white monster is zero sugar? Oh, okay. Yes. That's my favorite type of monsters, are the zero sugars. I personally believe they have better flavor. My uh, co-worker pointed out to me that it, when I talk about what I enjoy eating and drinking and what I do, that I sound like a health nut. But he also is the same person who sat and watched me order a triple bacon cheeseburger and demolish it. Oh, yeah. Dude, yes. a burger? Burger sounds so good. I, I just but, work out but also, so I burn it. Yeah. But also, burgers are just possibly one of my favorite foods. Like, I could always be down for a burger. Especially if it's got some, like, tomato and lettuce on there. Maybe some onion. Oh, yeah. What? What is your, like, favorite food, though? Like, if you had to pick one. I think if I had to pick a favorite food of all time, it's just going to be burritos in general. Because Thanks. I love so many different kind of burritos, and something about holding, like, a warm, soft tortilla just makes me happy. It brings me joy. Solid. 
Red eats burritos at least two to three times a month. Me some taco beef in your air fryer recently. It's so good. Ooh. Yeah, like My burritos are just food. so good. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. Go ahead. My favorite food is sandwiches. Just Fair. sandwiches. Because you can do so much with them. Exactly, and there's so many different types, so many different textures, so many different flavors, and it's like there ain't a damn thing I would not do in this world for the right sandwich. Okay, but you gotta admit, just like a regular, like, cold cut foot long, some tomato lettuce, maybe a bit of like aioli or something, maybe some ranch or something, that shit's good. Fair, but I'd have to go like mad salami pepperoni. Throw on your lettuce and tomato with some banana peppers and then the garlic. Oh, I am such a big fan of salami. You have no idea. I love salami. I'm a whore for Italian food. I'm just a whore for food. I do love me some pasta. Dude, Jesse makes the best spaghetti. I would like to debate that one day, and I hard shall. Shell, hard shell or soft shell taco? I prefer soft shell tacos. I think hard shell tacos, like, they're only good if you eat them right away. Which I usually don't get to because Jessie brings me food f from her work, so she has to, like, bring it home first. So, I, I normally prefer soft shell taco. Plus, hard shells just fall apart when you bite into them. I don't want to have to be strategic about how I eat my food. I just want to eat it. I would have to disagree. I am on the other side of that spectrum. You like a good crunch? I enjoy the uh, crunchiness as well as the chewiness of the like meat itself. But alongside it, yeah, it'll it'll break if you eat it right away. But if you just give it that like perfect timing to sit, it'll still have the crunch, but it won't snap. It'll hold. It, it it's immaculate because the shell itself also has a ton of seasoning based to just standard tortilla you know fair enough fair enough hey red is a harsh critic i give everything a solid judgment oh bart that sounds so good y'all are making me so hungry right now i'm gonna have to take a meal break earlier than i planned to tonight and all i'm gonna have to eat is like well i Okay, I do have, like, sandwich meat, so I could get, like, a turkey and salami sandwich with some spicy ranch on there. Oh, dude, did I tell you about this cheese that me and Jesse picked up at the store recently? You did not, but Red do enjoy a good cheese. Please let it me It is indulge. a... It is a ghost pepper, Jack. Oh, that sounds It's got amazing. ghost pepper, jalapeno, and habanero in the Jack cheese. It's so good. It's got a good kick to it. It sounds so good. Red does enjoy it. It was on sale. It was on sale. They don't normally carry it there. I think they accidentally ordered it, so it was like 50% off or something like that because they just ne needed to get rid of it. I was like, dude, I'll take it. Facts. Interesting red fact. I was once called a dumbass for eating three Carolina Reapers back to back. Oh, thank you, Aiden. Aiden says I'm the best streamer. I'm definitely not the best streamer. I know many streamers who are more entertaining to watch than me. But I Cap. appreciate the sentiment. Cap, Big Sis is the best streamer. <laughs> if she believes anything it otherwise... De it depends on the wrong. night. It, it depends on the night. There can be some lulls in here. I'm not the best at, like, chatting all the time. Tonight is good. I'm energetic tonight. I'm feeling good tonight. D dead ass, you want Red to break it down factual for you? Break it down factual for me, Red. You cannot assume yourself to not be the best streamer in nor mine nor Aiden's eyes as the best of something is objective. It is purely opinion based. Get ready. Okay, 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 fine. To you guys, I can be your favorite streamer. But I think that mean that also means I cannot definitively be the best because there is no such thing as the best. Because it's all subjective. The best is the best to whoever indulges it as said best. So to you guys, yeah, I can be the best. To me, I'm not the best. But to you, I can be. That I'm willing to accept. That I will accept as your acceptance. Get ready. Get ready.
Dan has a signature Sammy? Hit me with it, Dan. Oh yeah, lay it on us, Dan. What's his signature Sammy? Also, this spoink does not want to show up, does it? It appears not, which is very much not good. Bad spoink. Come on, spoink. We're trying to highlight you in a fun video. Don't you want to show up for me, pal? Oh, sis, did I ever tell you that I had, like, a mild video idea for you? Oh? So, you know how, uh, I believe it was Legends Arceus, where you were getting, like, a ton of Ursa rings back to back to back? Or I was getting, um, a bunch of Teddy Ursas while I was trying to hunt the Alpha Ursa ring. Yeah. Right. So, if something like that were to happen again, you I feel you could make a video out of it and call it the Extinction Hunt. What do you mean, the extinction hunt? Because you're getting so many of them and shinies are already rare. Hmm. I don't know. It'd probably require a lot more thought. It's just something that I brained up like a week ago. I'll think about it. Because if anything, if there's going to be a video that's all about shiny hunting the same Pokemon over and over, I'd kind of already do that with my personality mark hunts on Scarlet Violet. Also, I got a kitty in front of the microphone now, so sorry if I sound weird. Oh, you sound perfectly fine. Okay. At least your cat is not my cat, because I swear to God, sometimes I want to punt that motherfucker, but I won't. <laughs> Hey, Kitty, what are you doing? What are you doing, boy? What are you doing, boy? Oh, I ran out of disc recording space. Hello? Oh, that's why the audio is going funky. Okay, hold up. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm going to go delete so much footage. Okay. Sex will be given. What? All right, we should have plenty of recording space now. Hey, Francis. Chill, boy. Have you ever had fish and Hi, spaghetti? Boy. Fish and spaghetti? Yes. No. Like, fish it's... in the spaghetti? No, no. A, a piece of fried fish on the side and then spaghetti. It doesn't sound bad. I thought you were saying it's spaghetti made out of, like, fish, and I was like, you mean, like, tuna spaghetti? That sounds awful. It is. Red likes concoctions. The other night, I had maple sausage links and ravioli for dinner, and yes, they were mixed. Ugh. We take the risk so others don't have to. GQ cat. Thanks, Aiden. Yeah, this is Francis. He is my firstborn, my eldest son of my fur babies. I've had him the longest. He's been with me through lots of trauma. 
He's been a beautiful little supportive boy for me th for years now. He's very good. Good job, Francis. Actually, now that I think about it, this October will be mine and Francis's sixth year together, or fifth year together. Does that mean we get a cat shiny hunting vid? Um, I was planning on making a hunting every cat Pokemon video sometime in the future. Interesting. Yeah, it probably will be closer to like October, September ish. Bear. Yeah, we love Francis when he's not sabotaging the stream. Sometimes I think this man gets jealous and doesn't want me to be alive anymore, so he makes it so I'm not. Hi, kitty boy. You have love in your eyes. You have love in your eyes. What a sweet guy. Oh, yeah, did I tell you about the uh, Gengar meme that Ryan sent me? Hey, Aiden, if you want to talk to Red, talk to Red. I'm not translating for you. If he doesn't want to have YouTube chat open, he doesn't have to. And I'm sure he doesn't want to talk with a 14-year-old about Dragon Ball Xenoverse all night. Like, sorry, but we're kind of doing a Pokemon stream here. This isn't about Dragon Ball. Kitty. Aiden, yeah, off Fox is off correct. He doesn't want to talk with a kid about Dragon Ball all night. That's not why he's here hanging out with me. I'm obviously here hanging out because you're the coolest sister ever. No other reasons. Oh, you're the coolest brother ever. No, the hell I'm not. I'm the hottest brother ever. Yeah, I'm willing to accept that. Thank you. Mostly because I don't want to call any of my real brothers hot. Or any of my blood brothers hot, I should say. I'm the youngest brother ever in my own knowledge. Actually, you would... Of my brothers, you would fit right in the center. Because I have four blood brothers, so you'd be the third in the middle. I have two, two brothers older than you, two brothers younger than you. Hey, dead what's ass. up, Travis? Yeah, dead ass. Hey, yo. My younger brothers Middle are kid. 18 and 15. My older brothers are, I think, 27 and 30. Sadly, that makes way too much sense. Middle kid hype. Well, because my mom had the... Wait, is that... No, that's not it. But it's because my mom had the two boys. Then she had me and my other sister... And then two more boys, and then another girl. Got you.
Riddle me this, May Red. I am both an oldest sibling and a youngest child. You're an only child. And or a twin. Indeed. You're either a twin or an only child. However, allow Red a moment to think on that. Um, you have a half sibling from a from one of your parents. But well, you're your dad's youngest child, but your mom's but the older sibling to your mom's other kid. Possibly. No? Then I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, now you got red stumped. Yeah, Bart, that doesn't make you the youngest. I mean, I guess, but you're not your grandparents' sure you're kids. You're you're their grandkids, so you're also not the youngest of their grandkids. You're just the youngest of the grandkids that they raised, but that's not how people label stuff like that, so your question was misleading, therefore L plus ratio, you're wrong. We win. That and red still assumes wrong. If my grandparents were to legally adopt me, that would make me my own uncle. Yeah. If your grandparents legally adopted you, then you're literally your own uncle. I, don't, I feel like... I, I feel like we answered the question, but you're like, erm, actually, and hit us with the technicality in a Man detail that a wasn't mother. that important. I'm going to say that we got that correct. Because I was right I in saying that you were just, that your parents had a different kids and that you're the oldest of one. Or that you're the oldest of them. I basically had the right answer. I like riddles. Riddles are fun. I like riddles when they're fair. Agreed. When they actually make sense and aren't an erm actually technicality. Well, you even refer to them as your grandparents. If it, if it, they adopted you, you should just be saying your parents. But the fact that you even consider them grandparents shows that you're just hitting us with an erm actually technicality. Big facts. Sis out here spitting facts. Otherwise, if you call them grandma and grandpa, you're still their grandchild. Therefore, not their youngest because not theirs. They can be your legal guardians, but you're not their youngest because, yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Do you call your grandma a grandma or mom? I would assume mom, because my little sister who was raised by my grandparents called them mom and dad. She calls our mother Nan. Uh, I'm still going to say that wasn't a fair riddle. I agree. Also, Spoink decided to not show up for us in the first sandwich. Do we want to keep going after Spoink? This is kind of a slower hunt than I was anticipating. If it's there, hard swap Heliolisk. Heliolisk isn't in the game. That sucks. It's in Sword and Shield, but I'm not hunting Sword and Shield today. Thanks. Um... <laughs> or hey, Rikorio well, Goat. While y'all- oh god, I'm not hunting that thing, that thing hates me. While y'all brainstorm an idea for what we can hunt next, I'm actually going to go AFK. I'm gonna go and, um, go get more coffee and run to the bathroom and do a little smoke break. So I'll be back in a few minutes, y'all.
Hello, I am back. How is everyone doing? I like Bart's suggestion Welcome of going after back. Scoville with a small chance of Flareon. I like that idea. Also, to, an to answer... Oh, thank you. To answer Aiden's question in the YouTube chat, how many boxes of shinies do I have? In total, including my living decks, like just on Scarlet Violet in my home, I probably have, I want to say, probably like 30 plus pages of shinies. Like, I have more no shinies than a, you would have regular box space in the base game. Like, in the regular game. Not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna answer extremely differently. What do you think I was gonna say? Yes. Oh. <laughs> that that would be a good answer for me. Um, But I think that kind of humor might go over Aiden's head. Solid. Yeah, how many boxes do I have? Um, yes. But realistically, probably like at least 30. Also, Gabby, congrat or keep going for that score, Bunny. I believe in you. I'm proud of you. You got this. Are there any other grass types? That oh, wait, yeah, no, I saw a deerling here. I don't want deerling. Okay. Never mind. Erm. Um. She got them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur, the whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor, she hit the floor, let's take it slow, shot it got low, 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 low. And I don't know verse two. Passing the Reebok with the strap. With the strap. She turned around and gave that big booty a slap. Hey, red from the hood. That's like <laughs> our anthem. <laughs> We going for the the guy with the jorts, the apple bottom jeans. I saw a uh, TikTok of how people do the Dougie now. I've never felt so angry about a dance move in my life. Wait, hang on. Let me start recording in case I find a shiny right away. I want context in this. So, you're mad at how people do the Dougie nowadays? Yes. Because they just bastardized it. So, so like... I don't know what the dance is. I've never seen it. I have no idea. Have you ever heard the song where it's like, Girl, what, can you teach me how to Dougie? No, I know the yeah. song. I know the yeah. song. I just don't know the actual dance. It, it involved a lot of, like, shoulder popping, kind of like the Soldier Boy. Okay. So, nowadays, people just cross their arms and they, like, shuffle their feet back and forth and spin in a circle. And I'm like... What the hell is wrong with y'all? <laughs> I think I would have to see both versions of it to see how they fucked it up. I got you. After stream, I will send them to you. Send it to me, yeah. See, Red lives through music. And, 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 and... Now, I, I have no issue with interpretation or, like, ocean. But don't butcher it, man. How'd you feel if someone did the chicken dance, but they didn't do the chicken dance? They just stuffed their arms out the top of their t-shirt and waved them around like a dinosaur. Hate to see it happen. Exactly. Can I see some jorts, please? I had a George's phase. It was weird. What the jump bluff doing here? I have a fire sandwich, sir. Keep your hop up out of here. You you weren't you weren't invited. This is a fire party, not a grass party. I know Scovillain is here, but only the fire part. 
they just chilling in the back using Sunny Day. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, only... Only Grass-type invited to this party right now. Oh, hey, there's the guy! Oh, hey, hey! Ayo, ayo, shiny. We got jorts. We got jorts. We got them apple jorts. bottom jeans. She's marked. Marked apple bottom jeans. I'm saving one more time. I'm saving one more time. Hello. Yeah. Got name it jorts or ABJ. ABJ. Or jorts. I can just name her Jorts. Until we know if this is a cool mark, we are going to Quick Ball. Never mind, she's not going to go into Quick Ball. I'm going to cut here. I'll see y'all when this thing catches. Oh, welcome into the YouTube chat, Julie. Happy to have you here today. Thanks for being here. We are doing a, what I call, one stream sequel, which is seeing how many shines you can find in one stream. This is shiny number four. We are doing pretty good so far. We got them apple bottom jeans. Damn, this thing is not catching. Seed bomb, oh no. Oh no. Their bris is in danger. Oh, that caught. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Yo, these, these Jords, they gotta be quirked up for sure. Thanks. You got a nature guess? Anyone else nature guesses? Uh, I'll go. Interesting. Lock me in for... Lax and the Hungry Mark. Ooh, okay. I think it's nighttime right now, so it wouldn't be the hungry mark, it'd be the sleepy mark. Yes. A red can try. Alright, I say quirky. Red says lax. We got hasty from Bart, adamant from Gabby. She is adamant, you got it, Gabby. And this mark, we're checking in three, two, one. Cloud Watcher. Weather mark. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hell yeah, we got the Scoville and what the Jorts doing. Hell yeah. Oh, a little bit too late on the nature guess there, Aiden. Alright, that's another one down. Let's keep it going. Can it be any Pokemon or does it have to be from like a certain area? It could be any Pokemon as long as it's like easy to hunt. I don't isolate. Um... Shroomish. Mm. That's a little bit of a harder one because I can't isolate it. I I would probably get a fungus or a tropius, and I don't really want to deal with fungus. Well Wingle. I could Wingle? Oh, that thing's so hard to see. 
It's not hard to isolate, though. Yes, it is. It's a water flying type. You ever try to do a water or a flying sandwich next to the beach? Yeah, can't you well, just do fly at the early game beach? Oh, God, that tiny-ass beach? No, Wingle's so hard to see. I don't want to do that. Okay. How hard is Fletchling? Hard to isolate. I'd probably get a Starly as well. Or could get a Starly as well. Or hop it. I do love Talonflame, Shun. I don't actually, know. Actually, oh wait, no. There's a place that I could hunt just Talonflame. Fuck it, Talonflame. Let's okay. ride. L let's go. I already got a fire sandwich going. That's exactly what I need for that, I think. Red oh wait, no, like no, no, I need a flying sandwich. I need a flying sandwich. Because I think fire sandwich will also spawn iron moth for me. Because it's an area zero. I hope this goes quickly because the last time I hunt town flaming here, it was one of my longest phases for, I think, the 24 hour video. Also, Bart's off to make more tacos. With Halucha, you'll... Or, fine, you'll get a lot of Halucha and Corviknight. Really? It, even in the rocky area? You know what? Here, let's, let's try it with the fire sandwich. We have the fire sandwich, we might as well try it. Hello, Anna. First of all, I am she, her pronouns. Hello, I am woman. But tonight we are shiny hunting. We're trying to find out how many shinies we can find in one stream. You're right, Halucha does spawn on the rocks. Yeah, then I think it is just a fire sandwich that I need. I gotta check these iron moths before I fly down there, because you never know. Okay, now we know. Ah, but see, if I stay at just this top area, it's just Talon Flame. Oh. <laughs> True chat. We. Oh, that's a shiny Talon Flame already. Oh. Red oh, whoa. Head. Whoa. Already? Two for one special. Dude, two two shinies, one sandwich. I already got it. Oh, uh, she's not marked, but hey, yo. Dude, I already got the shiny? Already? Let's go. Okay, shit, we just gonna throw a quick ball. Hope for the best here. Does that go in? It goes in. Let's go. To think you wanted to waste more herbs. Yeah, for real. I just... Yeah. No, we, we're good. we good. What the talent flame? Y'all know I gotta guess hasty on this thing. 
Any other nature guesses? I second hasty. Ooh. Here, I'll wait for YouTube chat to catch up because I think YouTube chat is a little delayed. Understandable. All right, me and Red doubling down on the hasty. We got quiet from Julie, adamant from Bart, modest from Gabby. She is timid. Good for her. Amazing. Oh, yeah, timid? No, no. That that thing had no problem showing up. <laughs> had no problem That's showing up. God, that is so cool. That's what we hear in the business called the bold burb. Bold burb. I actually really do like Talonflame as a design. Like, the f the coloration on it makes it look like it's, like, f flames licking up on its neck. Indeed. That's I really love cool. Red Tail Hawks, and Talonflame is based off of both a Red Tailed Hawk and a Peregrine Falcon, which is the fastest animal on the planet. And, I, yeah, Ooh. I like that. True. Flame Charge Talonflame, fast. But all right, that's another one down. We're going to keep it rolling. I like your fun facts. Oh, thank you. Not that many people actually tend to appreciate Red's fun facts. I mean, I personally enjoy them, and I think it adds a lot to the content to have extra commentary like that in there. Like, I'm leaving that in the video. Oh, thank you. Red really likes animals. Oh, good. How much time is left on the sandwich? Probably at least half. Yeah, exactly half. Want to know a double-sided turtle fact? Hmm. What is a turtle fact? So, part one is a turtle's lungs are located in the top of its shell. Okay. Part two, most species of aquatic turtle, I believe other than a singular type, when hibernating, breathe through their butts. Interesting. It is a process, I believe, called caraculation. It is uh, interesting indeed. You gotta wonder how people figure this stuff out. Also, Bart is saying go for a fire starter in the terrarium. I totally forgot. Red, you wanted me to go after Tepig, didn't you? Or someone wanted me to go after Tepig? I was Tepig? the one who wanted it. Someone else did, but I still say Someone else yes. in chat suggested Tepig before. We're going to use the rest of this fire sandwich and try and get a Tepig. If we don't get it this sandwich, we'll try for something else, but... Sounds fair to Red. That is also true, Bartholomew. Some turtles burrow in the ground for hibernation. How cute. How adorable. There's also records of certain species of chameleon, other than the one that is known for doing it, being able to projectile shoot blood from their eyes. Oh. Is it like toxic blood? Nope. Oh, it's just like a defense mechanism. They can just shoot blood from their eyes. Wow, shit. It's also a uh, heavy common misconception that chameleons naturally uh, change colors to match their surroundings. Many people uh, only believe that because of what they see in cartoons. The truth is... Chameleons can only lighten and darken their uh, skin pigmentation, 
causing their scales to either like darken down to fit in with like grounded or tree areas or lighten up to fit with wood but they still remain around green and brown all the time it can't turn like red pink blue yeah and all that. yeah that's a cartoon thing that i already knew about but reptiles are just awesome well because like how are they supposed to know how to line up perfectly with like your wallpaper you know facts They think it's like they got like cameras on the side and they can just tell, oh, I'm going to turn these skills red and these skills purple? No. Due to the way a fly's eyes are, no one is able to uh, directly smack them with their hands because they have like fast pace, I guess you could say, like momentum and movement. So, uh, if you move your hand or whatever you want to hit a fly with to it slowly, the fly won't necessarily understand what's going on and you can catch it. Hmm. Messes with their brain. Wait, but why can't you go fast? I, I guess because the fact that they have so many eyes, it just makes it to where, like, their reaction is quick and they're not used to reacting to slow things and they don't know how to do it if that makes any sense at all okay they're used to things gunning it for them so they've adapted to react to like fast moving stuff that makes sense yeah. another unmarked score bunny i'm so sorry gabby hey not to discourage you or scare you or anything but i watched Oh, wait, is that a shiny tap pick already? Oh, let's go! As I just about to say, I watched one of my favorite YouTubers go to phase, like, 30 for a Destiny mark recently, Gabby. So, like, yeah, you may, uh, you may be there a while, but, hey, shiny tap pig. That is shiny, right? Yeah, that's shiny. He's marked? He's marked? Hey, yo, Marked Tepig, and he is large, I believe? Yeah, he's large. Actually, is that one large? No, that one's average. This one doesn't look that big. I'll still get it size appraised, but... Let's freaking go. Until we know if it is a cool mark or the jumbo size, we're gonna quick fall. It's not going to go in. I'm going to cut here. I'll see y'all when this thing catches. If this is a cool mark, I'm going to take it as a personal attack. I'm so sorry, Gabby. That one caught, I think. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, y'all, get your nature guesses in. Everyone on the YouTube side, y'all seem to be a little more delayed. Start getting your nature guesses in now. And I'll read them all out at once. I would like to say... I'm guessing hasty again. That was a really fast shiny. I'll go bashful. Ooh... And you know what? Before we get this thing... Wait, let me try that again. You know what? Before we uh, do a nature guess on this thing, I just... I gotta check the size. Because I was talking a while back about wanting to get a Jumbo Tepig. And I just... I gotta check. I... <laughs> I gotta check. Hot buff lady, how big is this pig? Slightly bigger. Okay, nothing crazy there.
All right, so I say Hasty, Red says Bashful, we got Sassy from Aiden, Adamant from Bart, Modest from Gabby. He is relaxed, and this mark, we're checking in three, two, one. Oh, personality mark! Ayo. Oh, Tepic the Feisty! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, let's go get this guy in a cool ball! Let's go get this guy in a cool ball! Also, yeah, I'm so sorry, Gabby. They are trying to get the Destiny mark right now, which is, like, with their odds of, like, Mark Charm and Sandwich. It's, like, a 1 in 8 or something like that. I'm so sorry, Gabby. That type is me right now. <laughs> True. Feisty. Angie. Alright, here he is. Look at he. Look at he. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, what ball are we feeling for Embor? Shiny personality mark Embor. What are we feeling, y'all? One ball. It, it, it's like it's like orange, but the top is blue and it has like three lines in it. Well, so the flames on Embor turn blue. Yeah, yeah, I know. What ball are we feeling? I could do Beast Ball, maybe? Just use the Dive Ball for yours. I could... Oh, it has recoil. Man, I'm silly. <laughs> I'm reading chat and that thing died to recoil because I false swiped it. Oops. That's a my bad. Let's 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 rewrap. Let's redo this. Oh yeah, Bart, I saw that YouTube literally disconnected my chat and it reconnected. So hopefully it's back now. Yeah, yeah, dive ball. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, we can do dive ball. It took me way too long to get to that. I am ashamed. All the fire star stars have recoil. Really? Interesting. I found out in the worst way possible that Rowlet does too. Oh yeah, Rowlet got Brave Bird, I believe. Yup, I had it down to 1 HP, I was getting ready to catch it in the desired ball, next thing I know, Brave Bird directly after me saying, yeah, it doesn't have a move that can make it hurt itself. Oop. I was very mad then. All the fire stars have flare blitz. Interesting. All right, here we go with the dive ball. Did that go in? That did go in. First ball. Okay, bet. Pure opposite. <laughs> Pure opposite. Yeah, because of, because of, like, the boosted catch rate for the dive ball, it's, like, I think four times if they're underwater. Oh. 
You know what, Aiden, we can do a we can do a puppy time after this. We can do puppy cam after this. Let me just evolve this thing really quick. And let's just check out that mark again really quick. We got Relax Nature with the Intense Mark. Tepig the Feisty, soon to be Embor the Feisty. Let's evolve this thing. All right, here we got Tepig evolving into Pig Knight. Horrible, horrible Pokemon. I hate this middle stage so much, even though it does have a nice shiny with the purple. I do be appreciating the purple. Sorry about that. I just had to play mime with my roommate because he almost walked in my room. Oh no, you're fine. Also, yeah. Or yeah, you're right, Gabby. Score Bunny doesn't have Flare Blitz. It has Double Edge. And here we go with Pig Knight evolving into Embor. Hell yeah. In the rain, too. With the Dive Ball. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He blew. Gorgeous. Big guy. Now, do we have any name ideas for this guy? Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just name it Timon. Or no, not Timon. Pumbaa. I was going to say Pumbaa. Yeah, not Timon. Pumbaa. Yeah. Let's just All name right, this guy Pumbaa. Just making sure, because I was going to say Pumbaa, but then you had me over here thinking like, wait, was Pumbaa the meerkat? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm the silly one here. I'm the silly one here. And, and it also, like, adds on and makes perfect sense, because I don't know if you've ever seen the meme, but there was a meme with a, uh, a pimp knight, a Kakuna, and a Rattata, and it, they were, like, redrawn to be the Lion King characters, and they said, Kakuna, Rattata. It, it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Honestly, I like Lion King. It's, it's one of my favorite, like, OG Disney movies. It's up there. It's up there. Lion King 2 we don't curious. talk about, but, you know. It is severely inaccurate, but it has a soft little place in my heart. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, yeah, we got Pumbaa the Feisty. I like that mark with the name. I think that matches very well. Because I'm just thinking of the scene like, you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You know the scene, right? Of course. Yeah. They call me Mr. Pig. Oh, such a good movie. But all right, y'all, that's that's not the end of the night. That's not the end of the video. This is just another phase tonight. So we're just going to keep it going and pick a new target. See you in the next phase. What's your favorite Pumbaa moment? Honestly, I think the one I just said with like the, are you talking to me? That's my favorite Pumbaa moment. He is I Mr. Gotta, Pig. I gotta go Young Warthog. Uh, yeah. Young Warthog. That voice actor was belching. Deep voice and all. I, I've said this on a video before, but like... Why did they make the grubs and bugs and everything in Lion King look so tasty? Looks so good. They look so good. I want to pop them in my mouth. All right, y'all. I th So the fire sandwich is officially done. We killed the rest of that fire sandwich to reset and get this thing in a cool ball. So what are we feeling next? Anyone want to suggest either a specific target or a type of sandwich to make? I'm down. I just... I like to let you guys pick the next targets and everything when we do these. Free Marina. You want to go for Poplio? Yes, because now I got Disney on the brain and we need Ariel. You know what? 
We can go for Primarina. We can go for Primarina. However, it'll be shiny, so we could also say Rapunzel. Just Mermaid Rapunzel. Long ass blonde hair. Ooh, Blue Moon Diancy in the YouTube chat says ghost. I was thinking of a ghost sandwich earlier, but I don't know what we would get with it. Let's let's hit up the Poplio and think of some good ghost type targets to go after. Cause God, if if Sinistee didn't spawn by Alfrenada, I would love to get a Bonnet, but I don't want to worry about Sinistee. Oh, and you're right, Aiden. We were gonna do a puppy time here. Let me drop a save here now that we got Pumba in the dive ball. And y'all, it is puppy time. I believe the Discord. Yeah, Discord audio is still set up, so people will be able to hear you, Red. But y'all, do we need some puppy time? Do we need some puppy time? Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? Here's the puppy. Yeah. Look at the puppy, guys. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Hi. I don't mean to bother you. I just want to give you loves. <laughs> Do you want some Tommy scratchies? Do you want some Tommy scratchies? Yeah, you're all cozy right now. You're all cozy, baby. Okay, I won't bother you for long because you're so cozy under your blankie, but here's some Tommy scratchies. Yeah, get that leg kicking. Get that leg kicking. What a good girl. What a good girl. That, uh, upper was... Yeah, nope. Oops. Hi, baby. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Are you a little grumpy because I am bothering you? Mm -hmm. You're a good baby. You're a good baby. Okay, baby. I'll let you be now. I'll, I'll leave you alone now. Here you go. Okay, baby. There you go. Sorry, that wasn't a... Oh, Red has redeemed give dog yep, treats? Yep. Oh. yep I, didn't, I, I didn't know that Pepper was comfy. Oh, no. It's okay. I said the word treats and she popped up right away. She'll get comfy again later. Let's go get this baby some cheese. Oh, going for the cheese this time. Red had the peanut bussy on mind. Let's go on the bed, baby. Here you go. You want some cheese? Baby, want some cheese? Hey, oh, over here, over here, over here. Hey, Mama and Chat love you so much. Chat loves you. Uncle Red loves you. Here you go, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good baby. Okay, now do we want to do a proper puppy cam? Do we do a proper puppy cam now? Hi, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Get some good scritchies. Get some good scritchies. Get some good scritchies. Okay, baby. Mama's gonna get back to work now. Mama's gonna get back to work now. I will... I love you, baby. I love you. Mwah. Okay, baby. I love you. Mwah. Okay. Puppy cam is officially over. Thank you all so much for enjoying the puppy cam and loving my dog. Thanks for loving her oh, as much it. as I do. 
I wanted to wait for you to come back. I was just gonna let you know I'm going AFK to make them hot pockets real quick. Oh, okay, you're good. You're good. Thanks for letting me know. See you in a bit. Okay. And actually, if y'all don't mind, I'm also going to go AFK for a few minutes. I'm going to take a little smoke break and go and grab another drink. I'm going to grab a Rockstar. So if y'all don't mind, I will be right back. Hello, y'all. I am back. This dog is begging for more attention. Baby, you need tummy scratchies. You need tummy scratchies. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. 
I'll give you a quick tummy scratch and then I gotta get back to work. But yeah, Aiden, I agree. I'm very lucky to have this dog. She is an absolute sweetheart. I love her with all my heart. Like, I've told my girlfriend this, and she's okay with it, but I've told her that Lilo here is the truest love of my life. I love this dog so fucking much. Okay, baby. No, Tommy scratches are over. I'm done. No, no, no. You gotta go lay down. Mom's gotta get back to work. Mom's gotta get back to work, baby. Okay, I love you. Okay, baby. Go lay down. Alrighty, y'all. We are going after Shiny Poplio. Ooh, my knee just popped. That was... Actually, that felt kind of good. I'm just going to re-roll the outbreaks here really quick to get rid of that Trumbeak outbreak there. There we go. Okay. Also, Bart, congrats on the shiny pedalil. Red is currently AFK. He's off heating up some Hot Pockets for dinner.
All right, we got the water sandwich. We're at the beach. Who is ready to find a shiny poplio? Oh, that's a slacking over there. Oh my. Hello. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, it, do it doesn't take too long to cut them in the oven. Yeah. We do be hunting Poplio. Yay. Bart got a shiny Petalil. That's what's up, Bart. I was able to get to the uh, next chapter of my new book while I was cooking. Ooh. Oh, right. Ryan told me what book you're reading. Would you I, like to I talk about it? it? Would you like to talk um, about it at all? Because I love talking about that book. It's my favorite book of all time. I, 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 I do not wish for this to be taken in any wrong way. But as of right now, I would not like to talk about it. Okay. Okay. That's fine. If you want to talk about it off stream sometime later, I'll probably be doing some editing tonight. Or we could always just DM early in the morning because I you work tomorrow. Or no, no, no. Yeah, you work tomorrow. I do. But you get to sleep in a bit because you don't have to be there until 11. I'm still going to be up early as hell. Going to sleep, keep the same sleep schedule. Yep, my body hates me. No, no, fair enough. Hey, having the same sleep schedule is so much healthier for you. Let me tell you, my body has been in shambles this week, like, oscillating between such extreme schedules so quickly. I'm exhausted. Or at least I was exhausted. I'm doing a lot better now. Today I'm feeling great. You hear me? What'd you say? I kinda have to keep the sleep schedule. My daily workouts. I can't sleep in and skip those. Oh, true. But, uh, what you right have read this... is what we like to call discipline, and I envy you for it, and I'm very proud Red of is... you for it. Red is a fairly disciplined and thick-skinned fellow. But, um, no, uh, currently, from what I'm understanding from said book, I don't know if I can even say the name of that here. I don't mind if you say it. It's... It's allowed on Twitch, but if you don't want to say the name of the book that you're reading, just for a little privacy's um, sake, you don't have I mean, to say it. I mean, I'll say it, I just didn't know if I could say slut on Twitch. Yeah, the ethical slut. Well, I mean, we're talking about a book. It's a book no. title. But, uh, currently, from what I'm getting from it, it seems more of, like, a self-indulging, knowledgeable book, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like, it's not... Well, what do you mean self-indulging? Like, it's it's considered, like, a self-help book, but also, like, relationship guidance, sort of. 
But you could read it. You could read it if you're single. You could read it with your partner. You could do read it and and debrief your partner. You could talk to people about it. It's meant to be consumed in all sorts of ways. Okay. Whatever is easiest Sorry. for people because it's just good information. I was mid bite. Uh, by self indulging book. I mean, it, it seems to me like something where once I'm finished, before I even consider talking to others about it talk to myself about it if that makes any sense okay fair enough because i mean i'm i'm a little bit into it and apparently there's like three of them oh no 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 but no no so those are just previous editions they revise it and reprint it to include new information you don't need to read the the old versions in fact it'd probably oh, be man, I'm hurtful number one. It probably... You're reading number one? Yeah, I thought it was a series. No, no, it's versions. I will read number three then. <laughs> number three, like, the main changes that have been made over the years to the different versions is, like, the modern version It has sections that explicitly talk about, like, queer people and transgender people. Because when you're in the polyamorous sphere like, social circles and everything, you're gonna come across queer people and trans people. It's an inevitability. So they basically have a whole chapter being like, hey, you have to be okay with this stuff, or you're gonna get chewed the fuck out and, like, isolated from everyone. Basically telling gotcha. people, don't be a transphobes if you're gonna be poly. Got you. But not just of what I'm getting right now, as in, like, not, not just, but the gist, um, I'm a slut? Yeah, okay. That's fair. I'm a slut. Yeah, but you said yours confidently. I, I su I pseudo question mine, but I'm I'm not, I'm still, you know, mid book. But you're you're also like redefining the word for yourself. Which is good. That's what it's all about, is like redefining the word and reframing it to be a positive thing because it is a positive thing. However, I will say it definitely has me with the mindset of why do people dislike non-monogamy? Right? It's literally all of it branches from people feeling jealous and possessive of their partners. That's literally the root of all the problems people have with polyamory is that they're too possessive of their partners and think of them as objects that they own. And they get jealous and don't know how to deal with those feelings of jealousy without making it someone else's problem. Guess what? If you're jealous, that's your problem to deal with. You can ask for your partner to help you with it, but ultimately you're the one that has to do the work to not be jealous. It's not your partner's job to make you not jealous it's your job to not be jealous of your partner thanks no i love those books they are amazing like even I mean, that first edition that you're reading is probably like full of really good information i'm not i'm not necessarily gonna say that i'm jealous but when it comes to uh Lady Fox specifically. Oh, there's a I shiny poplio. Oh, alright. Ayo, <laughs> ayo. Oh, he's marked. He's marked. But also, damn, we were gonna name this one Ariel if it was female. But yeah, um. Polyamory is cool. Monogamy is only cool if it's something that you actively want to do and have thought about it. Yeah. 
Welcome to Talks Made TTV. I have two and a half partners. Um, we're gonna save one more time. Ryan and I are in a limbo area right now. You know what? That is a fucking mood. <laughs> no questions, no answers, just no red fills that. Well, here, before I catch this thing, I'll just explain really quick. Um, basically, Ryan has gotten the okay from two of his three partners, but the third one is kind of going through some emotional shit right now, and he doesn't want to drop that bomb on her while she's going through it. So we're waiting for her to not be going through it in order to finally ask permission for us to have a label. Solid. Solid. I'll catch you later, Aiden. Goodbye. Shit, in all honesty, better you than me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna quick ball this Poplio. There's no way we get a second personality mark in a row. I'm just saying. Right, y'all? Like, that's only happened to me once before, and it was recent. So, there's no way that happens again. Especially because I plan on doing a personality mark hunt for all the Alola starters for a single video. This might be low, but never zero. You know what, we were talking about polyamory and jealousy and possessiveness and everything in the book you're reading. Let's just, let's guess gentle. Gentle like gentle love. You got a guess, bro? Oh, bold. Okay. Any other nature guesses? I'll wait a few seconds for anyone else. Oh, I don't know if I said welcome back, Rebecca, by the way, but welcome back. Sorry if you've been back for a while and I didn't remember. Alright, Red says bold, I say gentle, we got modest from Gabby, naughty from Bart, relaxed from Rebecca. He is adamant, and this mark, we're checking in 3, 2, 1. It's an uncommon mark, we're good, we're good. That is a very bad nature for Apoplio. Yeah, that was, that's pretty bad, that's pretty bad, but it's okay, it's okay, this is just for collecting sake. Facts. But alright, we got a shiny Poplio. Amazing. Let's evolve him. I almost said a her. Some Pokemon just be gender, you know? Like, Primarina is gender. Here we go with the Poplio into Brion. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that pink. Love it. And then... Let's see some Gender Envy Mermaid. Hell yeah. Blonde Mermaid. Beautiful, beautiful. I love her. Him! I keep saying her. You know what? No, this thing is just gender. I'm saying her. Alright, well, we got another shiny. Not that long later. We're gonna keep going. <laughs>
Okay. Um, anyone want to suggest a new target to go after? Or, oh wait, weren't we gonna do Pikachu? Oh, but wait, Aiden went to bed. You know what, maybe Aiden will watch the video and be like, Oh, they did go after Pikachu after all. Bart, you said the Wistful Fields would have Pikachu and Chargebug? Does it have Grubbin? Because I don't want to deal with Grubbin, but if it's only Chargebug, I'll take it. How about another water starter? <laughs> Do we want this many starters in one video? I could hunt another water starter. What do we got? Piplup. Oh god, I don't want to hunt Piplup because that's an outbreak only one and I do not want to deal with outbreaks tonight. Perfectly understandable. It's just the first thing to hit my head. No, fair enough. Piplup is goaded. I love Piplup. I love it so much. I want to do personality mark hunt for it eventually, but yeah. Grubbin is an electric, he's just a bug boy. Wait, Grubbin is an electric type? I thought it was. Okay, we'll do the Pikachu and Charge Bug after another water starter. Let me let me just run through all the gens. Mudkip or, or Squirtle is an outbreak only, Totodile is outbreak only. Um Mudkip is slow and hard to get. Piplup is outbreak only. Oshawott is outbreak only. Gen 6 water starter is Froki. We could maybe do Froki. Or we could do uh, Sobble's not that fast. Why are all the water starters hard to hunt, y'all? I just Froakie. realized other than Poplio and Froki, all the water starters are hard to hunt. Can't go wrong with Fwog. Okay, we can hunt Fwog. Mudkip is a kind of easy hunt in that it's easy to see, but I hate picnic resetting. We'll hunt Fwog for the remaining 12 minutes of the sandwich. All right, let's see some frogs. Let's see some frogs. You dead ass know what the best type of vibe is though, sis. The best type of what? Vibe. What's the vibe? From Deep our bank certified bank vibe bank. connoisseur. Get baked, then bake. Honestly, that is a vibe. I'm about to say, work in the oven while you're stoned, if you're not used to being stoned, is a little iffy, because you're going to forget about shit. Set every timer imaginable. Back when I was like, ever smoking? Me and my little brother used to cook in an easy bake oven. Ha <laughs> Mm-hmm. Every time I think about easy bake ovens now, I just think about the clip of getting my um full on shiny Vika bolt.
Because Remember, we were talking about the Easy, easy Bake days. Oven. Sorry, my bad. No, you're good, you're good, go on. Whenever I hear Easy Bake Oven, I think of Cards Against Humanity, which is technically not a good thing. Why, what card has something to do with Easy Bake Ovens? There is a answer card called Hitler's Youth Easy Bake Ovens. Oh, God. Yep. My brother's favorite card is Sexy Nuns. Ooh, that's a good one. And my uncle's favorite card is Robin Williams' Depression. He got mad at me when I ripped it up and threw it away. Honestly based. Duck says hi, sis. Who? Duck. Oh, I didn't realize Talia's in the chat all of a sudden. Hey, yo, what the, what the Talia doing? What the Talia doing? I love Talia. Bart has shiny Hisui a little again. Let's go. Fill it, duck. Being an adult and taking those like right after high school at the house and naps. Sometimes you just need it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Well, I'm glad you're here spending your evening with us. I'm glad you got a good nap in. You deserve every good nap in the world. We are going after Fog. Yeah, that's understandable. If I get any less than four, I'm cranky. What about you, sis? What's like your perfect oh, hour of sleep? I shit you not, I sleep like 10 to 12 hours every day. Holy like, hell. I feel... Well, that's depression for you. I feel exhausted. Oh, no, I get it. I, if, I get it. Well, okay, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want me to be awake for a normal amount of hours, like, if you want me to be awake for, like, 16 hours, I need to sleep, like, 10 to 12 hours. Otherwise, if I sleep, like, 8 hours, I can survive, but I'm going to bed early that night. 
or just hella over caffeinating. I basically survive off of just caffeine. Yeah, Red's built okay. different in that he only needs four hours of sleep to function. Yeah, I get four on a day to day. Even on my days off, I get like maybe four and a half if I want to sleep in. Gotta keep up with those morning workouts. Thanks. Hi, Duck. One moment. Oh, he muted. I'm excited for the tournament too, except I'm not ready. I haven't finished building my Pokemon. <laughs> I need to do that tonight so desperately. I think tonight is going to be a upload videos and finish prepping my team kind of night. You know, after stream, of course. Sorry about that, sis. You're good. Anything all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, right. roommate who got hit is finally able to play again and just invited me to, believe it or not, play the Dragon Ball Z game. Oh, let's go. I am excited as well, Duck. Don't say May like that. Look, I know I've had a month to prepare. I told y'all I was going to procrastinate. I've been busy. Hey, just for the record, just for the record, I'd like it to be known that I had this... I had a very rough week. I had to ruin my sleep schedule this week. And stop being nocturnal, which means I got, like, no editing done. So, I was spending all the time before basically getting ahead on editing so that I could take this week off. I shit you not, I haven't sat down to do any actual editing since, like, Sunday night last week. Yeah, but, but, did I tell you guys the good news about my psychiatry appointment? I don't think I mentioned what the good news was, that I wasn't fully expecting, but is going to work out for me. Um, so Reddit, you, you know that I have trouble getting out of the house, like, emotionally, Mentally, I have trouble getting out of the house. My psychiatrist agreed that our next few appointments can be over the phone. Or Zoom if they get it set up in time. But so, I'm not, I'm not going to have to, like, Uber over there or, like, take the bus or arrange a ride or anything like that. I just... Yeah, oh, and, and I'm not going to have to ruin my sleep schedule next time because I... I took a 9 a.m. appointment. So, oh, hey, Shiny Froki. Yeah, I took a 9 a.m. appointment, so I'm literally just going to stay up all night and then just do the appointment before bed. Oh, we got Fog. We got Fog. He's not marked. Damn. Oh, welcome into the YouTube chat, Mikey D's. Mikey D's nuts. Got him. Um... Alright, 
Quick Ball the Frog. And I'm gonna guess Gentle, because I don't have to leave the house for my next doctor appointment. Red don't have doctor's appointments. Doctors have red appointments. Doctors have red appointments. <laughs> Chuck Norris is loosely based off of red. You got a nature guess, Red? Uh. You know what? I'm gonna go adamant. All right, we got gentle. We got Adam, and we have timid from Mikey, calm from Talia, quirky from Bart, modest from Gabby. He is serious. I was serious about not ne not needing to leave the house for my next appointment, and you know what? I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful. Shout out to my new doctor. She's a real G. And obviously, y'all, if we catch a shiny Froakie, I think it is legally mandated that I evolve it for the video just to make people cream their jeans over Shiny Greninja. Alright, so we got the Froki into the Frogadier. Let's go. I do really like Shiny Frogadier. It's a really pretty blue. It is. I love Shiny Greninja, though. My two favorite colors are red and black. Yeah, it's... They somehow recreated the Charizard Shiny, but with a Water Starter in Gen 6. Like, they didn't have to go this crazy with the Shiny, yet they did. But hell yeah, we got a shiny Greninja for the thumbnail. Yippee! And we are going to pick a new target and keep on hunting. See you in the next phase. Jesus. What up? What's PCP? Other than the drug? Um, I'm not sure what Talia's talking about. I was actually going to ask that next. Duck, what's PCP? Because the only one I know of is a drug. <laughs> Chestnut got the bad end of the shiny color. Honestly, all the Kalos shinies are amazing. It's just Chestnut is definitely the most underwhelming compared to Del Fox and Greninja. I still like it, though. Oh, Rebe well, Rebecca came crazy. in with a lax at the last second. I missed that. Sorry, sorry, Rebecca. Sorry if YouTube is like lagging tonight, y'all. Um, I think I need to do something to like fix my bit rate on YouTube so that it doesn't lag as much. Oh, hello, new friend. Thank you for the follow on the Twitch side. Just a reminder, we have anonymous follows on, so no one has to be caught out of your alert or expected to chat. But we appreciate you being here tonight, friend. But if you do want to chat with us and get to know us, let us know what's your favorite starter. Oh, PCP is primary care physician. That... That's a middle class thing that me and Red don't understand. Shit, Red come from the boonies. <laughs> I... Yeah, I never had a primary care doctor because I never had health insurance up until I was like 20. And now yeah, I, I only get it through the state. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We are done with the starters. I don't want any more starters in this video. We've had four so far out of our eight shinies so far. So, anyone want to suggest a new target or a new kind of sandwich to make and we can figure out what to hunt? I'm going to try and get another Fomantis. Let's go, Bart. Also, congrats on the second pedal again. 
hop on and go to bed. Okay, Gabby, thanks for being here. Love you very much. We will see you next time, hopefully. Have a good night. Oh, hey guys, look, it's another person coming in to ask if they account created March 14th. You made your account a week ago, and you're going around asking people to play in Union Circles. Yeah, that's going to be a ban. Get out of here, kid. Fuck off. Oh yeah, we did we did talk about Pikachu. I hate when little kids come in here and are like, can I play with you? It's like... I'm doing shit. I don't want to play with a fucking seven-year-old. Also, you're not supposed to be on this website until you're 13 or 14 or something like that. So, yeah, get fucked, kid. Bye. But yeah, you're right, Bar. We were going to do Pikachu and or Charger Bug. So, let's go make an electric sandwich in the Wistful Fields of Kitakami. But that's right, if one more kid comes in here... Oh, man, I should have done the thing. Man, I forgot to do the thing. It was a golden opportunity. Do you remember the thing that I said I was going to do if that happened again, Red? Red? Oh, no, he fucking died. Sorry, since I heard you right on my door, I said I'll be right back. What's up? Oh, sorry. I forgot that you're AFK. Um, some kid just came in here asking to play in a union circle with me, and I totally forgot to do the funny bit I was going to do. Also, we are not doing Pikachu because, Bart, you play Pokemon Scarlet. You forgot about more Peko. I don't want to hunt more Peko here. So it's Charger Bug, Pikachu, and more Peko down here. So, I'm down for other suggestions of what we could hunt. We did already do a ground sandwich to get camera up and flag on. Yeah, Bard, but I don't want to worry about having to see a shiny more Peko because it's incredibly hard to see and we're trying to min-max tonight. Can't have to flag on our amazing shinies, right? Right? Hey, welcome back, Aiden. Red, you got any suggestions? Um... In the early route, are you able to isolate spy dots? No, it, not isolate. It's with Scatterbug. And I've hunted Scatterbug multiple times recently. Gotcha. Um. What shiny hmm. have we got? Tonight we've gotten... Let's look. Let's look. We've gotten eight of them so far. We got Camera, Flygon, Rowlet, Scoville, and Talonflame, Embor, Primarina, and Greninja. Bad bulb. Bro, come on. I need easy shinies. I don't even know what Tad bulb shiny looks like. <laughs> it, the tip of the tail, the orange, turns red. That's it. That's it? That's it. That's crazy. Belly Bolt turns all yellow. It's easy to see, but you can only get full Belly Bolt to spawn with an Outbreak. Eevee? Eevee is also really hard to get without an Outbreak. Um, that meant to be easy to see. But Talia, I already have Flygon. Plus, there's no way to isolate Trapinch, so I'd probably just get another Flygon or another Vibrava, which we evolved this from a Vibrava earlier. We need variety, y'all. Um, how about how about we just make an ice sandwich and fuck around and find out in the mountains? 
Facts. W would y'all be down for that? Just fuck around and find out in the Paldea Mountains with an ice sandwich? We could even do the entire ice sandwich and see just what we can get, because we can just keep going if we get something, because the odds of us getting the same thing again are low. True. And uh, you play Violet, so you can get Sand Slash, right? Or in the Paldea Mountains. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, surprisingly enough, there's actually not that many ice types that spawn in the polar biome, other than, like, Cub Chew. At least here, I'll be able to, like, maybe get, like, a Bergmite or a Snover or a Citadel again. Weavile? Sneasel is also up here, yeah. Yeah, I'd say go for that. Alright, I'm just gonna make an ice sandwich and see whatever pops first out of all these ice types up here. Do the whole sandwich and see if we could get multiple things to pop. And Facts. if we don't get if we don't get a Sneasel by the end, then I'll just do I'll go after Sneasel after with the dark sandwich. Okay, okay chillin'. Let's make a sandwich. Yo, Bart, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta use that Eevee to outbreak. Go get a personality mark Eevee, Bart. I know you can do it. Clostics. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing as soon as I open up the sandwich menu. I'm like, wait, what the fuck am I hunting again? Where am I? Where are my pants? Oh yeah, Talia, um, so last night, Jay ended up not being able to do DA super late, so we only ran like six or seven of them in total, and then we did some other stuff for the night, um, including we recorded for the April Fool's video, which was gonna be what we were planning on doing on Sunday, so assuming that the draft tournament doesn't go over into Sunday... Do you want to do DA Sunday? Give it another try. Wait, we supposed to be wearing pants? True, true. We do one more pet cam. Um, Lilo, do you want puppy cam? Lilo, you want to come up here for puppy cam, baby? Oh, there's the baby. You want puppy cam, baby? Here, your, your presence is being demanded. Alright, y'all. It's puppy cam time. You know the drill. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. Come get mama loves. Come get mama loves. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Oh, I love you. I love you. Mwah. Hi, baby. You getting some butt scratchies? You getting some butt scratchies? We scratching that butt? We scratching that butt? Oh, hi, baby. Aww. She liked the butt scratchies. She liked the butt scratchies. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, look at her go. 
Look at her go. Oh, is she she getting the screeches of a lifetime right now? Hi, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, is she kicking. She kicking a little bit. Hi, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. I think Mama's gotta get back to work. You gonna be okay? You gonna be okay, baby? Okay, baby. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Mom's gotta get back to work, baby. Hey, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Good, good girl. Mm -hmm. Good, girl. Go, go, baby. Okay, baby. I'm gonna get back to work. Here, do you want your bone? Do you want your bone? Good girl. Good girl. Here, baby, do you want to get under the blankie? Do you want to get under the blankie? Poor baby, come get under the blankie. There you go. Oh, is she nice and cozy? Get you a dog that likes to be tucked in. Thanks. Alrighty, y'all. Well, we have our sandwich made, and I was recording during all of that, which means... Let's find a shiny and use that dog footage. Right after I get this dog another treat... Talia has redeemed give dog treats. We're getting some more cheese for this baby. Hi, baby. You are from the blankies. We're gonna get some cheese. We're gonna get some cheese. Let's get some cheese. Go up on the bed. There you go. Right here, baby girl. Hey, you are such a good girl. Auntie Talia loves you. There you go. Good girl. Yeah, sorry, Aiden. We don't have channel points or anything on the YouTube side. That's a Twitch thing, so... Only Twitch people can redeem that. Also, Ayo, what the Robin doing in the chat? Robin in the Twitch chat. Hello. The cat? The cat is... Right here. If I can... Oh, no. That killed my camera. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Abort mission. Abort mission. I thought to turn the webcam to point at the cat, but... Yeah. The Robin is smoking a joint. Oh, let's go. You're so real for that. There we go. Yeah, webcam does not like to be moved. Uh, trust me, Kitty is right back here behind the laptop, sleeping amongst the stuffed animals.
Yeah, he's very cute. He's a very cute kitty. Alright, y'all, we got the puppy footage. Let's find ourselves a shiny. Dog's gonna sleep good tonight. What makes you say that, Aiden? Because she's getting lots of cheese. Because if anything, she's just gonna have really bad gas later and make it my problem. Facts. Not gonna lie, you hadn't said anything for a few minutes, and I completely spaced that you're in VC with me. You kind of just jump scared me. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, 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 that's not your fault at all. That's entirely my fault. I've, I I've been, I just, I forgore. I've been trying to work on my, uh, one, not talking over people, and two, talking at the right time. I appreciate that. Just know, I, I like the extra commentary and everything. As long as you're not talking, like, while I'm trying to catch a shiny, we're good. And that's mostly because I try and cut out all the catching attempts and only have the successful one in there. Or like the first attempt and the successful one. Which is sometimes one and the same. Got you. So when I hear that you get the shiny, I'll just shut it. Until I nature guess, pretty much. Perfect. That's general etiquette for recording with me. Okay. Also, Aiden says hi. Again, hello, Aiden. They went AFK earlier and came back. Understandable. What's that clickety clack? Oop. Sorry. No, you're good, but I'm. I'm actually curious. What is that? That is... It's currently my Xbox controller. I can type very fast on this motherfucker. Oh. I, I think uh, la last time I checked, I meant like maybe... 50 words a minute? 60? Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, for a controller, yeah. Uh, yeah, for a controller, that's good. Typing wise, I think I'm at like 150, 170 range. That sounds about right. Is that a shiny Frostlass? Whoa! Hey, Whoa! That's a shiny Frostlass! Oh! Guys! Whoa! I've never seen a wild shiny Frostlass up here. What? Whoa! She's not marked, but oh my god! Hey, lady! Oh, hi! Y'all, that gets to be attached to the dog footage now! 
Dude, that's so cool. That's like literally the coolest thing we could have gotten up here other than maybe like the whole ass to Titan. Whoa. All right, quick ball, and she goes in. That's so cool. That's so cool. She ran up to me. She did run up to me. I think I'm gonna guess bold because I'm just amazed that I noticed such a subtle shiny. You got nature guess red? I will go adamant yet again. Any other nature guesses, chat? Robin Bart. All right, so we got Bold and Adamant. We have Sirius from Rebecca, Jolly from Talia, Hasty from Bart. She is calm. Good for her. That's so cool. That's literally insane. All right, y'all. Well, we still have the rest of this ice sandwich to go. I was, I was saying, let's just fuck around and find out what we can get. Let's keep fucking around. See you in the next phase. What's your favorite animal, sis? Uh, sloths. Did you know that sloths can hold their breath underwater longer than dolphins? Really? Yeah. Interesting. I may or may not have asked just for is, the purpose of giving fact. Is it because they has such little respiratory need because they don't use energy or move? Indeed. Oh, I see. But yes, I specifically asked just to give you a fact about your favorite animal. No, that's a cool fact. I like that. I know another dolphin fact, but I'd, I'd say it's PG-13. E others, others may say rated R. Yeah, I know what dolphin fact you're talking about, and I don't want to talk about that on a stream. Anyways, I am going to start recording again. Go for not, it. Not talking about dolphins. I do not want to. I'm honestly invigorated with myself for have learning the fact. But being a bookworm, it just happened. Did you hear about the uh, two men who fought and killed a 900-pound grizzly bear with their bare hands? No. That shit was crazy. Sounds crazy. They had to have been on something or just stupid. But or it worked. Just stupid. Where, where are they from? That'll also answer a big question. Were they Russian? Um, I don't think they were. Let, let me double check it for you real quick.
Montana. That kind of sounds like some Montana American bullshit. Yep. Like, they basically lived out a red thigh. It's like, I could easily take that fucking bear. I do want to fight a bear, though. So they killed the bear with their... Sorry for the pun. Their bear hands? If what I remember from the fact, yes, I I will double check. Wow! Yes, shit. yes, they they killed it, and it was a grizzly bear. What the damn hell? But nah, red wants to fight a bear. That might be fun. Certain species of small barracuda are capable of swimming at Mach. Yes, Mach 1. Yeah. Oh. And for those in the chats that do not know what Mach 1 means, Mach 1 is the speed of sound. So fast. And what is that? Uh, barracuda? Yep, certain species of barracuda. Not gonna lie, I don't even know what the fuck a barracuda is. Is it a fish? Yeah, you know the Pokemon Barrascuda? Yeah, it's based off that. Yeah, it's, it's literally that. Okay. But with a normal fish fin for a tail. And there goes the ad break. There is a type of shrimp called a pistol shrimp. Oh, and I love pistol shrimp. In small groups, when they shoot their uh, water bubble, the uh, waves are strong enough to disrupt military sonar. Mm hmm. Because in their sonar, it literally is like a little gunshot just went off under the water. Mm hmm. Because don't Which they like. Don't they like pinch their claws so fast that it, like, ignites the air bubble with the friction. Yeah, it, it, it literally ignites it underwater, and that is crazy. They could blast a hole clear through you, and they're, like, smaller than your big toe. That's just outstanding. Nature's cool. Animals are very interesting things. Mm-hmm. I just wish people didn't treat them the way that they did. I always gotta check the Glaceons, because I never remember what Shiny Glaceon looks like. Yeah, of course. Redemption? Yo, Bart got the Fomantis again! Let's freaking go! Yo! That's why you're our Bart.
Yeah, Aiden, I don't mind if you fall asleep with stream on. I appreciate the lurk, actually. I have done it many times. Just know, if I find a really cool shiny, you might get woken up by me screaming. Also true. But also, I don't know what in Scarlet Violet could make me react so volatilely, you know? Well, we're not doing any full odds hunting tonight. Random shiny gulping out of nowhere, just so you can use the gulping joke. Oh, true. I would just uh, scream that into the mic. See, little bro knows. A rare mark shiny. True. Rare mark would make me say, what the fuck? Rare mark shiny is basically my equivalent of finding a full odd shiny for the night. Solid. I'm kind of bummed that that frost last didn't have a mark. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Robin. I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm not going to not react because someone might be sleeping, but apologies in advance if I scare the shit out of anyone with any of my reactions while you're falling asleep to the stream. I do appreciate the lurk, and I will try to keep it down. But also, if I find a rare mark shiny, I'm going to scream. And that is indeed an appropriate reaction. In the recent horror movie news, they just uh, finally got done with the lawsuit for Friday the 13th. So the current owner has plans to make two movies and give Dead by Daylight uh, access to the license. Ooh. Wait, was there some lawsuit going on where people were debating who owned the Friday the 13th Michael Myers? Nope, just Friday the 13th, who owned Jason Voorhees. It was going on for, like, five years. Because, like, one dude owned the or right I always to get Friday the 13th Friday. and Halloween confused. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people do. It's nothing to be, like, stressed on. But uh, one guy owned the right to uh, Friday the 13th, but another guy owned the right to Jason's hockey mask. Hmm... Trademark laws are weird. But so the guy who owns Friday the 13th now has permission to use the hockey mask? Yes, they were given... Or has the full... right to use the hockey mask? Yeah, they were given full rights to everything Jason Voorhees.
Like, if it, if you wrote the movie that made the character famous, then, uh, yeah, yeah, I see that. You love Dead by Daylight. It's a fun game. It definitely gets... When I've played it, it definitely gets my blood pumping. Definitely a game I've sunk some time into. Sadly. I don't know. If there was, like, an easy, like, heart rate monitor set up for, like, Twitch streaming and everything that, like, connected with OBS, if there was, like, an easy to set up one... I would totally make that, like, a subscriber goal for Halloween time. It's, like, play Dead by Daylight with a heart rate monitor. Wow. What? I actually play it every year for Spooktober. Homophobia and transphobia are bannable offenses. Oh, let's go. That's amazing, Robin. Did you read that message, Red? In Twitch chat? Yeah, the devs of DVD are apparently very pro-LGBT. Uh, yes, they just... Am I saying anything homophobic or transphobic is a bannable offense? Yes, they just technically put their first, I guess you could say, non-binary killer in is the newest killer and then there are three confirmed survivors one being gay one being trans and i think one is poly Ooh. okay okay we love representation in our games yeah day by day away seems pretty cool red doobie uh playing Got something banned for calling you the slurs. Good. When Red gets called a slur, he just does stuff. The girl from the ring is intersex. Oh, really? Oh, uh, Ringo? And, I didn't know. And apparently one of the killers is the lesbian. Yes. And I am almost willing to bet that it's Huntress. Oh, isn't she the scary tomahawk lady? Scary bunny tomahawk lady. Yes, she seems like a lesbian. Oh, shiny Satoddle! Oh! Hey. We're talking about Huntress from DBD being a total mommy. Yeah, you're right, chat. You're right. Oh, look at that fella. Hey, get out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. I need access to... You. She's marked? She's marked? Ayo? Hold up, 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 hold up. Shiny Satoddle. Let's go. 
And just in case, I'm gonna save one more time. Just be extra super duper sure. No, not the terrestrial primate. God damn it. Saving one more time. Encountering one more time. There we go. Okay, until we know if this is a cool mark or not, we are going to Quick Ball. I was invisible. Quick Ball works. Let's go. Hey, Red, there's still quite a bit of clicking going on in the background. Oh, got you. Got you. Sorry. Hey, yo, Nyx in the chat. Hello, Nyx. I love you. Welcome back in. It's been a while, friend. You know, I'm going to get jolly because I'm jolly to see this thing with a mark. You got to guess, Red? I'll go... Serious? Ooh. Any other nature guesses, y'all? All right, we got Jolly, we got Sirius, we got Modest from Rebecca, Hasty from Nyx, Docile from Talia. She is adamant. And this mark, we're checking in three, two, one. Snow Frolicker. Oh. The one time I don't pick adamant. True, you've been guessing adamant a lot tonight. But no, it's, it's a Snow Frolicker, guys. That's so cool. I love this thing. It do it be frolicking through the snow. It do be frolicking. And honestly, it's a shame to get this thing and not evolve it for the camera. So let's evolve this to toddle, y'all. <laughs> Is it an ice stone? It is an ice stone to evolve it. Oh, I thought it was level up. All right, here we go with the shiny Satadol. Evolving into shiny Satitan. Yes, look at the soccer ball. Guys, it's a soccer ball. Look at the soccer ball go. Soccer whale. It, it do be soccer ball. It do be soccer ball. That's super cool. But we got the rest of this ice sandwich to go, and then we're just going to move on to another target if we don't get anything else. So I'll see you in the next phase. We're probably not going to get anything else because I think the sandwich is just about done. Solid. Solid. I have not used this in a while. Let's see if it still works. But if y'all don't mind, I'm going to window out here and I need to go pee very badly. So I'll be back in just a few minutes, y'all. You won't be able to hear red, but I'll be back.
Boo. Hello, I'm back. Well, back. I tried something a little different. Oh. All right, we are going again. We are recording again. Let's use the rest of this ice sandwich. If there is a rest of this ice sandwich. Interesting. We got 40 seconds on this ice sandwich. Okay. Well, it was a good run, y'all. I'm still down to go after Sneasel because Weavile would go crazy on a thumbnail. Question, sis. What up? Do you hear the clicking? Very faintly, but I still hear it. Okay, okay, okay. You type a messages to your roommate? It... No, uh, to my clan members in Warframe. Oh, because you play on console, don't you? I do. See, this whole time that you've been talking about Warframe, I thought you were on your laptop. Nope, sold the laptop. Oh, you sold it? Just wasn't getting as, as much use out of it as you wanted? Not as much use, no. Then, uh, the main thing I had it for was Wizard 101 and Warframe, and then Cross Save came out, so I was able to put my PC account and merge it with my Xbox account. Okay. Also, your mic is getting, like, a lot of static feedback when you were talking now. Did you do something different with your mic? Is it near a fan or anything? No, oh, that, that's the different thing I was talking about. It was more or less a test. I have the Discord call on my Xbox right now. I have, like, my streaming headset on. Can you saw it back? I can. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of bad. <laughs> I, pre no I appreciate you trying that something new. I appreciate test. you trying to fix it. I got you. I will have to leave the booth and rejoin. Um, go ahead and just rejoin. I'm just making a new sandwich now, so you you won't miss anything. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. What are we doing? We are doing a dark sandwich because we're going to get Sneasel because we didn't get it from that last sandwich. Um, what is new with you, Nyx? Um, what's new with me? I had a psychiatry appointment. Luckily, I'm getting refills of all of my, like, psychiatric meds other than my ADHD meds, because they still... How do I say this? Here, I'm not recording right now. I'm just making a sandwich, but... Basically, you guys... Anyone who's ever gone through mental health services or psychiatry before, you know that when you start seeing a new doctor, you usually have an intake process where you go over your history, go over what has worked for you, what hasn't worked for you, what medicines you've tried before, what they did for you, what your diagnoses were, where they came from, and everything like that. Um, basically, I did not get through my entire intake process because I have such an extensive history for my mental health. I've had so much shit go on and so many diagnoses and everything that uh, it, we didn't get through the entire conversation. We didn't even get to talk about ADHD. So not going to get ADHD medication yet because the doctor wants to do an actual test on me after we talk about it and finish the intake. But good news is that they're allowing me to do a phone call for the next few appointments. Um, because I told them that getting out of the house is very difficult for me. So, not getting the ADHD meds yet. That's okay. Good news is, I'm not going to get any worse anytime soon. And next time I have the next appointment in a few weeks, I'm not even going to have to ruin my sleep schedule or anything or, like, go out of my way to leave the house because it's over the phone. And I scheduled it for 9 a.m. so that I can just stay awake all night like I normally do and just stay up a little bit late and do the rest of the intake appointment. And then I will go to bed after that. And it's on like a Wednesday or something, so I don't even stream the next day or anything. So, it'll be good. It'll be good. Or I don't stream that day, yeah. Sneasel. 
So, one, I was back. I just wanted to let you finish talking. Thank you, I appreciate that. Two, you sound I just a lot realized... better. I also just realized it is midnight and my body is feeling it. I'm probably going to crash. Yeah, that Red Bull kept you pretty active for a while, but hey, that's 100% okay. I appreciate you being here, Red, and you kept me company tonight. Love having your commentary in the videos. I love having you around. You mean everything to me. Of course. You mean the world to me too, sis. All right. Everyone say goodnight, Red. <laughs> Good night, Red. Is, we love Red you. Red Bull would have worked if my body wasn't just so used to passing out at midnight. No, dude, that's totally okay. Stick with your regular schedule. Don't don't break your schedule. Don't get less than four hours of sleep on your day off. That sounds like hell. Go get some sleep, dude. I'll probably I'll, right. I'll probably still be up by the time you're getting up in the morning for your workout. So if you want, maybe we can hang out in VC later tonight when I'm doing some editing. Yeah, sure. Or for you in the morning. That's fine with me. Alrighty, sounds good. Good night, Red. Right. Love you. Good night, everybody. And as they say where I come from, love, piece of hair, grease. And as always, don't get wet. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> night, night, bro. God, I love Red. Alrighty, y'all. Who is ready to find a Sneasel? We gotta find a little pink Sneasel. Hey y'all, hear me out on this. I might be cooking up a video idea here and I want I want to test with y'all and see if this is something that you guys would watch. So, it's it's no secret that I often shiny hunt the same things over and over multiple times for no reason other than simply to make videos and have reactions and make content. We can all agree on this, right? Even though I already have 99% of a living dex for the Indigo Disc DLC. Well, first of all, let me say this. Something that's been popping up on my YouTube analytics a lot recently is people searching catching every shiny Pokemon. So, like, the phrase catching every shiny is really, really good for the algorithm. I mean, people click on it a lot. What if I did a four-part series as catching every single shiny in each of the four biomes of the terrarium? Or I could even do a fifth one for Charchstone Cavern. Ooh, shiny Sneasel! Oh, pink Sneasel, guys! Okay, well, I'm asking my Twitch chat right now, but I guess I'll ask you, the viewer, is that something that you would watch? Like, if I did it catching every shiny in the savannah biome, then every shiny in the canyon biome, and so on and so forth. Would that be interesting? Hi, Sneasel. She is marked? She is marked? I'm saving again? I'm saving again? This is a marked Sneasel? 
Mark Shiny Sneasel. Oh, please let this be a cool mark. Please let this be a cool mark. I was going to evolve this one for the video anyways, just to show it off. I would love for this to be in a cool mark. And it goes in the quick ball. Let's go, let's go. You know what? She was kind of hiding under the tree. I almost didn't see her for a second. Let's get Spashful. Any other nature guesses, chat? Any other nature guesses? And that does include YouTube chat as well, if I got people on the YouTube side. Speaking of which, have I gotten any more subs tonight? Have I broken past 666 finally? No, I'm still at 666. Damn. Don't be afraid to subscribe, y'all. I... I don't want to keep the funny number. I want to grow past it. I already took a screenshot. Alright, I say bashful. We got bashful from Nyx. Calm from Talia. Sassy from Robin. She is lonely. And this mark. We're checking in. Three, two, one. Snow Frolicker! Again! Okay. Yeah, we can get another Snow Frolicker. I will happily take that. Aw. She do be frolicking, though. She do be frolicking. Let's evolve her. It's... Holding a Razor Claw at night, right? All right, 355 on the switch is nighttime in Paldea, I believe. Or rather, 350 is not quite nighttime was it 420 Or is it 320? 
Welcome back from Ad Hell, everybody. If you just watched those ads, I appreciate you and your contribution towards this channel. Thank you for sticking with us. We are just trying to set it to nighttime to evolve this Sneasel, and here we go. Alright, we got it set to nighttime. We got it the Razor Claw. Let's evolve this Sneasel into a Weavile, y'all. Here we go. Beautiful. I love Weavile so much. I've talked about this before, but my introduction into shiny hunting in the main series games was I went after a red and pink themed full odd shiny team in Pokemon Sword and Shield before I ever knew about the shiny charm. And Sneasel wasn't originally on my list. I was going after Snow Runt to get Glalie, but then I ended up getting a Sneasel phase along the way that I just added to the team instead of, I forget what else I was going to have on the team, but I ended up putting Weavile on the team instead, and I still have it on my Sword and Shield file. I forget what her name is, but I know I named her something. But that's neither here nor there. We are going to keep on shiny hunting, and I will see you in the next phase. Don't play. Retitle. Alrighty, y'all. I could use some suggestions on what to shiny hunt next. Whether anyone wants to suggest a kind of sandwich to make, or a specific target to go after. I have lots of Urban Mystica, so I'm down for really anything. As long as it's easy to hunt. We're trying to min-max tonight. We want easy targets. We want banger thumbnail shinies. We want variety. All three regions on the table tonight. What are we feeling? I need to drink more of this Rockstar. Feel like Jangmo and Kitakami. Yo, you know I'm always down to hunt Jangmo. Oh, let's get that little fucker. Or nose pass. Tell you what, let's go after both. Why not? We might also get a pseudo Wudo or a Bonsley with the with the rock sandwich for nose pass, so that could be interesting. But yeah, I'm down to do Jangmo and the nose pass. I have no problem hitting up the same region twice in a row. Sounds good to me. God. My cat, like, scratches up my belly and my chest so much whenever he climbs on me.
All right, y'all, we got a dragon sandwich. We are here in Kitakami. Who's ready to find a shiny Jangmo? Oh, Jangmo. Hello, friend. I love you. I love Jangmo. What up, nerds? Hey, what up, Bean? What the Bean doing? Being a master of beans, indeed. Playing Ghost Recon. Cool shit. Good stuff. Glad you chose to hang out here and play some video games tonight. We're doing... You've been, you've been here for one stream videos before. This is like my third one that I've done of these, but it's just like trying to see how many shinies you can find in one stream. I'm pretty sure you've been here for one of these before. That's what's going on tonight. It's a nice, easy Friday video that I can do. I can finish the whole thing in one day because that's the whole point, is that it's all in one day. No RNG determination with marks or anything. We pick nice, easy targets. I get to do chat suggestions and people get to pick what we shiny hunt. It's always a good time. I like to do, I'm thinking about doing like one of these per month. But yeah, I'm glad you're here. When you say playing Ghost Recon, that's a COD of Duty, correct? And yes, I say COD of Duty because it pisses people off. <laughs> Oh, it's an open world game. Oh, okay, okay. 
does it have a premise? Like, is it like space exploration or, um, like, is it like crafting survival kind of game or collection based adventure? I don't mind talking details if you don't mind. But also, if you if you're just here to vibe and play your game, that's also cool too. Oh, that's the fella! Oh, it's the fella! Oh, fella! Guys, we got a fella. We indeed have a fella on the screen. Target acquired. Found. He's not marked. That's okay. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, that was a terrible shot. Here, let's try that again. I love Jangmo, -O, and I want y'all to see how amazing this shiny is. Hell yeah. Love Jangmo. <sighs> and we quick ball the Jangmo. It does not go in. Didn't expect it to. I'm gonna cut here. See you when it catches. We might be here a little while, y'all. Oh, that one caught. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna guess Impish because I think Jangmo is just a silly, goofy little fella. Any other nature guesses? Anyone on the YouTube side? I know YouTube tends to lag a little bit more, so I'll wait an extra second for that. Alright, I say Impish, we got Timid from Bean, Quirky from Talia, Impish from Nyx, he is serious. Why do I feel like I've gotten multiple serious Pokemon tonight? The Greninja was serious. Actually, I've, the Flygon was serious. Yeah, I've gotten like a lot of serious and adamant today. And quite frankly, I like Jangmo O more as a first stage Pokemon than anything, because it's simply just little puppy. 
so we're just gonna leave it at that. And I'm gonna pick a new target to hunt. Chat's gonna help me out, and we will see you in the next phase. All right, ad break is running on the Twitch side, and I don't know how many subs I have left here. I'm going to go and get some coffee really quick, y'all.
Hello, we are back. I'm drinking water because I smoked weed and my throat hurts. Uh, Tali, if you want to hop in the recording booth, you're more than welcome to. Saw your Discord message. I would love to have you in here if you plan on staying up for a few more hours. Ayo. Hello. Hello, friend. So good to hear your voice. Oh, thanks. Likewise. So do you think you'll finish out the dragon sandwich? Or do you think you'll... Nah, we're just gonna hop into Nose Pass. I forgot we were doing Nose Pass. I'm down for Nose Pass. Because I can't think of any other dragon types that I would want to hunt. That's fair. Because all other dragon types are, like, hard to hunt. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's true. Yeah, so off to, off to the Golden Rock. What? Jigmo, get, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> My dog is bigger than your dog. Um, you are your own dog? Okay, let's make a sandwich. Are you at your computer? No, so I am... I'm currently in my living room. Oh, okay. Is, is it still... The op the, is the office door open? Because I can still hear him in the background, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it is. Let me, um... Let me just go shut it. I'll be right back. Yeah, if that's shut, I'm sure it'll be fine. Actually, too, you know what I can do mm -hmm. is I can also I can also just go in our bedroom. I mean, you I don't want to tell you where to hang out in your house. I'm sure closing the door was perfectly fine if you want to hang out in the living room. Oh. But it's up to you. You well, can try the living room again, and if I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah, like you smoked it in the room, like, so, uh, okay, yeah, like, door shut, like, can you hear like, me? Yeah, I'm just about to say, like, I can't even hear anything, and I don't even think you're, like, more than a few feet away from the room already. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, really it'll be Gucci, it'll be fine. You are free Excellent. to hang out in Excellent. your own living room. <laughs> thank you so much for th <laughs> thank you so much for being considerate of the noise quality on the stream and the videos. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, no, of course. But yeah, it's nose pass time. I never understood why they made the meat in scarlet and violet for the sandwiches so heckin' thick. So the reason why it's like that is because it, like, ba the word bacon in, like, Spanish is, it, like, in Spain, what they call bacon is essentially just pork. So that's basically a pork chop for them. Oh. I, I don't know why it's in perfectly square bricks, but the way it translates is essentially a pork chop. Not oh, like, not like okay. breakfast bacon. I gotcha. No, um, Americans are the odd ones out with having bacon be like the thin, crispy stuff. Fair. In other countries, bacon basically just means pork steak. Huh. I always forget, too, that Scarlet and Violet was actually based off of Spain, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's another thing.
Yeah, something that I learned recently was that apparently every single region... Like, every single real-world location that Pokemon regions have been based off of have, like, huge Pokemon fan bases. Which just more convinces me that Gen 10 is going to be Australia. Honest to God, I think the same thing because on whenever I go on Facebook and I have like all the and I have like my Pokemon news feed, there are so um, there are so many people in the Pokemon groups that have been designing like Pokemon based off of Australia. So mm -hmm. it kind of makes me wonder if that's also going to be the new area as well. People have been wanting in Australia, Pokemon region, for ages. Is that a shiny Bonsly? Oh my god, that's a shiny Bonsly! Whoa! That's like a rarer spawn here. I'm seeing way more nose pass than anything. That's a shiny Bonsly! Two minutes I into know. the recording! Oh wow! Oh hey little fella! Hey little fella! Hey little lady, she's small. She doesn't look abysmally tiny. So, I'll still get her size appraised, but damn, already? Let's freaking go. Honestly, I'm not gonna evolve this one because Bonsly as a Prevo is so much harder to get than Suda Wudo. It's like a flex to have the Prevo. You know what? I'm gonna guess Quirky because this is the more rare spawn here to be shiny. Um, I'm gonna guess that she's adamant because she popped up really quickly. Ooh, true. Adamant about showing up. Mm-hmm. Any other nature guesses, y'all? Either in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat. All right, we got Quirky and Admin. We have Timid from B, and she is brave. Good for her. Let's go get her size appraised. The brave little girl. She was brave Love for it. showing up. She didn't need to show up. I was after Nose Pass, but I will happily take a Bonsly. Or Bonsly, That's however you true. say it. I've always said it Bonsly. Yeah. So. I, I like think that's how they said it in the I anime. It I think so too. God, it's been so long. Hot when, uh, we how to... tiny is this bonsai tree? Slightly smaller. Okay. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say, um, when we went to Walmart the other day, um, because sometimes we'll pick out movies from there. And I saw that they had the whole collection of the Pokemon Indigo. Um, like the very first gen. The, the whole League. collection. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it huge. Was like, I think it was like 60 bucks. I was like, oh my god. Oh man, <laughs> if only. If only. If only. But, alright, well, I'm going to go back and try and get Nose Pass. I'll see y'all in the next phase.
school. You know, I really wish, like, one day I hope that I have enough of a disposable income that doing something like bot, like impulse buying the entire Indigo League collection for 60 bucks isn't, like, a big decision to make. That is fair. Or isn't, like, a really stupid decision. Oh, god, no. Well, so... Um, like, I would like to but... have it, but... Your her fiddle de he means that I can get it for free online. So that's not something that I should be spending money on when I have like no money to spend on shit. That's true. Um, we normally go there's a place out here called McKay's and they sell um they sell like a lot of like movies, video games, comic books, a lot of, and like kids stuff like for cheap usually okay. and we tend to go we tend to go there to go and get movies for our plex server and there the movies are usually anywhere between like a dollar oh, to five dollars pass already oh, i'm wow. sorry but yeah that's already a shiny nose pass okay you keep doing your thing you keep talking so the movies are like one to five bucks that's pretty good yeah mm-hmm Unless they're like a super, unless they're like a hard, more like harder to find movie, like an older movie, and then they're usually like a little bit more money, and then sometimes the collections are a little bit more, but the collections for the most part are usually like around 20 bucks, which honestly ain't that bad. He's marked. He's marked. <laughs> I'm saving one more time. Marked nose pass, hell yeah. And it says he's small. He doesn't look like tiny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one in the background there is even smaller. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quick ball. Oh, it went in the quick ball. Let's freaking go. Honestly, I think there's nothing I can guess other than hasty. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go adamant again. Ooh. Any other nature guesses in chat, y'all? Hey, what's up, Mr. Who? This shiny right here puts us to 14. <clears throat> and the night is still very young. I've only been I've been streaming less than five hours. Well, I'll throw welcome back to the YouTube chat, Mr. Who. All right, we got Hasty and Adamant. We have Calm from Mr. Who. He is impish. And this mark, we're checking in three, two, one. It's an uncommon mark. We're fine. Nothing crazy. But damn, that's a whole nose pass right there. And in this Big. game, with the animations they gave to Probo Pass, I'm not going to evolve this guy because Probo Pass gives me the heebie jeebies. I don't like the way he blinks. <laughs> so, uh, we're just gonna leave it at that. I'll see you in the next phase. <laughs> uh, for me, it's the big mustache. 
Like, see, I, don't know. I see the mustache, and I just think of Mr. Nintendo himself. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I don't know. Just the mustache to me just kind of gives me like really like middle aged man creepy vibes. I don't know. With the kind of mustache it is, yes, but also just when I think of mustaches in general, I think of either Vintendo or Sammy Snow. You know Sammy, right? I can't say that I do. Oh, he's a bigger streamer that I've raided into a couple of times. Nights oh, that I'm okay. not streaming, you can probably find me lurking in there if he's live. Gotcha. But... After starting Monday, he's going to be gone for like a month because he's got down visiting Australia. Which actually, he's the streamer that I found out from that I was talking about the Australia region and everything like the Pokemon region off of Australia because of big fan base located there. All that was from him. Gotcha. Honestly, though, if they do the Australian, um, if they do end up doing the Australian region Pokemon, it, I think it would honestly be cool to have, like, a regional variant Kangaskhan. That'd be so Ooh, neat. That would be cool. That would be cool. Sorry, I just had a little bit of a hangnail. I just had to go clip off. Oof, those are oh, those are nasty. I hate those. Well, when I say hangnail, I mean more of like it was a little part sticking out that I ended up fidgeting with too much, and it was like starting to rip my nail, so I had to go and just clip it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, welcome back, Nick. Sorry, we already did the nature guess on it. Yeah, we're right between close right now. It was impish, but... Oh, true. Um... Probopass's mustache does kind of look like a black Cheeto, and someone in my YouTube chat said Steve Harvey level. <laughs> That's hysterical. I can see the Steve Harvey. I can see Steve Harvey. I totally can see. The mustache too. is like a black Cheeto. <laughs> okay, I will say, okay. I do love watching. What are we hunting next? Talia, do you have any ideas of what we could hunt next that could be fun or look good on a thumbnail? Ooh. Um. Ooh, I did get an idea. I don't know how you're gonna feel about this, but how mm. about going for how about going to the terrarium in the savannah for a shiny giraffe rig? You know what? We could do a giraffe rig. Thing is, I either do a normal sandwich and get Rufflet, Braviary, and Tauros, or I do a psychic sandwich and also get Executor. So we could. I say we go psychic sandwich and get either executor or draft rig such for a graph. I'm down for that. Let the fates decide. Had your phone on mute because ads. Oh, that's fair, Nex. Yeah, let's go get a draft rig. Because also, if there's a draft rig on the thumbnail, Mr. Nova League might watch the video again. Ooh. There was one time when I put Drafrig on the thumbnail, or Frigraf on the thumbnail, and he commented on the Nova League account, being like, Frigraf spotted with, like, the pointing emoji. And then he commented again on that, saying her name is, or and her name is Arson. Because her name was wonder... Arson. Oh, I wonder if Farigaraf is his favorite shiny then, or one of his favorite shinies. Oh, honey, you have no idea. Sorry, I forgot you don't watch that channel. Um, he's becoming known on YouTube as the for as the Giraffrig guy. Oh, okay. Maybe like I'll have to give him an alert. 
definitely should. Alright, I say check out the videos. The videos are definitely the better way to go. He's, he's a really good streamer. He's a really entertaining streamer to, like, talk to and listen to for background noise because he, like, talks frequently. He's really good at just talking on about stuff, but uh, he's also an author. He writes science fiction books. Oh, that's and, cool. And talks about them quite frequently. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I think you'd really like the channel. And if you would like to spend any time with me off stream while I'm re while I'm doing my recordings, I'd be more than happy to indoctrinate you in some of the videos together. Watch them together. Okay. I've been doing that yeah. with Ryan recently. I wouldn't mind doing the same thing with you because I've already seen all their videos like multiple times over. Yeah, I'm down for that. Excuse me. Uh, I'm thinking of something right now, but I'm not recording yet, and I'm making the sandwich, and I'm gonna wait until after to say it. Okay. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know, I'm just gonna start recording now so that I can say this, but someone in my chat says something about, like, Black Cheeto talking about Probopass's mustache. Like, how many people out there know that the Chips Cheetos are based off of Cheetah Balls? Like, they're balls. Did y'all know that? Oh. Like, the, uh... or the, the dusty orange color? Like, the bright orange dusty color to it? That looks like a cheetah's testicles. I don't They're think we ever did look at cheetahs the same. They're not supposed to be lumpy like that, don't get me wrong, but like cheeto puffs look exactly like cheetah testicles. I'm just oh saying. Oh my god. I don't think I will ever be able to eat or look at cheetos the same way ever again. Because <laughs> I had no idea. And it makes it worse knowing that Cheeto's mascot is Chester the Cheetah. Yeah. He's selling his balls. His big <laughs> lumpy balls. Oh man. Yeesh. Nightmare. But yeah, le legit nightmare. Oh, I forgot with the psychic sandwich, we also get Robska around here. We could get a whole Robska. That would be really cool. That would be neat. Honestly, I'm down for anything here, but also I don't want to see another shiny executor ever again in my life because I've gotten way too many of them with, like, char mods. Watch you just you watch you just jinxed yourself and now you're gonna get a shiny executor. <laughs> Honestly, probably. They're the thing that spawns in groups of five here. Hey, Francis. Naughty little man touching my things. Oh, behave yourself, kitty. He likes to step on my keyboard and w try and walk across it to get to my lap, and I've been trying to, like, train him not to. Mm -hmm. If you want on my lap, you go over here onto the kennel, onto the bed, and back here to my lap. You don't just beeline it to the lap. Stupid dumb idiot. <laughs> well, because At least the, he's a the, problem, the problem is that all the buttons on that side of the keyboard, like, half of them are attached to different shiny counters that I have. So he will, like, step on my keyboard and change my counter by who knows how many 
Because um, it just keeps going the longer it's pressed down. So he'll just be standing there for a second before I notice him. And he's changed my counter by like a couple hundred. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, he consistently least... does that. So I have to like go back and check the footage and remember where I was. Well, at least he's a cute, stupid, dumb idiot. You gotta give yeah, him that. He's, he's a cutie. He's a cutie, but also... I don't know, he causes, he causes just as much trouble as the dog. And, like, he harasses the dog as much as she harasses him. Animal because, warfare, literally. Well, because he's realized that his superpower is that I've trained the dog that if the kitty growls at her and hisses at her, she needs to leave him alone, which usually means going to her kennel. But then that means that she will, or he will hiss at her while she's just sitting on the bed not doing anything to him. Just to get her off the bed so that he can come over and get cuddles. Oh, geez. And I'm always like, yo, that's not right. And throw him off the bed. Hiss at him to get him to go away. And then try and get the dog back on the bed. Because that's that was her spot. I don't know. They're just dicks to each other. Oh, goodness. Also, while I'm, like, preparing their dinner and everything like that, he also likes to, like, walk past the dog to get close to me making his food or, like, putting the food on his plate from the can. And then he turns around and the dog is there and he's, like, hissing and whining and thinking he's, like, getting cornered and everything when she, she was literally standing there the whole time. He walked right past her. But then as soon as he turns uh, around, he's like, oh no, I'm cornered, I'm being oppressed, I'm gonna make a big deal out of it. And then Leo goes and runs to her kennel again. Which is bad, because I feed the kitties right in front of the kennel, so, is that, so then I gotta let Francis come inside, coax her outside of the kennel, and have him basically swap places while playing, like, negotiator. All this in a tiny one-bedroom apartment. Oh my god, what a little shithead. Yeah. Well, it's a two-bedroom apartment, but the second room is occupied by our roommate. Right, right. We don't use that room. Not until Allie moves in. That's true. Which, um... I, I'm, I'm sure she's told you, but I, I'm i selling her my, want my uh Oh, yeah, my the bed frame. frame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still have the pictures of it on my phone, and I can send them to you in our in our Discord chat. Um, eh, that's not my business. It's a full size frame; it'll fit. Okay. Well, it can actually alternate between full and queen, so oh, it's it one just of depends those. on. Yeah, it just depends on. Um, it just depends on how big the room is, but um, it's an older it's an older bed frame. It was in my. It was in my grandmother's house when I was a kid, and um, when I bought my first home, I used it as my spare bedroom bed frame. So, it's gotten many good years out of it. Still has some great years left, but... We're trying to plan a weekend where our schedules kind of connect and we can meet up. Honestly, if I were Allie, I would probably, like, I don't think I'm ever going to have a regular bed frame ever again. Not after what I have right now. What I have right now, they're, like, super easy to fold up. You don't need a box spring or anything. You just lay the mattress right on top of it, and it, it's just two twin-size ones linked together in the middle. They fold out oh. and everything. They're plenty tall, so there's lots of space underneath to store stuff. I don't think I could ever go back to a regular, like bed frame on the ground. That's fair. That is fair. But if that's what Allie wants, then like, yeah, good. It's an excuse for y'all to meet up too. Yeah. Well, we had been trying to meet up for, we have been trying to meet up for a little while now, but the bed frame just kind of <laughs> made a little extra motivation. <laughs> yeah. Which there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, busy people. No. 
Oh, yeah. And plus, too, like, when you work opposite shift schedules, it definitely makes it that much more complicated. Oh, true. That means you can, like, only meet up on, like, weekends, which is mm -hmm. limited valuable time to you. Right. Well, at least now that I have, I have Mondays off now, so now I have three-day weekends. So it definitely makes it easier to meet up on, like, a Sunday or something. True. So glad you get that, by the way. That's going to be huge. Oh, and I'm excited for doing Dynamax Adventures on Sunday. Because, like, the only me thing that I had written down on my weekly schedule for everything was VGC was this tonight, VGC tournament tomorrow night, and then, um... I was just going to do the April Fool's video on Sunday and then get started on Monday's recording, but now we can just do Dynamax Adventures on Sunday. Mm-hmm. It'll be so nice. Oh, question. Were you in the chat earlier during the ice sandwich? We got yes. the frost lass? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. I'm just thinking about that frost lass. That's one of the coolest things I've ever found in the mountains there. I've never found a wild frost lass shiny before, and, like, you've been around many of the times that we've done uh, just make an ice sandwich and go up and down and fuck around and find out. You've been right. there for so many of those, and we've never found a frost lass before. I know, I saw that, and I was like, oh my god, that is I so cool. I still haven't found a uh, Glaceon doing that yet. Ooh, that would be awesome. That's that's my next target for that area. Uh, the last time I tried shiny hunting in Violet, I went to Paldea, and I went to the area... Um, I forget the name of the actual area, but it's right by the lake, and it, that's where a lot of, like, the Toad Scroll and the, um... Oh, the uh, Sakurat Trail, with, like, the orange trees yes. and grass and everything? I yes, love, so... I love shiny hunting there. Toad School, Heracross, Honchcrow, Fungus, all fun hunts. So... In fact, we might go for Fungus after this, who knows? That would be cool. But I, um, so I made an electric sandwich there because I was trying to hunt Jolteon, but I also didn't realize, I also forgot, though, that there's so many Raichu up there. And I was oh. like, oh, I just, I was like, oh, I just kind of cucked myself. <laughs> do you still need a place to hunt Jolteon? I do, because I really want, ooh, I, ooh, I mean, ooh, I, I know, I know, I know. I know. You do? The grass area right outside of Medali, the normal gym with Larry, right outside of Larry's uh -huh. gym, the grass area up there, electric sandwich, all Jolteon, isolated completely. It's the only electric type there. Oh, hell yeah. And it's a nice, big, wide open area, not a lot of trees. So, all things considered, Ooh. should be pretty easy to spot. Hope that helps. Yes. Definitely, because I want all the, I still want all the shiny evolutions and the two mm -hmm. shiny Eevees, the two shiny Eevees I have right now, um, I technically, well, technically I have three, but one of the, two of them I already plan on making an Espeon and an Umbreon, um, respectively, and then the third one I was thinking about either making a uh, Glaceon or a Leafeon just because those shinies are a little bit harder to see. Well, is there any um, particular reason you want to evolve the other ones into Umbreon and Espeon? Because I can also tell you an easy place to hunt Espeon isolated. 
So you can maybe oh. do it Leafeon and Glaceon and Umbreon, which are the harder ones to find, isolated. Oh, okay. Is Espeon, um... So, is funny Espeon enough... Is Espeon outside of Psychic Gym? No, funny enough, Espeon is also outside of Madali, but instead of in the grassy field areas, you go up the hill towards the Dalazapa Passage towards the mountain. And all up along that area with a Psychic Sandwich, you get just Espeon. Ooh, okay. Maybe I'll actually do... Hmm. Yeah, Larry's I'm gym, to... that area, also go to Chinese Hunting Place. I'm kind of debating about maybe doing some shiny hunting in Scarlet Violet because I have been doing DAs now for the past, like, two hours, and I haven't gotten a dang thing. I haven't gotten anything from Dynamax Adventures in the last three weeks that we've done DAs. Oh my gosh. It's been three weeks for me. To be fair, I don't do it nearly as often as you do, so I wouldn't expect to get shinies as often as you do, but... Fair. Like, come on, man. Although, the alchemy that we got earlier this past week when we did the DAs with Jesse, that made my, that made, that finished my first full box of shinies in Sword and Shield. Oh, that's huge. Strictly from DAs, except for one. <laughs> that's huge. What was the one that wasn't from DAs? Vaporeon, believe it or not. Ooh. Um, you found a I wild Vaporeon? From... No, so I actually got an egg from the nursery, and it was a shiny Eevee. <laughs> oh, huge. Yeah, so I ended up um, evolving it into a shiny Vaporeon. That's beautiful. Love shiny Vaporeon. Because mm -hmm. I used it... I used it for the um, the last battle with um, with Leon. So, oh, so it's on it your title screen has... now too. Yeah, it has the Galar nice. champion mark. I'm sorry. Did you just say Galar? Yeah. Did I say that? That's wrong? a first. That's a first I've ever heard it pronounced. <laughs> oh really? What does everybody else call it? Well, everyone else argues whether it's Galar or Galar. Oh, I've always called it Galar. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought you were saying Gaylord, and I was like, why Why do you sound like a 2003 internet troll right now? Like, insulting oh, no. someone on a forum? Like, no, fucking no, no, Gaylord? No. Nah. But yeah, no, that's just what I've always called it. I've always called it the Galar region. I can get used so. to it. I can get used to it. I'll adjust. <laughs> I won't take personal offense to this. But yeah, it definitely sounded like you were saying, like, gay something. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I wasn't, like, trying to be offensive or anything. That's just how no, I No, 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 you weren't. I was just... <laughs> it threw me off for a second. I was like, gay what? And then I realized, oh, you're talking about Galar region. Yep. So many giraffes. There's so many giraffes. All the giraffes. Can I have a shiny giraffe, please? Mayhaps? Mayhaptitude? Or Robska. I'll take a Robska. Again, I just don't want Executor. Like, nothing against Executor, but I don't want him. I've had too many. No, that's fair. That is fair. I don't think I still have... I still don't think I have a shiny Executor in Violet, whether it's Alolan or Cantonian. I do plan on doing a personality mark hunt for Alolan Executor eventually, though. Ooh, that'd be nice.
I'm high as fuck making a pork chop in a toaster oven. Please be careful, but also, yeah, get that food. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had a pork chop from a toaster oven. That sounds interesting. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Boxes. Actually, no what? No. I forgot you're playing it in handheld mode. I was like, why can I hear your game? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I kind of wish the legendaries that you can find in the Paldea region weren't shiny locked. Oh, it's honey, ev everybody wishes they weren't shiny locked. Here's the thing if they weren't shiny locked, I'd be hunting sh a shiny legendary right now, probably. Or at least I'd be a hunt I have going on at the moment. Well, because I, um, what I've I right have, now. I have my, I just turned on my Violet game in the place where I left off in the middle of the Castle Royal Lake, and I was just zooming around because there was a ton of Pokemon on me, and I just saw Suicune. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, see, but... I don't even have them, like, out in the world or anything because I'm just so adamantly against them. It's like, and sorry, that's but... You're shiny locked, and I take personal offense to that. So I'm not even gonna have you in my game. You simply do not exist. I haven't even talked to Snacksworth yet, and I don't plan to. And that's understandable. I um, I have a couple in the um, I have a couple in Paldea, but the only reason I was even trying to catch them is because of the fact that I can. Whenever I do get Pokemon Home, I can at least put them in Pokemon Home and say I have, you know, legendaries in there, essentially. Yeah, um, how I see it, I've, I've probably done enough Blueberry quests at this point that, like, I probably have unlocked all the legendaries if I just go talk to Snacks with. So, if I ever need them for anything, yeah, I'll go get them. They'll be there. But for the time being, I'm, I'm just going to be pissed and protest them. That's Until fair. I need them. That's fair. I'm just sad I can't hunt Suicune and DAs anymore because when I first started doing DAs, I didn't realize that you could uh -huh. potentially get shiny. That out happens of them. to so many people with Suicune in particular because it's the tutorial one. It's always like, yeah. ooh, catch Suicune. Ooh, pick up a Pokemon to take with you. And people are going to be like, well, obviously I'm going to take the legendary. And then you find right. out that you can not shiny hunt it anymore. And then it's like, gosh, dang it. 
you want to know what mistake I made when I was doing Dynamax Adventures on my first account? And part of the reason why I had to make an alternate account. Oh, which, that's, which that's is That's now it? my main streaming account. It's because I made the mistake thinking, oh, if you just have the legendaries in your boxes, you can't catch them a second time. So I released all my legendaries that I'd kept, thinking that it would let me catch them again since I didn't have them anymore. But it didn't, so I just released all my legendaries for nothing, and I couldn't shiny hunt them. Oh, man, my heart would have been so broken. Yeah, so I end up, like... Basically, I made another account for a Nuzlocke, ended up using it for BDSP as my streaming account, and now that's the main account that I have my Scarlet Violet save file on. And I don't really play Sword and Shield anymore, so this has become my main account with, like, my Nintendo Online and everything. Right. But I have not kept a single Legendary that wasn't shiny on this account. Because I just simply have no need for them unless they're shiny. Which is true. Oh, so close. What was so close? Yeah, I thought it was going to catch in the dive ball, but it popped out after the third shake. What did? What are you catching? Oh, I'm trying to catch the sweet coon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I was trying to catch it in a dive ball just because I figured that would match really nice. Mm-hmm. But... It's just not wanting to cooperate. Do you have it sport or anything? Fall swiped? I unfortunately do not. Because I currently have my team for the tournament in uh, tomorrow in my party right now. Oh, fair. I need to finish building my team tonight. Also, our background music ended. I think I want to change items on two of them, but I just don't know what item new items I want to use. So, I'm still kind of debating on what I should do with that. 
I haven't even thought about held items yet. Oh, goodness. I'm so unprepared for this, and I'm just, I'm ready to either be knocked out. Here's the thing, how, this is how it's, it's gonna go. I'm either gonna get dead last, or I'm gonna get first. No in-between. Fair. How little I've prepared is either gonna kick me in the butt and I'm gonna lose every battle, or it's gonna be hilarious that I win every battle despite how little preparation I have. I do not see this True. going any other way. I feel like I overly prepared for the tournament because in my that head I was me. just like... Well, in my head I was just like, I feel like almost everybody has competitive background in some way, shape, or form, and I have absolutely none. And I in just watch battle just like, videos on YouTube. To be fair, I, that's what... to be fair I had Jesse help with building my team. Or at least building part of it. Yeah, so I... I'm kind of like... I'm kind of like taking it solo. Because <laughs> everybody that I could... Well, I could consult in Jay. Because I know Jay has prior experience. But... For the most part, I've literally just... Done everything and thought of everything solo. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, I think I think you got a good chance of winning if you can you get think? past Alita's three legendaries. Honest to God, Alita's team scares the crap out of me. It scares the crap out of everyone. She has three legendaries. I feel like I'm more scared of what she's trying to do with her in DD than I am with her legendaries, to be honest. Ah, oh, finally it caught. Thank God. Sadly, not in a dive ball, but that's okay. I ran yeah. out. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna do... Also, I don't know if you happen to know, but do you know, like with the tournament if we're allowed to use like potions or items on our pokemon or once they're knocked out that's it so um in vgc battles when you do the link battle it does not let you use items on your pokemon you can have held items prepared but you cannot use like potions or anything okay i got you so basically once they're no knocked potions out, that's no it. revives no x items none of that Oh, I'm going to be bricking it tomorrow. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. My sandwich is almost want you. out, and I've gotten nothing this entire time. This is bad. I'm just checking a random slowpoke, because it looks lighter than normal. Oh no, it's a regular slowpoke. Okay. I was like, why does it look so much lighter? Shiny slowpoke's tongue is red. Oh, good to know. Or like a much darker pink than the usual pink. Gotcha. Because so I was like, I can't tell these things apart. And 
And that is it for the psychic sandwich. We got nothing. Oh, goodness. Damn. Yeah, long sandwich. Oh, what capture card do I use? Um, I believe in the general chat on the Discord, I have a pinned message that is the video capture card that I use in case anyone else wants to use it. Let me go check really quick. See if I can get you a link. Um, not that channel. Is it in Pokemon General? <coughs> Where was that channel? Okay, I'm going to have to find the link for you later, but it's buried in the history of the general chat. Ooh, good back pop. Okay, Talia, do you think we should keep going with the psychic sandwich or move on to something else? Um, I'm kind of tired of flying around this area. I just did a whole sandwich with nothing. I'm a little brain dry. No, that's totally that's totally understandable. We can move on to something. Oh, you we know can move what? On to something different. After what? Nose Pass, I was totally gonna go get coffee. I made a new little pot of coffee. Jesse got me a new coffee pot recently because my old one stopped working. The button to start it wouldn't go anymore. Um, oh, that's. So Jesse got me a really cheap coffee coffee pot because like we're on a budget, so it's very tiny. So I'm brewing like more. I'm brewing up a new pot more frequently. So, if y'all don't oh, mind, nice. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some coffee. Go.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took an extra second. I went scrubbing through the history of the Discord channel and I found it, the message where I posted the link to the video capture card that I use. I pinned it in the general channel, Robin, so you should be able to find it, but if you want, I can now... Oh, wait, I pinned the wrong message. Um... There we go. But let me go ahead and grab that link for you. Hi, kitty. Oh, also, hello, Rosie Axolotl in the YouTube chat. Don't know how long that's been there. Sorry, I was AFK for a little while. But how are you doing, friend? Um, Let me go ahead and pop that right there. There you go, Robin. That is the thing that I use. Oh. Do you want a molten oh. hot honey bun? Um, I like honey buns. They're tasty, but... I don't know why it's hot. Why is it hot? Do you microwave the honey bun, Goober? Also, I love your name. Just Goober. I can't say I've ever even eaten a honey bun. Really? You've never had a honey bun? Yeah. Oh, they're so good. Nope. They're so good. They're so tasty. Nope, I've never had right. never had a honey bun, I don't think. Well, I am down to pick a new target. I kind of don't want to hunt for Drafferg anymore. Okay. Um, Is there a specific it's area a you're wanting to hunt in or not necessarily? Not necessarily. I'd say anything other than the savannah biome, because I'm kind of tired of savannah biome. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What to hunt? What to hunt? Chat, feel free to chime in as well. I'm taking suggestions on what to hunt next. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's, like, easy to hunt. Or at least somewhat easy to hunt. But feel free to just start throwing shit out there. Um, Porygon? Ooh, I could do Porygon. That's a fun hunt. Oh, fuck it. Ooh, Let's get Porygon. Por Let's Ooh, go Porygon for Porygon. Fun. You, you got it, Goober. It's Porygon time. What the Porygon doing? Um, I actually got so many good outbreaks right now in all three areas. I don't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I do, I do be needing some Grookey. So I think I'm going to go to my Grookey outbreak. Yeah, I don't have a sandwich going right now. Okay.
the blinding sandwich. I hate grass sandwiches in this game. <laughs> yeah, th they suck. My advice is you gotta like stack the same pieces of lettuce with each other from each serving. Okay. So like the first one from each plate stacks together on the left and then the second one from each plate stacks together in the middle and then the third is stacks together on the right. Just so they're all facing the same way and like stack nicely. That's fair. Oh my god, I thought I had a piece of lettuce almost fall off. I was gonna cry. Oh. Honestly, I will say, compared to making sandwiches, I just preferred... I really prefer the curry in um, Sword and Shield. I loved making that. I never messed around with the curry making too much in Sword and Shield. Mostly because there wasn't really any shiny hunting that you would do with it. I know, I kind of wish they made that aspect of Sword and Shield similar to like what they did for this with Aldea. But... Yeah. Thank you for that lettuce advice, by the way. That really helps. Oh yeah, no problem. I am a pro sandwich maker. That is true. That is absolutely true. Both in-game and in person. I used to work at the sandwich counter of a deli. Oh, nice. Did that for two years. And even though two years may not be a lot of job experience compared to some fields, when it comes to sandwich making, it kind of tops out after a while. So two years is about as pro as you can get for sandwich making. That's true. Um, my, boyf uh, my boyfriend used to work at, when he was in high school, he used to work at Panera, and he was always on the sandwich line, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it was something he did too. God, a sandwich sounds good right now. After this next shiny, I might put on a video for the class and go take a lunch break. Hey, no, no, no. You don't climb up my laptop like that.
I'm pretty sure that's a shiny Grookey. Yo. Let's see. Yeah, shiny Grookey. Yay! Oh, let's go. I was just looking at my YouTube chat, and I was like, I don't know why it sounds putting rap lyrics in my YouTube chat, but pop off, Queen. <laughs> I wasn't even finished counting, and there was one that popped up. It's not marked or anything, but... Still cool to get it while you're still knocking them out of the outbreak. That's true. That's a fast shiny. Uh... And caught in the dust ball. Let's go. I that actually was easier to see than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, he turned yellow. They do. There's a clip from a video somewhat recently. I'm going to have to find that clip. Um, I think it's for my... Oh, wait, no. It's for my 24 hours of shiny hunting video. Um, I was trying to get a shiny bell awesome, and I was flying... I was knocking them out of a... I was knocking the bell awesome out of an outbreak. And I'm, like, in the middle of talking, and mid-sentence, I kind of trail off and, like, lean forward to my camera, and I'm like, is that a shiny Grookey? And it was. Oh, nice! <laughs> I wasn't even after Grookey, I was going after, um, Bell Awesome in an outbreak, and I'm just like, is that a shiny Grookey? That's awesome. While well, I was not still knocking them out. Um, and it was a female Grookey. So, did you ever Ooh. watch Tarzan? Yeah, I love Tarzan. Are Ooh. you gonna name her Jane? Actually, no. So, I named her Kala. Oh, isn't that Tarzan's mother? Uh-huh. Aww. I did. Oh, sweet. Tarzan was a good movie. You... It was. It was. It's not my favorite Disney movie, but it's still a good movie. You know what Disney movie I used to adore as a kid and I haven't seen in ages? Which one? Lady and the Tramp. I used to love that movie. Oh, that's I'll say, okay, so okay. awesome. That... That's when my mom should have realized that she was raising a little girl and not a boy, is when I wanted to watch Lady and the Tramp over and over. <laughs> you know, mo most Fair. little boys will, like, watch, like, you know, like, Toy Story over and over, or, like, go watch something with, like, dinosaurs in it, or, like, m construction trucks as their hyperfixation. No, I watched Lady and the Tramp. Hey. Which there is literally go. just like a dog love, a French dog love story. And it's mm -hmm. possibly like the gayest Very Disney cute. movie I ever could have enjoyed as a kid. <laughs> you never watched Lady and the Tramp, Goober? Oh, you gotta. It's, it's good. It's, don't get wrong, it's very cishet. But what else can you expect from like 1996 Disney, you know? Fair. Very fair. Oh, thank God I muted the mic yeah, in we'll... time. It sneeze just snuck up on me. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Bless you, by the way. Oh, thank. Yeah, Goober said bless you in the yeah. chat. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I didn't say bless you. <laughs> no, I was saying it to, to Goober, but thank you as well. You're welcome. But, um, yeah, when I was a kid, I was very obsessed with Sleeping Beauty, which is kind of like, in honest, honestly, one of the worst Disney movies ever, but I was just obsessed with it when I well, was a see, kid. Well, see, funny you say that. 
That's the Disney movie that I never saw. Really? Goddamn spring. Yeah, for real. Fucking allergies. Yeah, no, I've never seen Sleeping Beauty. Oh, wow. Honest to God, one of the worst Disney movies ever, but I was just obsessed with it when I was young. Um, my current favorite Disney movie now is The Princess and the Frog. I have such an obsession with that movie. I'm guilty of not having seen that one. And why the fact that I haven't sat down and watched Princess and the Frog it makes me feel like I'm racist or something, but the truth is I just stopped watching Disney movies around that time. Fair. That's absolutely fair. Um I think Inside Out was a Pixar movie, right? Or was yes. that Disney? Okay, I always get Disney and Pixar movies confused. I like a lot of Pixar I'm pretty movies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Inside Out. Um, I'm pretty sure Inside Out is Pixar. It's been a while okay. since I've seen it, but I'm pretty sure it's Pixar. But yeah, no, Pixar has some really good movies that came out. I am just a classic, like, Disney nerd, so love me Disney movies. Love Big Hero 6. Oh, Big Hero 6 was such a fun movie. Didn't expect it to Big hit Hero? you in the feels right at the beginning like that, but... Like, not the very beginning, oh but, God, like, with the brother dying and everything, like, I was not expecting that out of that movie when I saw the previews for it. Also, Goober, you know, why are you the... why are you using those emojis? What are you saying? Did you see something, mayhaps? Because if you saw something, I'm gonna urge you to have not seen it. Wait, you're saying I failed two shinies? Hang on, I know I failed one of them earlier. Are you saying you saw a second shiny earlier? That I did not see? Because normally if I fail a shiny, I actually know about it and I just don't say anything. Which is what happened right when I said I've never seen Sleeping Beauty. I failed a shiny. And didn't say anything. Apparently chat noticed. Oh, there's another oh. one! Shit! Shit, I'm caught. I'm caught. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to include that clip now. <laughs> oh, you were joking? No, I wasn't joking. No, I actually did fail a shiny Porygon, like, a few minutes ago. And now I'm caught confessing to oh. it. Because there's, there's a shiny I Porygon didn't... on my screen now. Hooray! Hooray! Anyways, Redemption. it's marked. There's a kid in my lap, so I can't get super close to the... Webcam, but it's marked. Don't let this be the clip. 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 Okay, y'all. We have a March Porygon. Funny Juice might be real. Funny Juice might just dictate that this is a cool mark. And if that's the case, I cry. And it goes in the quick ball. Fantastic. You know, I love how for, like, the first time ever, my YouTube chat is the more active chat. Compared to the Twitch chat right That's... now, because you were, like, half of my Twitch chat before, and now you're in VC. Right. <laughs> I'm 
But it's nice to have YouTube active. It's refreshing. Yippee! You know what? Uh... Let's guess quirky for this Porygon. That was a pretty quirky moment. Um, I'm gonna guess Staffy. Because I have a feeling it's just a Staffy for us. Ooh. Also, yeah, if Porygon is a man-made Pokemon, is the shiny just a misprint? Yeah, pretty much. It's an error in the coding. Any other nature guesses in chat? No other nature guesses? Alright, we got Quirky and Sassy. It is Adamant! That's another Adamant Shiny tonight, y'all. And this mark, we're oh checking. My... Three, two, one. Whoa! Personality mark! Hey, y'all! Porygon the Beaming! The Smiley mark! I've never gotten this mark before. Oh, oh that's awesome. I've never gotten this mark before. And it's because I failed that other one that I got this mark. What the hell? Oh, wow. It was meant to be. Oh, wow. This really was meant to be. He is so happy. Okay, shit, we gotta go get this in a cool ball. God damn, okay. Hey Talia, you're playing Scarlet Violet right now, right? Yes, ma'am. And you've done item printer before? A couple of times. Or actually, would you mind doing a long-winded process of evolving this Porygon on camera for me? Would you mind helping oh. me out with that? Sure. It would, involve, it would involve me putting an Everstone on it. You putting the up... You swap out the Everstone for an upgrade, trading it to me. I put another Everstone on it. You swap out the ever the second Everstone for a dubious disc and trade it back to me. Okay. Let me just make sure I have all of those items real quick. Yeah, double check that you have the upgrade and dubious disc. You should get them from the item printer. Alright, so I do have a dubious disc. Oh, let's go. And I do have an upgrade. Yippee! Yeah, if you wouldn't mind using those to help me evolve this thing, that'd be huge. No, I don't mind. So so I'm you're never... going to put an ever... And so just so I have it right, you're going to put an everstone on it, trade it to me, I give you an upgrade and trade it back. And then yeah, you'll, you'll put another you... everstone on it. Yeah, so we'll break the trade so that you can take the first Everstone off and put the upgrade on, and then you'll retrade it to me. And then I'll break the trade again, put another Everstone on it. Or actually, I, I don't even need to put the Everstone on it, because it won't evolve without the item. So yeah, I just need to trade it to you and have you put the items on it so that I can get the evolution on camera. Okay, yeah. Okay, bet. Listen, it's late, or it's starting to get late. I'm a little silly. I'm used to trade evolutions with, like, Haunter and everything. No, that's, that's fair. No, I'm excited that I get to be a part in helping you. Yippee. Yippee. All right, we are here. We have it false light. We have it spored. It is asleep. What ball are we thinking for a personality mark Porygon Z? It keeps Ooh. the same, like, color scheme. So what's, like, a blue and purple ball? I'm thinking, hear me out on this, Dream Ball? I'm thinking Dream Ball. Or 
Love Ball? Dream Ball or Love Ball? What do you think? Um... I think Love Ball might be a little bit better. I feel like Dream Ball is a little bit too pinkish. Well, Dream Ball has the purple on the bottom to match the Porygon purple. But also, oh. this is just a smiley, happy little guy. True. Yeah, either of, the, either of those work then. I think I'm going to go Dream Ball just so that there's a bit of purple on it then. And it works yeah, because it's asleep. It. So... We throw a Dream Ball. It doesn't go in the first one. Oh, it does? I didn't think that was a successful catch. Okay. Nice. You know, Jesse has a really cool name for Porygon Z picked out. But I'm not going to steal that name because Jesse, Jesse's name for a shiny Porygon of significance is she wants to get an Alpha Porygon from Legends Arceus and name it Beta, the former Alpha. I'm not going to steal the name Beta. Instead, hear me out on this. Based off of what... Mr. Who in my chat was saying before about Porygon being man-made and the shiny is just a misprint. This is Typo. Typo the hey, Porygon. Someone accidentally replaced a zero with a one and swapped the color palette. So this is Typo. Love it. Oh, Siggy, sorry. You already missed the nature guess. It's, it has a personality mark. We are re-getting it in the dream ball. Okay, let's check out that mark one more time. Adamant nature with the smiley mark. Oh, actually, yeah, Siggy, you did get the nature guess correct just after the fact. We've had a lot of adamant shinies tonight. That's true. There have been a lot of adamants. Typo the beaming. That's so cool. That's so cool. You ready to help me evolve the Saint Talia? Yes, ma'am. All right, let me turn okay. on my internet. Let me just. I have to do the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair, Siggy. So, internet is on. And... And remember, we have to use the evil cuddle code on Scarlet Violet. So, 6969 six, one, two, three, four. Because oh. my, code, my code is now an auto shiny trader. It trades out shinies. Automatically at the oh. bot. They stole my code. Wow. Rude, right? Very rude. Okay, I am searching. I am now also searching. So I'll trade this over. We'll break the trade and you'll put the upgrade on it to start. Okay, and, sounds and good. Then, and then we'll retrade. Alrighty, I'll give you just something completely random then. Yeah, I'll just be trading it right back. Damn, is he mandatory overtime? In my state, that's illegal. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, in my state, um, anything more than a, 
like if you're a salary worker, anything or even a wage worker, anything more than what you're on the schedule for, or um, what was agreed to in your contract, you don't have to do any overtime. And if anyone forces you to, you can sue them, and you will win. Okay, so we have to break the trade, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I figured. Okay, so I'm now going back to my boxes. Mm. Here. Bag. Okay. Give Porygon. All right, it has the upgrade now. All right, let's go ahead and let me know when you're searching again. I am searching. All right. I'm now searching too. All right, welcome back, Typo. Be sure to confirm. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I did. It was just taking a hot minute. All right, here we go. We got Typo coming back to us. What a guy. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I got the smiley mark. I've never gotten that mark before. I know. That mark is so awesome. It is. All right, let's see Typo evolve into Porygon 2. Add a little bit of roundness to this guy. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you look so cool, dude. You look so cool. Okay. And now... Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, hold on. Let me actually type the link code in again because I am a dingus and I forgot that <laughs> it's okay. I didn't have to necessarily stop the tree. <laughs> it's okay. I would have done the same thing. Okay, so, and I am searching again. That is such a cool page, shiny though. Getting an apartment in Seattle. You totally should, Siggy. That'd be cool. Okay, so now I gotta quit the trade and I'll put the dubious disc on it. Mm hmm. All right, so back to boxes. Move. Put Nimble back. Okay. It now has dubious disc. All right, I'm a searching. Me too. Alrighty, here comes back Typo. Yay, here comes Typo. 
What's funny is that I was playing on doing a personality mark hunt for Porygon eventually because I really wanted one of these with a cool mark. Once I found out that you could isolate it up here. So this is really, really cool. And here is Typo about to become Porygon Z. Hell yeah. Let's go, go, go. Yes! Oh my god, that thing is so cool. So wacky. Oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. And I want to see how this guy runs. We're going to synchro mode with it. Here is Typo, and let's see how you move. <laughs> it's so goofy. <laughs> Look at it go. It's so silly. It's so silly. It's so goofy. It is. It's so goofy. Heal! Murder! That is funny. Okay. Alright, well, that's another phase down. We still got a few hours left of stream, so I'm gonna just keep on hunting as if that didn't just happen. See you in the next phase. Sandwich is done. Right. We're going to put a throw away. Oh, also, I want to say Goober, Goober in the chat, thank you for telling me to go after Porygon. You created a legendary clip by doing such a thing. That's what I think is so cool about these videos and everything, when I do these one stream things where it's all like chat suggestions and everything. Like, when cool shit happens like that, like, it's pure destiny. It's pure fate. That's true. Okay, there's an ad break running on the Twitch side right now. If y'all don't mind, I'm gonna go AFK for a minute. I, I'm i gonna smoke some weed because I just did that entire sandwich and that was very exciting and I need to calm down a little bit. So I'm gonna go smoke some weed for a sec. Be right back, y'all.
Hello, hello, y'all. I am back. Thank you for allowing me a moment to smoke some Schweed. I got some more coffee. I am doing good. Uh, how's the chat doing? Excellent. How's Talia doing? Did I hear you found another I shiny, actually... my dear? I did. I found another shiny Grookey. Yippee, Grookey. We love Grookey. Yippee. Yeah, I'm, I just need one more Grookey now, and then I'm done with that line. Yo, I know I just came back from a lengthy AFK, but my dog is now telling me it's that time of the night where she needs to do her mid her midnight potty. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Rebecca. You returned sorta of just in time. Um, I need to go AFK again to take this dog outside, but we shouldn't be gone more than like four or five minutes. So we'll be right back again, y'all.
Boo. Hello. I am back. Hello. How are you guys? I'm doing fantastic. Good. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um... My gosh, it's so hard to think of something now after you've got that nice Porygon. <laughs> right? Like, we're not even done with the video. Just so you guys know, that Porygon was phase 15, which, as of so far, and the other two times we've done this kind of video, we only made it to 15 phases, so we're gonna break our record. That's awesome. Well, what's a good shiny to record break with? I'm down to take suggestions from either YouTube or Twitch chat or Talia. Y'all can even just tell me a kind of sandwich you want me to make. And I can narrow it down from there. Uh, oh, true. Um, what about a dark type sandwich? I feel like you haven't hunted a dark type mon in a while. I actually hunted Sneasel earlier, which is what oh, I would normally right. get with a dark sandwich. Hmm. That is right. Never mind. I forgot about the Sneasels. Um, let's see. I'm not opposed to doing another dark sandwich. I might just have to comb through the Pokedex and find some good targets. Because immediately I think Mastiff, and I think, okay, well, I've hunted Mastiff multiple times in recent videos, so. Right. What about, um, let's see. Is there, like, a good uh, fire type that you could isolate somewhere? Hmm. So just keep in mind, I don't want to do any more starters. I will say that, but fire type, fire right. type, fire type. Um, what's a good fire type to go after? Honestly, I might have already hit up a lot of good fire types because I already got camera up, Skill Villain, uh, Talon Flame, and what else was there? Embor. That's right. Oh, right. That was the other personality mark we got tonight. Yeah, so I've already gotten four fire types. Um, okay, so. We've done yeah. fire, ground, fire. flying, normal rock. Dragon, ice, water. Mm. How about a fairy sandwich or something? Okay. You know what I haven't hunted in a hot second? Well, I did for the what? green quest video, but it was just a passing phase. I could always hunt Meryl. See if we could get the whole Azumarill, maybe? I don't know. Okay. That's alright, everyone. Yeah, I'm totally fine with Meryl. I'm gonna do one time skip to get rid of this gold deck outbreak. <laughs> no more <In> my way. <laughs> it moved like two feet to the left. Bitch. Oh, wow. Same exact Pokemon, same Golduck. Just slightly over. Like, no, I need you gone. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hey, oh, random guy in the chat. Not just some random guy, that's his actual username. Hello, random guy. How are you doing? Oh. Well, we hello, new friend. are shiny hunting literally just whatever feels fun, whatever sounds good. We got two personality marks today. They were both on some banger Pokemon. Um, we're thriving. We're doing good. And we still got a few hours left of stream, so we're chilling. We are about to go hunt Meryl, possibly get the whole ass of Zimril. Maybe, hopefully, possibly. I'm not gonna... Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, also, question. Is there, like, do you know if there's, like, a cheat code on, like, Google or something that has, like, an actual list of what items you can make with the item maker and, like, what ingredients you can use? So, it doesn't matter what ingredients you use as long as it just maximizes the threshold to print items. It'll just RNG items regardless of what ingredients you use. It's not like a recipe. Oh, okay. There's no recipes gotcha. for items. It's all just RNG. Oh, but okay. There's, there's probably a list on like Bulbapedia or Cerebi of like item printer drops and rarities okay. and everything. Because I wasn't oh, sure I if there was like a recipe for service. certain items. No, not a recipe. You could use any Pokemon materials that you find. Okay. It's a... Yeah. Because otherwise, oh my god. Like, you know how long it took people to figure out the sandwich recipes? Imagine if they did the same thing with the item printer. Oh gosh. And then people would, like, be farming, like, certain outbreaks. I'd be, like, losing my mind if I was in charge of that. <laughs> no, luckily, you can use any Pokemon items. Or materials, Excellent. whatever they're called. I almost said ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> they're practically, like, ingredients. They're pretty much ingredients. Like, Toad School Flaps, apparently you can eat them. I didn't need to know that. Oh. Yeah, horrifying, right? Um, yeah, that's a little morbid. Like the little dangly bits Just that hang little. off of the end of a toad school head. Apparently those are edible and are like common snacks in Paldea. Another um. example of them always being like, look, we eat the parts that fall off the Pokemon, not the Pokemon themselves. It's like, you mean you don't saute up this motherfucker with some butter and salt? Maybe a bit of garlic? I mean, not gonna lie, I would- Serve on I the would, side with a really nice T-bone steak. I would, uh, I would totally fry up a, a toad, a toad school. Have some cal- make some calamari out of it. Oh, same. Toad school is definitely gonna be on the list of, um, well, it's a mushroom, it's not a squid, it's a mushroom. Oh, I always thought it was like a walking squid. <laughs> no, 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 it's supposed to look like tentacool, which is a squid, but it's actually a mushroom. Oh, okay. That's why the evolved form has like the ridges and everything. It's like a mushroom design. Gotcha. It just looks like a squid. Convergent evolution. Also, also, also. Now I'm gonna start recording. None of that great conversation was caught, but that's okay. Sage. We're just talking about eating toad school, which I do plan on making a video. A follow-up video to my tastiest shinies, where it's gonna be not just in the Indigo disc, but I'm gonna have the Discord server submit their tastiest shinies. Like Pokemon that they Ooh. want to eat, and I'm gonna shiny hunt them. I'm just kind of sitting on that video until possibly, I'm hoping once I eventually maybe get my ADHD meds figured out, I could, um, like more dedicate myself and be more consistent with the Discord server and actively promote it. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I took my Discord server's recommendations and then not drop a link to the Discord server in the description, you know? That's fair. This last Grookey does not want to show up. You just getting the whole line right now? Yeah, I'm just focused on getting that whole line. That way I can knock it out of the way and never have to hunt it again. Fair. Because my goal before the new PLA game comes out is just to shiny hunt all the starters. Ooh. So that way you can essentially start PLA with whatever you want. Well, you know it's not going to be compatible with home right away. That's true. So you still have that to play through with whatever starter the game gives you, but... Eventually you'll be able to transfer in any other starter you want. And a shiny one. 
But honestly, I'd rather like only use shinies in games that they were caught in, and or the current like main game. Like, I'll transfer alphas up into here, but I wouldn't transfer a Pokemon from Scarlet Violet into Legends Arceus to use. Gotcha. Because it's just so much easier to get a shiny in this game that it feels almost like cheating, you know? That's true. That the only reason true. I transfer up my alphas is because I like the cool mark. That's fair. I, um... You know, I'm a slut for good marks. <laughs> that's... That's also true. But, uh, I, um... Day one of you looking for a shiny score bunny. Good luck, random guy. Really, best of luck. Are you... You're just doing fire sandwiches in the polar biome? Because funny enough, we have another chat member. Um, a very good long-term subscriber to the channel. Um, Gabby here. Who is doing a destiny mark hunt for a score bunny right now. And has phased five times without a destiny mark yet. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, they'll get it. They'll get it eventually. It just I saw someone that I watch on YouTube recently go up to like 30 phases for a destiny mark. So, yeah. Holy Moses. Well, I have all the faith in Gabby. I know they're very determined. So, They'll definitely Wait, get it. Random guy, you don't you don't have the DLC, but you're trying to trade for Shiny Score Bunny, like just hoping someone wonder trades you one. Oh gosh. Honest to God, my dude, like if you want a Shiny Score Bunny, I probably have a spare one in my home that you could have. If you'd let me, if you'd remind me after I catch this a uh, Meryl or a Zumeril or whatever pops. Hey, that's a plain. <laughs> I will happily give you a spare shiny score bunny. Or actually have I hunted a score bunny before? You know what? Maybe I'll hunt maybe I'll hunt score bunny after this and just give you that one. No, I know random guy, but Well, okay, for anything I'm about to say to make sense, um, I should preface this by also promoting, hey, random guy, um, I run a YouTube channel. You can find me on YouTube. I have like 600-something subscribers, trying to push to 1,000 by Safari Week. Shiny hunting reactions, I'm planning on putting out more soon. I want to do a Pokemon Scarlet Shiny Only Nuzlocke. It's going to be a fun time. Um, if any of that interests you, please check out the channel, but you'll subscribe. Fantastic, thank you. But one, the thing that we're doing tonight is I like to make videos every once in a while of just seeing how many shinies I can catch in one stream, how many shinies I can find and catch in one stream. So I'm not interested in doing any, like, trading for shinies to obtain them. In fact, I actively give away shinies. Oh, thanks for the follow. But I actively give away shinies all the time, and like, I, have, I plan on, like, wonder trading a bunch of them eventually, so... Um, I wouldn't mind hunting score bunny after this, and then if you don't mind just sticking around till the end of the night... If you don't mind, let me know what time zone it is for you right now. Um, or if you come back another time, I'd happily trade it to you once I'm done recording for this video tonight. Okay, there we go. Now I can resume hunting. How late do you normally stay up? Because I it's 11.30 p.m. for me right now. I'm Pacific time. It sounds like you're a central time. I normally stream for about another, like, three hours from now. Like, another two to three hours from now. Oh, oh, I'll be streaming. You're still standing. Okay. Well, I mean, if... Like I said, once I'm done with the video, I don't mind trading it. So, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow night. Oh, wait, no, I'm doing the VGC tournament tomorrow. Um, yes, you are. And then we're doing Dynamax Ventures. Just, if you come back while I'm playing Scarlet Violet, I'd be happy to trade that score bunny to you. And I apologize in advance if it takes a couple of tries to get a hold of me. Or honestly, hell, I, like, 
I just need the score bunny to be in the box to show it off at the end. If you'd want to catch a regular score bunny, or if you have a regular score bunny, and... Well, no. Actually, I'll just catch another score bunny, and it'll be a placeholder in the box. Yeah. Let me find this shiny Meryl, and I will go catch you a shiny score bunny, friend. Because I also don't want you to be up until like 5 or 6 a.m. your time just to get a shiny score bunny. That's a lot. Mm hmm. Also trying to get a shiny Scyther. I could probably work the Scyther too. Um, I think I have a spare Scyther in. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I did an entire personality mark kind of for Scyther. I definitely have at least a few spare. Spare Scythers, so I could get you one of those, too. So much blue in an ocean of blue. There's just more blue. I need green. Or, if I be so bold, maybe yellow? Some yellow would be cool to see right now. Right? Just straight, shiny Azumarill. <laughs> well, I prefer gay shiny Azumarill, if I'm being completely honest with you. But yeah, you got the right idea. Shiny well, Azumarill would yeah, be cool. I was gonna, <laughs> I'm just I was kidding, I'm say, teasing you. know you. what I mean? Oh, shiny Meryl! <laughs> <laughs> Funny juice is real! <laughs> okay, it's not the whole ass Azumarill, but I'll take it. I'm, I'm sorry, is that Meryl tiny? Is that Meryl microscopic? That Meryl looks that oh so little. Are you? You're average. You're tiny and not marked. I don't think... This can't be the teensy. I think it's going to be slightly smaller, but... If we got a shiny Meryl. Hooray! Yippee! And this little lady gets a quick ball and hopefully goes in. Oh yeah, that went in. That went in. Let's go. What, the Azumarill? Hold up. Get off me. I don't... I'm not... I'm not here to... You know? That's not my vibe. And... That makes what awesome. now? This shiny makes... How many does this make? 15. No, 16. Right? Shiny number 16. Okay. Let's guess quirky on this little lady. Um, I'm gonna guess... Well, I'm gonna guess serious, since there's been a fair amount of those tonight. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Who will probably be hunting for another, like, two, maybe three hours. We're still going to be alive for a while. I was planning on today being, like, a nine or ten hour stream. Any other nature guesses, y'all? Any other nature guesses? I'll read them all out at once. Either chat. Mr. Who, random guy. Also, random guy, I dropped the Discord link for you. It's super chill in there. Not super active. Um, don't expect a lot out of the server, and it won't disappoint. Oh, I forgot that I made this cup of coffee a super coffee. Oh, that just kicked me in the face. Oh. Woo! 
Okay. All right, I say quirky. Talia says serious. We have Jelly from Rebecca, Bashful from Mr. Who. She is brave. She is a brave little lady. And you know what? I wanted to see some yellow earlier, so we're going to see some yellow. After I teleport away from the water, because holy shit, my frame rate. <laughs> Right? Oh, random guy, sorry. You came in just a little bit too late. I wasn't wanting to wait much longer than I already did. Oh my gosh. No, let us don't fall. Hang in there. Alright, let's see this cheeky little bastard evolve. We have Zilime. Which then turns into... The lemon. Bon appetit. <laughs> I love shiny Azumarill and Meryl. I can't wait to evolve my shiny personality mark Meryl in BDSP when I play through eventually. Trust me, y'all. I know. I'm working on the movie. I'm working on being able to do it. I'm waiting until I'm in, like, the right frame of mind and, like, how do I say this? I need to be exceptionally happy and energetic in order to do it, and I just haven't been. <laughs> I'm working on it. I can't say I blame you. Fruit salad of fairy types? Yeah, you get it, chat. You get it. But alright. We got ourselves a little lemon. She is beautiful and sweet. And I just remembered she's small, so let's go get her size appraised. Hot buff lady, how tiny is this lemon? Slightly smaller. Okay, that's about what I expected. Good to know. My backpack is doing the texture glitch again. Oh man, it's like disappearing entirely. Okay, wild shit. I'm gonna keep hunting. And if y'all don't mind, I need to go to the bathroom really quick, but I'm opening it up to suggestions. If y'all want to draw suggestions in either chat, what y'all think we should do, whether it's a specific target or a type of sandwich to make, I just want to go, go with y'all's suggestions and make this a group project. So I will be right back, y'all.
Hello, y'all. I am back, and I just realized, like, three phases ago, I said I was gonna take a lunch break. And I just kept right on shiny yeah. hunting. So I think now is my point where if I am gonna take a break and still keep streaming for the rest of the night, it's gotta be now. So if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna put on... I'm gonna put on one of my longer compilations, and I'm just gonna run, like, a ten-minute timer to let y'all know when I'm gonna be back. Oh, hi, Lilo. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take like a 10 minute break, run a video for 10 minutes and just have something on in the background for y'all to watch if you want. Feel free to get up, stretch your legs, grab a snack, grab a drink, go to the bathroom, do what you got to do. Ooh. Both people in my YouTube chat right now have been working on Fakemons. That's pretty cool. Happy Reggie Week, Mr. Who. Um, I'm not participating in Reggie Week, but I am aware of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go make a sandwich really quick, and I'm gonna be back in, like, ten minutes. So, if y'all don't mind, if y'all don't mind, we're going to pause the background music here. And let's go ahead and... What's one of my longer compilations I can put on for y'all? Well, let's do the underrated Chinese. We'll do the underrated Chinese, so... Welcome to Toxmate TTV. Oh, no. Pause. Pause. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Um, just so y'all know, and just so Talia knows, you will not be able to hear Talia, but I'll be able to hear Talia. Hello. And I'm gonna put Hello. up... We are going to go to movie time. I'm going to put this timer right up here in the corner. Shrink it down nice and small. Set it to 10 minutes. And. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to actually do the window capture on the YouTube video. That would help. Okay, y'all. Enjoy the video. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Welcome to Toxmate TTV. I'm your host, Toxmate, and sometimes I feel like I love certain shinies way more than other people do. I dare say these shinies are underrated. So I'm here once again to hunt what I think are some underrated shinies in Pokemon Violet. Come along on this journey with me in my Twitch chat as we have over 20 shinies to catch. As always, if you enjoyed the content and want to see more of it, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more shiny hunting shenanigans. Now let's get into it. Mars getting to work shiny hunting his team. Um, there's a few Pokemon that I need to catch for my team, but like for the most part, I have my team together. I just gotta go pull stuff out of my living decks. I know that I have it. Some of them are even just in my PC right now. No, the only one that I absolutely need to catch is Kirim and get it to become Kirim Black. Oh, true. Can't believe you chose Kirim Black. You're such a dick. <laughs> Look, someone. Someone went after my legendary, okay? They went with- they went after me too. Oh, of course you were gonna pick me too. Yes! I know, I know you say you're not a Gen 1-er, but you act a lot like a Gen 1-er. I- I play more games than just Gen 1, okay? I know, I know. I'm just saying, you do be liking your Mewtwo. I do like my Mewtwo, and that's because Mewtwo was my first uh, legendary catch. Oh, shiny coughing. Oh, look at that fella. Oh, look you at that fella. Do, legendary Minor, you have three. Yes, I, I'm aware. I yeah, you have three I, legendaries I, on your team. That's ridiculous. No mark on the coughing. <laughs> Boom womp. Yippee, guys. We got our first shiny of the video. Let's go. Oh, wait. This, I still have gold thing... duck up front. Hold up. Hold up. I don't want gold duck up front. I don't want this. Actually, this one can't explode. You know what? Golda can stay for now. Leftover from the Voltorb video. You know, Giant Cuffing does look really good. Right? And you don't hear people talk about it often enough, but like the way the smoke turns purple and everything, it's so good. Yeah. So that's why this is target number one, an underrated shiny. So when's the obligatory um, rank every shiny Pokemon? coming out um 
soon. I have plans. You know what? This is a good time to ask people. I know it's the beginning of the video, but hey, comment down below if you want to see a ranking all the shiny Pokemon. Maybe I'll like take it region by region or something. I don't know. Turn it into a series. That could be fun. Ooh. So let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm going to guess lonely on this one. I'm just feeling it. I'm going to go hardy. All right, I say lonely. Alita says hardy. We got mild from Talia, lax from silver, bold from Teddy. It is rash. It has a rash. Amazing. I want to evolve this one. I've never evolved a shiny coughing on video before, I've realized. Because I just got the wheezing dex entry for the first time the other day. Even though I've caught multiple coughings, so... <laughs> That's funny. Don't at me. All right, let's see a shiny wheezing, shall we, y'all? Hell yeah. And it's literally just more of the same. It looks the same, which I yeah. appreciate. Very cool shiny. Very neat. But all right, we got plenty more shinies to go. Let's get into it, chat. Oh, wait. Is that... Yeah, that's a shiny Clefairy! Oh! Oh, I got the whole Clefairy! Oh, let's go. Oh, hey, babe. She's marked! She's marked! She's marked? She's marked! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's look at this baby. I love shiny Clefairy so much. No, we need a better shot of that. We need a better shot. We need a better shot of that. Let's... There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, until we know if it is a cool mark or not, we are going to quick ball. But I'm fully prepared to reset and get this thing in a cool ball. She went in the first ball. I love her. But yeah, this is what I think is an underrated shiny because it's so simple. Just the ears turn green, but like, I think it makes it look even more alien-like. And I just really think it's neat. Plus, like, look at that green. That is, like, neon green. That's crazy. Clefairy, the er, the OG alien-type Pokemon. Oh, for real? For real? Call me crazy, I'm gonna guess Bashful. Um, I'm gonna guess, uh, Impish. Alright, we got Bashful, Impish, Calm from Fish, Bold from Bart, Adamant from Silver. She is mild in this mark. We're checking it. Three, two, one... She's an Eeper. Not a very cool mark, but hey, it's a marked Clefairy. That's kind of cool. It's the whole Clefairy is the coolest part about this, in all honesty. But okay, she can be Eepy. She can be an Eeper. But yeah, this is such a cool shiny. I love Clefairy with all my heart. I'm so happy I got the whole Clefairy. But we gotta keep going, so I'll see you in the next phase. Oh, Shiny Teddy Ursa. It's a baby. Oh, it is a baby. Baby. Gummy bear. Have a mark, have a mark, have a mark. Aw, oh, no mark. Damn. That's, that's fine, that's fine. Gummy bear. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Do 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 do. It went in the ball. I love that Teddy Ursa is literally just the little bear Pokemon. I love this thing. It's so cute. But I never want to see one in Legends Arceus ever again. If you know, you know. I'm going to say docile for this fella. Sorry, this lady. She is going to be docile because she's friend-shaped. Um, I'm going to guess Impish again. Okay, okay. All right, we got Docile, Impish, Lax from Talia, Calm from Bart, Adamant from Silver. She is brave. She's a brave lady. And you know what? As much as I love Teddy Ursa, the real underrated shiny that I wanted to show off was actually Ursa Ring. So let's evolve this one. Here we go. And you know what? Earlier I said, if you know, you know for the whole Teddy Ursa thing. But no, I'll just straight up tell you. Go watch my Alpha Ursaring video for Legends Arceus. If you want to watch me absolutely go insane and lose my freaking mind. But yeah, Ursaring, really cool. Amazing texture in this game. Love the green. It's just, it's a good shiny. It's a good shiny. But also, that Alpha video did not do nearly as well as ones like my Infernape video. 
And I think Ursaring just needs a bit more love. So again, go check out the video. But all right, that's another one down. We are going to keep on going. Is that Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know I'm gonna keep that in the video. Okay, now we're moving on. Welcome back from Ad Hell, everybody, who is just in the ads. Uh, we are still here, still hunting Snom, still regretting hunting Snom. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, that's the fella! I think that's the fella. Oh. I think. Yeah, that's the fella! Oh, shiny no. Snom! Oh, shiny Snom! Oh, let's go. It's marked! It's marked! Woohoo! I have no idea how the hell you can see that. Yeah, that was a miracle. This is... I probably definitely missed one of those earlier. Don't know when, but I probably did. I'm saving so many times. Oh, I hope this is a cool mark. Snom! Snom time! Snom moment! Oh man. Oh man. Okay. It's gonna go into quick ball for now, but if it's a cool mark, I have no problem resetting and getting this guy in a friend ball. Let's go, first of all. Let's go. Watch this be a really cool mark after we worked so hard for the snom. Yeah, the green is more noticeable in the summary picture, in the summary screen. So yeah, not to just be hitting y'all with a bunch of green shinies, because I do plan on doing a green color quest sequel to that purple quest video that I did. So you will see more of these shinies again. But Snom is just so good, because it's subtle, but it's... How do I say this? I love green shinies more than other people, I think. Especially the very, like, radioactive, vibrant green ones. But this is like a nice minty kind of green. I don't know. I just think it looks really good. And we will not be evolving it into Frostmoth. Because Frostmoth is a well-beloved shiny. But I don't think Snom as a first stage gets enough love in a shiny form. So you know what? That was a long phase. We did an entire sandwich before this one with nothing. So I'm going to guess Bashful. I'm going to guess Impish. Ooh. Alright, we got Bashful, Impish, Timid from Talia. He is naive. And this mark we're checking in three, two, one. He's hungry. Boo. I'm back. Ten minutes oh. is already up. Hello. That was a fast ten minutes. Time flies when you're shiny hunting and or watching a video. Nina, that is chill. true. Mama's working, baby. I can't... I can't give you attention right now. No. You already went outside. You've gotten two puppy camps today. You need to let Mama work. Oh. And you know what? We're gonna swap over to this playlist because this is my Get Pumped playlist. Or rather, my favorite playlist uh, that I use for background music. Okay. That's what the YouTube fair. chat doing? What the YouTube chat doing? What the YouTube chat doing? I had a sandwich. I'm doing good. Rage of Fake One sounds fun. It does. Lilo, stop. Go lay down. Go. Go. Okay. I got my super <laughs> coffee. I'm finishing up my super coffee soon. How many people are we working with now? Four over on the Twitch side, one of which is you. Okay, that's not bad. Considering how many people have gone to bed yeah. already, we are doing all right. But we'll probably start seeing some of the later wave people coming in later in the night. We're in that weird gray area right now where it's right after lunchtime and around midnight where a lot of people are hopping out and the really late night people haven't hopped in yet. But we're chilling, we're chilling. How's the YouTube chat doing? Rebecca, Mr. Who, y'all still with us? If not, I'm sure they'll come back later or another day, whatever works. Brawler, dang it. Get out of my way. Okay. I literally... Um, Rebecca's still here. Poggers. Random guy's still here. Extra Poggers. 
Um, we're gonna hunt Score Bunny next, I believe, correct? Mm-hmm. The Reggie Brawl keeps coming out as a weird combination to hit my chin and hit my lead. Damn. Yes! Oh, Oh, another Grookey? Last time, last shiny Grookey, yes. And you got a Belasa while I was gone, right? I did get a Belasa while you were gone. Hog. And it went in the quick ball, let's go! Lilo, stop! Go lay down. Go. Back up. Go to your kennel. Go kennel. She's just sitting here by my elbow, just at me over and over, wanting attention. And it's like, baby girl, I am working. She's gotten two puppy cams today. Right. She's gotten two treats. She needs to chill. She definitely was the spoiled today. I think she's trying to tell me it's dinner time because for the last like week, I've been feeding her earlier. And going to bed earlier, so I think she's trying to tell me that she thinks it's bedtime and or dinner time. Because gotcha. I feed her right. Because this week I was feeding her right before bed. But yeah, she's just being a brat. Oh, Lilo. She'll get over it. Can't do terror raids. Go for it. I'm gonna try not to try to hunt you with score bunny. Oh, also random guy. Um So I like to check with people, even if it seems kinda obvious. It seems like from the username you use he him pronouns, but if that is different, if you use any other pronouns. Please feel free to let us know. We want to know how to respect you and address you properly. But if just he, him works for you, then that is A-OK. -okay. Uh-huh. That's who I'm missing. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. And... Ooh, okay, okay. I see that, Mr. Who. I see you. Cool idea. And here, random guys, since you shared your pronouns, I'll do a pronoun check here. I'm she, her. Hello, I am trans woman. I'm woman. Oh, I still got the Azumarill on my team. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta swap it. Oh, Epo, thanks for the 100 biddies, hon. You're a woman in oh, here now. Yes, I am woman. That but so thank you, Epo. It... So good to see you, Epo. How have you been? We are doing a sequel to our hit videos of seeing how many shines we can find in one night. So far, we're up to 16. I just took a meal break. We're back from break. I've been on Twitch in a bit. Oh, real life busy. If so, very sorry. Hopefully it eases up on you sometime soon. We are saving and going to make a fire sandwich. And we're going to try and get Score Bunny, but there's a chance we get Chimchar. In which case, we'll keep trying for the Score Bunny, but if I get two Chimchars, I'm calling it there. You're a meat popsicle. Now, why do you say that, Mr. Who? Also, Ipo, just so you, you know, um... I do be streaming on YouTube now, so if it, you're like, who the fuck are you talking to? It's YouTube people.
Stop saying it's alone tonight. You're a sweetheart, Evo. Love, I miss you. Hope you can get back to streaming yourself sometime soon. Well, I just incidentally got another shiny Grookey. Oh! Accidentally! I was... I know! I was flying to... Um, I was trying to fly around the coastal biome because I had like six minutes left of my sandwich and I spotted a another shiny Grookey. <laughs> well, anyone in chat need a Grookey? I'm kidding. No, I, I wouldn't expect you to give right? away a shiny. But like, <laughs> what, what are you going to do with a fourth Grookey? I don't know. I was kind of surprised I even spotted it in the first place, because normally I'm terrible at spotting shinies when I'm flying. <laughs> Mr. Hoot, that's funny as fuck. I fully believed you for a second, because I've met people who use, like, plurality pronouns. He, uh, he said, my pronouns are we, they, for we are many. Then he's like, just kidding, he, him. Just a guy. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> for we are many. <laughs> you had me you had me going there for that a second, not funny. gonna lie. You had me going there for a second. That's a lot of peppers. We need to summon fire types. Yep. For fire types you need all Eat. the red pepper. Eating the whole ass pepper. I should probably start recording. Okay. Let's see how well I can see these bitches from the air. I'm seeing a lot of monkeys, I gotta say. Why am I seeing so many more monkeys than bunnies? Oh no. Yeah, I'm almost most definitely gonna get a shiny chimchar. Summon the fire gods. For real, for real. You get it, chat. You get it, random guy. Is that a shiny oddish? Is it a shiny oddish? It is a shiny oddish. Did you give five shinies that sandwich? No, wait, six shinies, because you got four Grookey, a Bellossom, and an oddish? No, so I've gotten four shinies from this because I got the Oddish, the two Grookies, and the Velocim. Oh, I thought it was still the same sandwich as the first two Grookies. Oh, God. No, no, no. So I'm on sam grass sandwich number three. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, hey, still kind of popping off. Uh huh. And it went Pop right off, to the nest ball. 
Because I was like, wait a minute. I, I've i never seen what shiny Oddish looks like before. And I was just like, wait a minute. Oh, really? Those leaves look a little bit yellow. Yeah. Literally, I could not imagine shiny hunting in Scarlet Violet when I don't know what the shinies look like. Like, day one, gen nine <laughs> shiny hunting. Like, I could not do that. Yeah. Like, if I was doing content when Scarlet Violet came out, I might have been doing, like, day one Tinkatuff hunting. Or Tinkaton hunting, but not knowing what the shiny looks like, and I'd be waiting for that pink to change, and it just wouldn't. Oh no. Well, through lived in the time before pronouns, back when men were men, women were women, and kids were monsters. I'll be saying that ironically. Because, just so you know, pronouns is just a part of speech, a part of language, in like. English studies for, like, literally since the invention of the language. The word I is a pronoun. Pronoun is just a shortened word in place of a proper noun. So instead of saying... Instead of saying... Maeve thinks things are cool, I'd say I think things are cool. I is the pronoun for Maeve. Or Toxie or whatever. Hey, well, that grass sandwich ended, so yeah. Wow. But Mr. Who, if you're referring to, like, why is, like, knowing people's pronouns a big thing now, it's because simply there's just a larger prevalence of transgender people, because we're entering an age where it's more socially acceptable to be out as transgender. That's not saying that transgender is anything new, no. Transgender people have been around since literally the beginning of mankind, We've always been there. We've just been erased from history the same way that people always get whitewashed in history. Because of stupid conservative Christians. But... Mm. There's more trans people nowadays just because it's safe to be out as trans. So we know about more of them. There'd still be the same number of trans people if it was still like illegal. They, you just wouldn't know about them because they'd be hiding in secret and living in misery. So the bright side is that, yes, there are more trans people, and they're not living in misery because they're able to be out and presenting and able to be addressed the way that they want to be addressed and be the people that they want to be. So it's a good thing that pronouns are a thing now because it just means that we're more inclusive and want to respect people. Thank you for coming to my Maeve rave. I am a transgender woman, and I am speaking from personal experience, as well as a degree in psychology and child development, where I got honors with classes in philosophy and women's studies. I went to college. I have a degree. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you for coming to my Maeve Oh, nice. Is, um, is Survivor anything besides poison, or is it just a poison type? It's just poison, unfortunately. Ah, poop. Why, you're hoping to isolate wanted... it without getting another Oddish? Well, I was hoping to isolate it without getting an Alolan Muck. <laughs> but that's oh. not really about to happen. No, honestly, if you want to isolate Survivor, you're better off doing it in the base game. Fair, yeah. I just had an Poison sandwich and... in the right half of the southern province area, 
around those, like, ponds and everything, Poison Sandwich around there will get you... Oh, wait, no, you'll probably get Paldea Whooper if you get close to the ponds, but the grassy area nearby, you can totally get just a bunch of Surviper with a Poison Sandwich there. Okay. Yeah, because I had an outbreak It's a good shiny. Terrarium. Oh, you had an yeah. outbreak there? Ooh. Oh, wait, no. Um, You want to know what I started doing for hunting in outbreaks that made it so much easier? What? Not not using encounter power. So if a, you don't use encounter power and instead substitute it with either jumbo or teensy power, I like to go jumbo power on small Pokemon because it just makes them easier to see. But if you don't do encounter power, then you won't be getting just a bunch of muck and grimer spawning outside of the outbreak that you could possibly phase on. It'll just be as if you don't have a sandwich at all. Um, but then everything in the outbreak, which will spawn regardless because it's an outbreak, that will all be boosted by the sandwich. I started doing that, and okay. it literally changed the way that I shiny hunt. It changed everything. Alright, then well, I am He's gonna a meet... Little snack. I do like Survivor. I'm going to make a... Because um, I wanted to do one more sandwich before I head down for the night. So I think I'll do that. See if I can get a Surviper. Yeah, do you want to know the recipe for Teensy or Jumbo? Or didn't you write it down at some for, point? I did. Because I think for Jumbo, it would, it's just one of the main ingredient and then it's a spicy and then a non sweet right well you gotta remember the condiments too are you doing jumbo or teensy jumbo oh i was gonna do jumbo yeah so it was also you didn't write down um, the condiments did you i believe i did i'm just it's trying to remember chili, where I chili sauce and mustard Oh, I thought you were reading the paper right now. I was like, oh, you didn't write it down? That's very important to write down. <laughs> no, I did write it down. I just don't know where it is. I'll say I love this desk that I'm at because it has a little drawer. So I can just stick stuff in there that I need. That is nice. What's where I keep the all my main ingredient? Stuff. For... Main ingredient What's for the poison? main ingredient for poison? Green bell pepper. Green bell pepper. Thank you. Alright, so one green bell pepper. And then... Next. And then... And then you said it was chili sauce and mustard, right? Correct. Okay. And then spicy. And I have a ton of bitter, so we'll just do bitter. <laughs> Mr. Who in my chat says, and one ounce of reefer. Because you're, like, listing off the ingredients. Uh, no, this is not Legends Arceus, by the way. This is Scarlet Violet. Specifically, I'm playing Pokemon Violet. Wait, it doesn't say I'm streaming Legends Arceus, does it? Because I changed that earlier, I thought. Um, let me see. Or no, it on, says Scarlet Violet. On YouTube? I'm talking about oh, on YouTube. I don't know about YouTube. Gotcha. No, Twitch I, I always know I haven't taken care of, because I've been, I, I've been doing the Twitch stuff for a while. Sometimes YouTube, like, resets its settings on me. And, like, it's not supposed to save from other streams for some reason. Also, hello, party pooper. Welcome in. Why the frowny face? Turn that frown upside down. And then just imagine me doing, like, a little court jester dance, and then ta-da! I can't actually do the dance. I'm disabled. But just imagine me doing a dance. And, we're, and everything will be better. <laughs> oh, you don't own a Switch, Mr. Who? Okay, yeah, totally understandable. I was just double-checking that um, 
my settings were set correctly on the stream. It wasn't saying something incorrect game. Yes, this is Scarlet Violet. This is the newest game. We are currently in the DLC area. Known as it's the Indigo Disc. This is the Terrarium, as you can see from those big block things. It's divided up into four biomes. We're currently in the Polar Biome. And here with the Fire Sandwich, which is the shiny hunting method for this game. I'm sure you're familiar with. We are hunting for Score Bunny, but we could also get Chimchar. Also, god damn it! Earlier, I said I didn't want to do any other starters. God damn it! <laughs> um, There's gonna be a shiny monkey. You can tell I'm feeling the monkey too. Unfortunately, yeah. I am also feeling the monkey. We do not want the monkey, but I will also welcome a shiny infernape on my thumbnail, because as you would know. As some of you may know, one of my most viewed videos of all time was mm -hmm. a shiny Alpha Infernape hunt. Um. Okay, I'm seeing a few bunnies. I'm seeing some bunnies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hear me out on this, y'all. What if instead of getting a monkey or a bunny, what if we just get nothing with this sandwich? That would be interesting. Oh, the frowny face is part of the username. I was wondering why you were starting every message with a frowny face. I was like, are you okay? Are you good? Okay, I see what's going on now. I see what's going on now. Okay, radical. Watching you made me my shiny squirtle appear after one horsey one a little mola. Oh, let's go! Yo, huge congrats. Big congratulations. Mm -hmm. Squirtle is actually very noticeable. I agree. I agree. If you get any glimpse of the back shell, the green is so easy to spot even in the water. Mm -hmm. Mine besides the Lake of Ridge gear and Silver, my first shiny was ran Rapidash on the way to red. Oh! Wait, what game? In uh, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, Mr. Who? Will you go fight red? Or are you talking Heart Gold Soul Silver? Probably Heart Gold Soul Silver. The general color change is Squirrel Skin. That's another good point. Like, the lightning of the blue. Uh, it gets like a lighter blue. It is noticeable. You have a very good point on that. Also, can we like get any shiny, please? I've been looking. I got my eyes peeled. But, uh, I don't need to see no bunny mm -hmm. nor monkey. And I'd really like this to be a sandwich where we get at least something. Mm -hmm. Just gold, silver. Oh, you're yellow. You're Pokemon mm. yellow old. Okay, I see you. See, I'm technically Pokemon and yellow four. old. Or at least close to it. I might be like Pokemon crystal old. Mm -hmm. You okay, Talia? You're a uh, mumbling. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was just... Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you could hear me. I was just counting to myself. Why are you... Why are you counting the outbreak? You only need to count 10 after the second message. Oh, really? Yeah, because... Well, okay, here. Let me... You ready for me to lay it down? How the outbreaks work with the messages? I have it down to a science. Ye yeah, please. So, you know how when you're knocking Pokemon out of an outbreak... About every 30 you knock out, it'll pop up with a message saying like, Oh, it's getting lower. Mm-hmm. So, that message, it doesn't pop up exactly at 30. It pops up somewhere between 20 and 30. Somewhere in there. Not exactly the same place every time. 
Same thing with the second message, is somewhere between 50 and 60. So, if uh, you just knock them out until you see that second message, you can uh, estimate that you're at at least 50 knockouts. So, from there, if you just knock out 10 more, no matter where you are at, you're guaranteed to be at at least 60, even if you it showed up on the first message available, like, right at 50. So just get that oh, second message, okay. knock out 10, and you're guaranteed to be at the maximum odds. Nice. So you don't gotta count okay. the entire 60. It's easier to just go till the second message, and then, um... Yeah. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Actually, you know what's so funny is as you were explaining that, I found a shiny survivor. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. You know what? That's another way that outbreaks can work. Maybe you can just find the shiny immediately. I don't know. Fuck me, I guess. Really? Anyways, thanks for coming to my May Brave. I'll be here all night. <laughs> I'm trying to catch it in a dust ball because I feel like that's the best thing to catch it in, but it's not nighttime, so oh, it might rip. be difficult. Exactly. Rip, rippy dippy marinara. Damn. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. When me and all my friends hang out together, fruit salad. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Where is the score bunny? I need the score bunny, like, right now. I need a score bunny right now. Or even a chimchar. I'll take a chimchar at this point. I know I'm trying to get the score bunny for random guy in the chat. Gonna trade it over to him. But, like, where's the score bunny at? What's the score bunny right. doing? Is score bunny committing arson? Is score bunny robbing a bank? Is score bunny literally killing a man? Probably. You being a girl boss? Alright, last dusk ball. And no. Just remember the three G's. Right. Gaslight, gatekeep, gag the hostages. That's all you oh, gotta geez. remember. That's all you gotta remember. The three G's. What am I even saying right now? I'm losing my fucking mind. I don't know, but this survivor does not want to be caught. Are you restarted? <laughs> Is that supposed to say restarted or? <laughs> Cause um, if so, no. If it's not supposed to say restarted, um, maybe. There we go. Finally. In the premiere ball. Uh, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Uh, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Where the fuck is the score bunny? I want it. What's so funny is that uh, the survivor I caught actually isn't even large. You know, I'm hoping if oh. I just keep saying enough stupid shit, the score bunny will eventually appear and just save us from myself. Right.
they call me guac because I'm extra as fuck. Actually, I'm not like guac because I am not nutritionally balanced. <laughs> I am not a superfood. You could eat me and get like zero vitamins. I have like no vitamins in me. Hey. Other than no, iron, I take an there. iron tablet. <laughs> Why are you finding all the shinies? Where's my shinies? I don't know. Where's my shinies? I want a shiny. Oh no, the Poke Pelago music is playing now. I'm really gonna lose my fucking mind. Guys, I need a shiny score bunny, like, yesterday. <laughs> oh, hey, it's 12.30. I really did need a sh shiny score bunny yesterday. <laughs> right? Hey, hey, happy Saturday, everybody. It's Saturday morning now. Yippee! Where's my score bunny? <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say that you found a third survivor. I know, right? And this one isn't even large. The audacity. I, what's so weird is I literally just did one... I did one picnic reset, and that was it. And then the shiny was right there. I was like, oh, okay. Hello. Twelve thirty for you too. Yeah, I'm Pacific time, Northern California, baby. What's good? Where are yeah. you from? Without completely doxing yourself, you can say just like the state. Arizonian. Oh, one of my BFFs moved to Arizona last year. Or, no, not last year. That was two years ago. Holy shit. Man, I miss her. I miss her so much. Her name is Zara. She's a cool trans woman. She hates Starbucks because they did her dirty. <laughs> she liked to drive and listen to music. She would play Pokemon Go with me. She's a good friend. I'll say you could have fooled me and just said uh, you're in New Mexico, and I'd be like, yeah, it's 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 5:30 in New Mexico right now, sure. Okay. Is score bunny. If you want it to be shiny, I think I might cry or maybe kill a man if you want me to. Do you want me to kill a man? Probably does. Does are there any men in my chat who would like to volunteer for a very important mission? Goober says I'm right here. Okay, very important mission, Goober. Um, I need you to die and summon a shiny score bunny. Can you do that for us? Can, can Will you let me vanquish you by my own hand? What are the stakes? Um, everything. We need to get random guy in my Twitch chat. That's his username, not a description. We need to get random guy in my Twitch chat as shiny score bunny because... He doesn't have the DLC, and he really wants to shine a score bunny, so I said, hey, I can hunt that. That sounds easy. And then I remembered, oh shit, there's monkeys here. And now, we're like, oh shit, there's actually just no shinies here. Thus, I need to kill a man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you down, Goober?
I would laugh if I literally found another survivor before you got a score. Are fight. you looking for another or, survivor? Or two I am looking for another survivor. Why? Fuck you. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Just for the funny juice? Love... Just for the funny juice? Yeah, you love me. Goober's down. Okay, then by the power invested in me, I smite Goober. Yeah. Zap. Pal. Whatever the fuck you say. Um, Goober's now dead. Any messages you see from Goober are simply a figment of your imagination. They are not real. Do not address them. That's not the Shreddy Score Bunny, is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Get the Shreddy Score Bunny! <laughs> Killing a no. man worked! Killing a man worked! Killing a Legit man actually though. worked! Oh my god! That's funny as fuck. That's so fucking funny. That's the funniest fucking thing that's ever happened. He's marked! He's marked! Ayo, hey, random guys gonna be a time mark score bunny, let's go. <laughs> oh god, if this is oh, oh my god, if this is a personality mark, I, I'm still gonna give it away. I'm still gonna give it away if it's a personality mark. Cause I told random guy that I'd be giving it to him regardless. Hello, shiny score bunny. You'll have to do it again for my sacrifice. I will need it. Um, sorry, you're a figment of my imagination, Goober. You're dead. I I smited you. I smote you. You're dead. You're not real. Um, let's get this in a cool ball for our friend Random Guy. Hey, Random Guy, what ball do you want this thing in? Or did you, like, fall asleep right before we found your shiny? <laughs> it's so late at night right now. It's so late. It is. I'm surprised I'm still up. But I think the nap kind of helped. True. Okay, so it would appear that random guy in my chat, the new guy tonight, who we are catching this for, has fallen asleep. So, I'm gonna take the initiative and catch this score bunny in a fastball. I think a fastball is a apricot ball that I don't use very often, and I have plenty of. So he's gonna get a score bunny in a fastball. Nice. Sure, he'll appreciate that. Oh, that one caught. Let's freaking go. Hell yeah. Okay, I still got 11 minutes. Let's see if I can find one more survivor. That hopefully is large. Large and in charge. Y'all know I gotta guess quirky on this bunny. You got a nature guess, Talia? Um, I am going to guess... I'm gonna guess bashful, because it took a while for it to come. Ooh, fair. Any other nature guesses in chat? Anybody?
All right, we got Quirky and Bashful. We have Hardy from Party Pooper, Adamant from Rebecca, Hasty from Mr. Who. He is Hasty. You got it, Mr. Who. And this mark we're checking in three, two, one. Hungry, lunchtime mark. Cool, I don't have to give away a personality okay. mark. I feel a lot better about this because I thought for a second there that the universe was going to be oh so funny and make me give away a personality mark. But no, we got Score Bunny the Peckish in the fastball. So whenever random guy comes back from being asleep and or dead, we'll have this shiny ready for him. Imagine if it was a rare mark. That would have been amazing. That would have been so funny. But all right, guys, we found the Score Bunny. Funny juice is real. We're going to keep going. See you in the next phase. What's that? Oh, it's a deer leg. I appear to be out of coffee. Okay. Um, chat, I need ideas of what to hunt next. If y'all don't mind, hit me up with some suggestions. And I am going to go and refill my coffee and get some more of that. Oh, shit. Do I... I might have to brew a new pot of coffee before I get some more. So I'm going to go brew the pot of coffee. I'll be right back.
Boo, I'm back. What's up? Talia, are you I'm alive? A lot. You sound eepy. I am a little bit eepy. And the poison <laughs> sandwich is almost done. Hey, you can find as many more survivors as you want. I'm I, I got my score bunny. You're good. Right. Okay, y'all. So I should have specified when I said pick a new target. We've done so many starters today. I don't want any more starters. Need to look for Jess's home. It's Commander Knight. It was all right. Also, um, I I fucked up a bit. I or I thought or I thought we had extra money, and um, I ordered. Food while it's there, not through DoorDash. Fuck DoorDash, it's too expensive. Yeah. But we ordered some Domino's, and I'm gonna get reimbursed like twenty bucks, which is like half of what we spent. So, but it's okay. We good. I got Talia in the chat with me. Hi, Jesse. Or, she says hi. Oh, hello. But when I'm reimbursed in cash, I'll give it to you for sweet. As, as an apology. I'm so down for that. Okay, cool. Starters would be fire. Or fire. Mini or... Wait, Goober, what message did you retract? What message did you retract, Goober? I don't like... I don't like that YouTube lets you retract messages. It makes me think y'all are up to naughty things. Is YouTube chat up to shenanigans? Twitch chat is fucking dead tonight, but YouTube chat... What the fuck you doing? Eevee? Fuck you. <laughs> If you were that, you retracted it again. You're up to naughty <laughs> things. Anyways, you know what? No manure. I've hunted manure way too many times. People that have seen my videos know that I hunt that thing way too often. Um, and we are min maxing. Or wait, are you looking for a new target? Yeah. Uh, let me think. Jesse's uh, brain blasting Zarina? right now. Huh? Zarina line. <gasps> Ooh, we could go get Steeny. Y'all want to go get a Steeny? Do you sure. want to see Stompy Mommy tonight? Pikachu? I wanted to hunt Pikachu earlier, but I found out that the place that someone recommended that I hunt Pikachu and Charge Bug together. I play Violet, which means it has more Peko. Oh, sure. Wait, what message just got retracted? Yo, I have short-term memory loss. I don't remember the things you say when you delete them, even if I just read it out loud. <laughs> what the fuck did you say, Party Pooper? Y'all, mm. okay. I can see we're having one of those nights. Now, do it at Madali. Is Pikachu at Madali? Because you also get Voltorb there, don't you? Um. And Dedenne. If it's like between Madali and uh, where's the other place? That was Appa Passage. On that ramp, that hill. It's that one, like, big hill with, like, the ruins and trees on top. Hmm. Right between the normal-type city and Medali, I think. Medali is the normal-type city. Oh, Medali and Kaskarapa, I believe. It's between those two. <sighs> Let me look at my map. Let me look at my map. Also, you missed the funniest shit with that score, Bunny. Oh. You missed the mm -hmm. funniest fucking clip. I'm, I'm just gonna have to show you it once it's edited. I don't think I can fully explain how funny that was because I'm still grasping it myself. Um, just know, Goober's dead. I smote him. He's dead. He's a figment of everyone's imagination now. Um, and he sacrificed himself for a score bunny that was hungry. Oh. That I'm giving to the guy who fell asleep at the keyboard. Right. All right, my dear. Well, it's four, almost four a.m. my time, so I'm gonna actually. Oh yeah, go to bed. Huh? I... It late. It late for you. Thank it you for is. being here. Love and appreciate You're you. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me company. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, yeah, see you tomorrow. Later on today. <laughs> yeah, later today. But yeah, I get what you mean. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye. So, Jesse, what are you saying? It's up by the ruins up here? Um, I was gonna, er... Pikachu? Yeah, but... 
there's other electric types there too. Like so Shanks. Or or phase. No, not Shanks. Achirisu and Jolteon, I believe. I believe those are the things you can phase. Hmm. You got an impotent. Are you saying the name is Edgar or Edger? Because how I react to that entirely depends on that. If it's Edgar, then oh, that's cool. Because Edgar it's... is G-A-R. If it's Edger, then it's what? It's what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck are we doing? I don't want to do Pikachu because I, I'm still salty about the whole Morpeko thing. Because I don't want to hunt it. Hunt more Peko. Lilo, you are being so rowdy. You are being so naughty. What will be more positive? Um, I think if you named it Edgar, like Edgar Allan Poe, because it's like edgy. Just don't don't name it Edger. Don't name it Edger. You will regret that name. Lilo, get in there. Minior. Y'all want to hunt Minior? You know what? You know what? Okay, I'm recording now. I want to just say first and foremost, fuck you, chat. We're hunting Minior. You want to hunt Minior? You want to hunt Minior? Let's hunt Minior. You want to get possibly the, like, seventh Minior reaction in the last two months? You want another Minior reaction? Sure, let's do Minior. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. Hi, I'm Toxime, and I am crazy, actually. I'm not okay. You've done Minior that many times? Yes. I need you to understand. I've hunted Minior. I so, I got a Charm Odds Minior in my 24 hours of Indigo Disc Shiny hunting video, the first one. I hunted it again for my Alola quest. I hunted it again for the tastiest shinies. I hunted it again for my hardest DLC hunts, which I haven't released that video yet. I hunted it again in a shiny race against my other girlfriend. Yes, I'm polyamorous. I have more than one girlfriend. I'm very lucky. This is going to be my sixth shiny Minior. So I was wrong about the number, but I was close enough. Minior number six is going to be here. Do a little mola. Nope, we're doing a, we're doing minior. We're doing minior. We're doing minior. Fuck you, Gramble. Also, I would rather hunt Minior than a Lolomola because a Lolomola is just it's a fish. L chat, do gibble. Gibble? Look me in the eyes right now, chat. Look me in the eyes. Are you looking? Are you looking? I can tell you're not looking. Okay, now you're looking me in the eyes. Yes or no on Minior? I want to see a firm yes or a firm no. If it's no, we'll do Gibble. And we'll drop the Minior business. Where do you hunt for a score bunny? Here in the polar biome. If you go... Not that, not that, not that. Okay, y'all say no on Minior? Fine. This area over here is that big, like, sloped area that I was at. You get Chimchar and score bunny here. Although, if you're going for just Score Bunny, we got really lucky. If you don't want any Chimchar, you can get a Score Bunny outbreak pretty easily by resetting in this biome with a Fire Sandwich. Go for Score Bunny number two. Why would I go for Score Bunny number two? Why would I do that? Riddle me this, Batman. Huh? Guys, I think my Super Coffee is kicking in. Oh, I have another Super Coffee.
Can we get high? What do you, what do you think, guys? When I have the beer back page up and you see the Venusaur with the red eyes, what do you think I'm doing? I'm literally smoking weed when that's up. Wait, let me show you really quick. Let me show you. This? If you see that Venusaur up there, that means I'm smoking weed. I did two outbreaks for the last two targets. So I'm not doing three. Fair enough. Like, smoking some weed sounds good right now. But we need to pick our next target. Okay, so Gibble? Is that what I'm hearing? Gibble time? That was a quick blunt. I wasn't actually... Listen. I have a pipe. <laughs> I just smoke flour out of a pipe because it's the most cost-effective thing. But okay, okay, okay. Uh, Gibble time? Gibble time? Way ahead of y'all. What do you... <laughs> what, I'm getting high? Look, this is a stoner-friendly chat. My YouTube channel description literally says, like, mature shiny hunting content. This is not meant for kids. Kids are welcome here as long as they know how to behave around adults. But, by all means, if you want to smoke weed, please smoke weed. Parentheses, if it's legal in your state. Extra parentheses, I'm only saying this because of Twitch. Use butter and knives. And what? What the hell? Use butter and knives and two butter balls. The little heart thing is like, oh, and tiny butter balls. The little heart thing fucking blocks your guys' messages. Guess you're doing for Chimchar and Scorbunny. True. Okay, so what I'm hearing is Gibble. What I'm hearing is Gibble and where did I see Gibble spawning a lot? I can hunt Gibble. I can hunt Gibble in Area Zero. I can hunt Gibble in Area Zero. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I have a question for YouTube chat. So I've only been streaming on YouTube. Like, I've been on Twitch for two and a half years now. I've only been on YouTube for like two weeks at this point. Maybe three. Does anyone know for sure what the policy is for smoking weed on camera? Because I've been putting up that beer at back page because I assume that YouTube doesn't like you to smoke weed on camera even if it's legal in your state. Whereas Twitch doesn't mind as long as it's legal for you. Does anyone know for sure what the policy is on YouTube? Because if I can smoke on camera, then I won't put up the beer back page. I'll just do a quick little smoke break with y'all. Don't do it, pretty sure. Okay, that's what I figured. I figured YouTube is kind of more tight than Twitch. That you can. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I definitely didn't accidentally hit my pipe without putting up the beer back page on my VOD yesterday. That's for damn sure. Anyways, let's hunt ourselves a Gibble? Question mark? It is 1 a.m. What am I doing? No guy who is told to stop. Okay, fair enough. Oh, so Goober, I am she, her pronouns. I'm a trans woman. So please be careful with the word dude. But yeah, I'm she, I'm girl. Hi. Lots of weed. I smoked too much weed. Um, let's do salty sweet. Why not? Oh, yeah, also, sorry I glossed over the fact, Party Pooper, that you, um, found a Piplup right as I found the Score Bunny. That's kind of funny. Also, while we're just sitting here making a sandwich, may I just say, I'm glad I've met all you fun YouTube people recently. 
Um, Mr. Who's been here before, but I believe Party Pooper and Goober are new here tonight. So, glad y'all came by. We're gonna keep going for a few more hours, probably, but... Glad y'all are here. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I put out content every weekend. I meant to put out a video this morning, but I went to bed early last night and forgore to upload. You know, I had the thumbnail done and everything. So, we're gonna have two uploads tomorrow, or in the morning. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and then another one on Sunday. Not trying to be cool, I use it for pain and anxiety. I also smoke weed for a lot for the anxiety. Like I want I want to swap over to just CBD cartridges and get rid of the THC altogether, but it's hard to find CBD. Or please, that deliver CBD stuff because it's hard for me to get out of the house. Okay, and before we hunt our little gibble, our little goober gibble, I like saying the word goober. Even before Goober in chat showed up, so I just, I'm going to keep saying the word Goober for stuff. But before we hunt this little Goober, I'm going to do a quick little smoke break. So I'm going to put up that Be Right Back page, and I will be back in just a few minutes, y'all.
You failed the vibe check. Yeah, I didn't like the vibes of that person. Didn't like their vibes. And I would rather just hide their messages and ban them from the channel rather than go on a tangent about how they have one video with five views and they say please subscribe twice in their description. I don't know. Might just be a little desperate for attention. Might just be feeling a little left out of the game. But hey, hope you enjoy playing Fortnite, you fucking nerd. Want to talk about nerds? Here's the thing. I stream Pokemon for a living and I still get more ass than that person does. <laughs> oh, speaking of getting more ass. Hey, Ryan. What's up? Ryan in the Twitch chat. What up? Yo, Ryan. YouTube chat is popping off tonight. We got some fun people in here. <laughs> yeah, speaking of getting some ass. Ayo. <laughs> Lilo, chill. It's not bedtime yet, baby. No. No. Okay, what were we doing? What are we doing? Where are my pants? Oh, right, Gibble! Gibble time! Gibble, Gibble, Gibble! I love Gibble! I would literally die for Gibble. Why am I using the teleporter? I can fly. What am I doing? Oh no, my backpack is untextured. Goober, did you say you're a gobstopper? Isn't isn't that like the Willy Wonka candy? Oh, what's wrong with those draft rigs? Everything has like a green outline. Oh, Oh, this doesn't look right. Uh, er, er. Maybe it's just the lighting? Okay. Yeah, things looking better now. Things looking better now. Okay. Like, bro, we know already. We're literally up at 1.10 a.m. Pacific time on a s Friday night. Hanging out with a Pokemon streamer and shiny hunting. You think we don't already know that we're fucking nerds? You think we don't know? You think we aren't okay with this? Like I said, I do this for a living and I get... Like, I get ass. Or I could get ass whenever I want. Have I mentioned I'm asexual? Just putting that out there. Like, not that big into sex, but I am every once in a while, so it's like, eh, it's whatever. I'd rather play video games. I have two girlfriends. Soon to have a boyfriend. Yeah, I have two and a half partners, for real, for real. Like, being a nerd, here's the thing, here's the thing. All the hot bitches are geeks. Do you know how many baddie, hot, big titty, hot goth GFs I've seen walk through a nerd or comic store? Or buying D&D &D shit, or looking at cool dice on sale? Like, yeah, we're nerds. All the bad bitches are. I like Pokimane. I like Pokemon. The same negativity I give love. Oh, you use a max revive on Goober. Oh, you're so real for that. Okay, Goober is no longer a figment of everyone's imagination. Goober is real again. Welcome back to the land of the dead, Goober. Thank you for sacrificing your life for that shiny score bunny. It was worth it for the bit. I might even turn that bit into a YouTube short. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. We may be nervous, but at least we are, aren't attention seekers. I mean, I'm the streamer, so I'm like a little bit of an attention seeker, but for the most part, I just like making YouTube videos and streaming as an easy way of getting good footage with fun people and vibing. So I do it. But yeah, at least we aren't going into someone 
random person's YouTube stream and being like, you guys are nerds and geeks. It's like, yeah, but you're kind of bringing a negative vibe in here with that shit. Use the Dragon Balls on yourself, but then he fell down the stairs. Rippy Dippy. Um, hey Ryan, I know you're the only person in my YouTube, or not YouTube, you're the only person in my Twitch chat right now, and as nice as it is to have someone in the Twitch chat, you want to hop in VC? Hello. <laughs> Hello. I've been ready. <laughs> You've been ready? You've been ready? A little. <laughs> well, how's your day going? Pretty well. How is yours? Uh, things are going good. We've met some interesting people yeah. on YouTube tonight. Having a fun time. We've gotten two personality <laughs> marks tonight. Ooh. Which ones? Yeah. Um, I got the smiley mark on a Porygon, which is Aww. a Pokemon that I wanted to do a personality mark hunt for anyway, so someone just randomly suggested it and we went for it. Mm. And it, I also got, um, oh fuck, what was it? What was it? Hey, this is gonna drive me crazy if I don't look at my box and figure <laughs> this out right now. It was, oh, Embor. It was a Tepig mm. with a personality mark. Yeah, that was the feisty mark. And then we got the smiley mark on Porygon, so this is Pumba in the dive ball because the <laughs> flames turn like blue. And then we have mm -hmm. Typo, the shiny Porygon Z with the smiley mark in the dream ball. And we had, oh man, honestly, there's so many highlights from tonight. There was a really funny clip where I killed a man to get the shiny score money. Yeah, a man in chat, in my YouTube chat, Goober, he died for our sins oh. and for this score bunny. Rest and in then peace, Goober. I got this frost last with an ice sandwich today, which I've done that hunt of just making an ice sandwich and roaming up and down the mountainside. Like, I've literally done that for almost two years now, and this is the first time I've ever seen a shiny frost last. Because it's that rare. Ooh. So that I was missed huge. A lot. <laughs> um Yeah, we're vibing here. Cool. Oh, the Porygon um, clip is really funny because I was confessing to my sins of failing a Porygon and not saying anything, <laughs> like, two minutes before that, and now that's gonna be in the end of your compilation because of the mark. Ooh. So, I'm gonna have to fully lean into it and edit myself to say it with, like, words being, like, guilty or s staying <laughs> silent. I'm sorry I couldn't join you yesterday. It's okay. But we are back honestly, today. Honestly, yesterday I probably mm -hmm. should have just ended stream earlier than I did. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, then you we found, did get that shiny you alpha right too. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the YouTube chat saying right now? What the fuck? What are they saying? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'll take <laughs> you to see Nurse Joy afterwards. Who are you taking to see Nurse Joy? Wait, who you send Smash to? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm lost. <laughs> oh yeah, who you saying Smash to? The score button should be named Goober Jr. I'm just hunting for score bunny. Oh, good luck with the score bunny. Nurse Joy. Oh, Nurse oh, Joy is 100% of Smash. 100% of Smash. I've watched Every fiber of my being it. would smash. You what? <laughs> the real Nurse Joy? A uh, cosplayer. The real Nurse Joy? What? The real Nurse Joy, obviously. Yeah. Live action. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's still up. It was on Orange YouTube. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm always calling it for. Um, Orange YouTube? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? I know what you're talking about. Good. Okay. Do, do, ch, do, 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 ch. <laughs> you're so real for that. 
Mm hmm. Hey, where are these gibble? Okay, there's some gibble. There's some more gibble. Okay. Never mind. I found the gibble. I had a question, and then I was like, it's not worth it. <laughs> Jinx has a gat. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? When YouTube took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me like literally a second. I was like, ah. Uh... Why are you talking about Gyat when she has them knockers though? <laughs> Tickle bitty. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm going to jail. jail. Jesse. <laughs> wait, wait, Mr. Who, what about Jesse? Are you saying Jesse's a smash? Because I, I also smash on Jesse. Also hit smash. Obviously, she's my girlfriend. First thing I thought you meant. Okay, I was confused which Jesse we're talking about. <laughs> I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean... Oh, wait, no I forgot about Jesse from Team Rocket. I thought you were talking about my girlfriend. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my girlfriend, Jessica, and I was like, yeah, yeah, she's a smash. Glad other people can appreciate I mean, her. probably. Probably. No, she is, she is. Oh, I'm talking about for me. Um, oh. Only if she wanted. Only if she wanted, for real, for real. She's a vibe, though. <laughs> they let her hit because she goofy. And because she's pretty, but... She's hilarious. You may be acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all a little bit? Is that, is that like earlier when you called me restarted? <gasps> that is bad. <laughs> <laughs> no! Funny, I just bad. missed a shiny gibble! <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Stop being funny, you guys. You can't be funny anymore. <laughs> god damn it! God damn it, we failed another one tonight, guys. Oh, I fucking hate it here. I'm not seeing, like, the any of left. them. Did you guys... Oh, man. Did I even... I didn't even take a clip. Hang on, did I get that? Did I get that? Or did I clip that too late? Oof, I don't know. Here we go. Wait for it. 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 You see that? <laughs> where, 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 where? <laughs> there. You see that? Ooh. God damn it. I see. Man. Alright, we gotta stop being funny. Well, but funny juice, though. We gotta stop being funny. Or at least be funny again so that I can find another one. See you in the next phase. <laughs> Man. Okay, we're talking about the women of Pokemon. What about the men? Do we like any of the men? <laughs> Grusha. Who? <laughs> the ice gym leader. You'll meet him. Okay. Let me peek at his little thumbnail thing. Also, I'm, I'm glad you agree with me on Michael Simon. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he definitely he definitely gives, um... I'm forgetting the water gym Kofu? leaders. Kofu? Kofu. Definitely giving Kofu. Kofu vibes. Yeah, especially if you see him, like... Chuck, Brock, Crash Awake, James, Sans, Undertale! Oh, you're so real for that. Um... <laughs> Mm, Larry, I mean... yes. L Larry looks like a guy that could use some good head. Am I allowed to say that on oh. YouTube? I'm gonna say that on YouTube Maybe. anyways. I have seen something of Sans Undertale too. I mean, seen a few do things, do do do. listened to a few things. Do 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 do. I love the creativity of like the... I, sh I should stop there. Um... <laughs> of Orange YouTube? No, of... Anyways, I'm gonna on... start recording now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> of oh artists God, I'm in who hell. make things. The creativity. <laughs> I love creativity of artists, but sometimes they should stop. I mean, <laughs> maybe not, maybe. Sometimes imagination and creativity is too much power for any one person to wield. You are so real for that. The ability to make something into a reality is a terrifying power. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we make things? 
What was I made for? <laughs> you know, you gotta admit, that Saiyan's Undertale fight music, Megalovania, whatever the fuck it is, kinda goes hard. Goober, you scared me for a hot minute. <laughs> Not a hot minute, a hot second before I read the parenthetical. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? I thought you were being chill. You'll just make Pokemon real and Dragon Balls. Don't you use the Dragon Balls to make Pokemon real? And don't you have to find a genie in the lamp to make the Dragon Balls <laughs> real? Actually, you could just make the genie in the lamp make Pokemon real, but then it'll be like horrendous monsters that actually like eat people. So you should probably go through the hey. Dragon Balls. Less ways to Do fuck you like it Dragon up. Ball? Dragon these balls across your face. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, time and place, baby. I love how chat is also just still naming hot men in Pokemon from like three minutes ago. Y'all are real for that. I... Sycamore, 100% agree. To I Megalovania need to become more much. acquainted with these people. Fair enough. Uh, Sycamore, mm -hmm. look up, look up Professor Sycamore. He is my number two choice for Professor Daddy. He is the professor mm -hmm. of the Gen Six region, the Kalos region. We will likely see an ancestor of in the new Legends game when it comes out. Mm. But oh, so, I see it. He looks like David Tennant. He's kind of hot, right? Mm -hmm. But my Professor Daddy will always be Professor Kukui, mm -hmm. the Gen Seven professor, because he just walks around with mm. just a lab coat on and no shirt. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's got that Hawaiian That's chill convincing. vibe. Look him up. Look up Kukui. Do I'm it. doing it. Do it. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? <laughs> Kukui. K U K U I. Oh, mm, I don't know. He kind of gives me like Jersey Shores vibes. I don't know. I think I fell in love with Professor Kukui because of the anime, because he's like mm. a tender, loving, and supportive, like teacher Aww. to everybody like he's literally like That's the sweet. teacher of the pokemon school he's a professor and he, like i'm not gonna say it's too mean i'm not gonna say it what's too mean daddy issues maybe anyways <laughs> right infinite debt card true hey party pooper got the shiny score bunny let's freaking go huge win do I have to do any more fire? Oh, oh god, Cyndaquil. Hey, I hunted Cyndaquil four times. Because I wanted a Hisuian form. From Scarlet Violet. Ooh, that's a shiny goodbye. Oh, that's the Ew. whole fella. Oh. Oh, it was, worth, it was worth failing that, <laughs> that gibble. Holy shit. Yo, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Well, I'll be downed. He's so blue. He's marked? <laughs> Why are you blue? Why are you blue? It's me. Wrong one, go again? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Why is my camera no, blurry? Hold up. Oh. Marked, goodbye. Let's go. You got this. And it's gonna be a cool mark too. If it is, I cry it. because I've gotten a cool mark shiny goodbye during my badge quest series. His name is Miracle. He's the kindly. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm not ready for this if this is a cool mark. I'm not ready for this. Chat, I don't care if it's not a gibble, it's a whole ass goodbye. That's so much cooler. That's so don't much be cooler. Me, you guys. Put it to a vote? She's no, just a we're not hunting Gibble again. We got the Gabite. This is good enough. Overruled. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> hey, Rebecca's back in the chat. What you doing? What's <gasps> Rebecca. Up? Rebecca. I oh am God, going Becky. to... Look at her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I am going Go to nature guess adamant because we've been getting we've been getting a lot of adamant Pokemon tonight. Mm. Um, bold. Any other nature guesses, y'all? All 
All right, we got Adamant and Bold. We have Quiet from Party Pooper, Sassy from Mr. Who, Quiet from Goober, Lax from Rebecca. He is Jolly and this mark. We're checking in three, mm -hmm. two, one. It's an uncommon mark. You got the guess, the mark guess right, Party Pooper. But all right. Good job. <laughs> Still got the whole ass goodbye. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be going after Gibble because... <laughs> To me, this is why? such a bigger win. This is such a bigger win mm -hmm. than Gibble. You meant Jolly? Oh, I see, chat. You meant to say Jolly. Okay, yeah, you, you got it right then. I believe you. Anyways. <laughs> what is going on tonight? I'm on fire. Anyways, um, let's keep going. Wait, what's Goober's pronouns? Um, he, him, I believe, because when I said I need to kill a man, he said I volunteer. Okay. I mean, technically, he didn't say the words I volunteer. He said I'm right here, and then I smote him. So <laughs> it maybe it wasn't 100% consensual. There might have been a little bit of okay. gray area there, but I mean, we used a revive on him, so he's back. Max revive, mm -hmm. mind you. Where did you hunt Cyndaquil? In the Cyndaquil cave. Do you not know about the Cyndaquil cave? I was gonna say we believe women, but then I'm like, that's probably that might not be a woman. <laughs> so we don't believe you. <laughs> Cyndaquil cave? Let me show you. I'll show you. I got you. I got you. I got you. In fact, in fact, I will I will even go so far as to demonstrate the Cyndaquil hunt. I can always reset and get my Herba back. You rock. A queen of the people. Can I make a pronoun joke? No. No. Just gonna leave it at that. No, you cannot. Please do not. Unless it's like they slash them or something. Yeah, that was unless it's funny. Like as long as long as it doesn't punch down, if it mm -hmm. punches up or is like actually punny, go for it. But if it's just like ha ha, you use pronouns or misgendering someone, I don't want to hear it. Real. If it's a joke that you can imagine me tell retelling to someone in good humor, uh, is that? I'm slash him. Is that the joke? Is that the joke? Is that the joke? Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. <laughs> I don't get it. Me neither. Is it because it's the same? No, maybe? Yeah, I don't get it. I'm so sorry. I don't get it. But, oh, like, I'm him. Like, how they say in the memes. <laughs> oh, like, like, like you're he, but not you're he, but not him, because you'll never be him. You're him. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you're the cat from Instagram. <laughs> Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. I love that emote. <laughs> I love that emoji. Okay, let me show That's you Cynical Cave. Cynical Cave. What the Cynical doing? We're actually gonna fly from the coastal biome here because this is closer. I need to finish my super coffee. Okay, 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 okay. So, the cave is in... Well, it's that big tall mountain thing right there. In the uh, polar biome. So, what we're gonna do... What we're gonna do... Is... Well, first we need to get there. <laughs> and then... You know what, I would just go into synchro mode and knock this out, but because it's the menu, you never know when it's gonna be shiny, so I'm gonna knock it out the old-fashioned way. Be shiny? Not shiny, okay. 
Okay. Gibble? No. We're not hunting Gibble. <gasps> we got the Gabite. Wait, I'm gonna... Not me about to name this Pokemon after a drag queen, forgetting that that's literally a drug name. Are they gonna allow it? We will see. Angel dust? <laughs> Morphine. Mmm... <laughs> debatable. <gasps> they allowed it! Oh, let's go. <laughs> Morphine Lex approach be best friends. <laughs> you remember Lexapro? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Lexapro the Vivian. Yes. This cave is so small. Oh, just you wait and see <laughs> until the Cyndaquil hunt. You've heard that it's a bad hunt, I assume. But do you know how bad? So, you go in here, you knock out that Pokemon, and then you're going to get on your ride Pokemon, and you see this middle ledge right here? There's like these three right here. Well, if you go right into this corner, you can set up a picnic right here. And I'm going to drop a save so that I can just soft reset and get my Herba back after I demonstrate for you, but... Oh, uh, sometimes you gotta finagle it. There we go. Yeah, you gotta face out more like that. But, you can set up a picnic right here, on this ledge. We are going to make a fire sandwich. You didn't hear it was a bad hunt? Oh, this is one of the worst hunts in the game. This is one of the worst hunts. It's gonna... You better hope you get a really fast phase. This is picnic resetting, but worse. You can see one cynical. Nope. Let me show you. Let me show you. We're learning. You know what? I'm going to start recording because you never know when we're just going to pop off and get a shiny cynical while we're demonstrating it for the class. So let me make this sandwich real quick. Can the shiny spawn behind the walls? No. So the DLC is a lot better about things spawning in the walls. As far as I know, mm -hmm. in Kitakami and in the Terrarium, things do not spawn in the walls basically anywhere. They did a really good job. Are you saying the vibes are rancid? Huh? Goover, what are you talking about? I love the vibes in here. I like what we got going on tonight. Me too. Vibes, videos, what are you trying to say? Because <laughs> they all rock. L plus ratio. Ooh, get fucked. I'm so confused. Oh, are you just memeing? I think you're just memeing. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, chat's a little chaotic tonight, but that's okay. So we mm -hmm. make the fire sandwich, and then... Without going on your ride Pokemon, because it only works if you're on foot. You're gonna run into this corner here and face here. And if you look on the horizon down there by the entrance, eventually you'll start seeing little goobers start marching mm -hmm. on out. There is like one, there's one spawn point <laughs> that they that they spawn from. And in order for more to spawn, the first one that's there has to wander away from it. So you have to sit here for a good minute or so, maybe thirty seconds. See if they stop moving. And let's go check them out. We got five. We got five of them. So, we come back up here. We get off. We picnic reset. Rinse and repeat. This is the hunt. Just so you know, this was one of the first hunts that I did for my video that I'm working on. That is the hardest hunts in the DLC. Mmm. So we're going to do Juicy. one more check here, and then we're going to reset and get our Urban back. Who knows, we might get lucky with a Cyndaquil, or we might get absolutely jack shit because none of them are wandering out yet, so we're probably only going to get one. 
Oh, there's one goober. There's two <gasps> goobers. Goober. Have I seen goobers? <laughs> Let's check them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you you at most you can get fifteen. I'm gonna sneeze real. Bless you. Okay, sneeze over. At most you can get fifteen. If you're lucky, you'll get ten at most, though, on average. You have to have knocked out the Terra Pokemon. And it, mm -hmm. you have to be, like, running up against this wall. On foot. Do not be on your ride, Pokemon. Be on foot. Right here. We'll do one more. So you picnic right here to reset them. You squish them with the table. You can even do it on the same wall right here, but I like to go a little over here and just kind of walk up against the wall. I'm holding down on the Joy-Con right now, kind of just running up against the wall, and they should start spawning there on the other side of that little lip. You can kind of hear them spawn in when they do their little cry and you start to hear little footsteps. Mm -hmm. It's actually adorable, but it's just so painstakingly slow. But, if you go down, you got some goobers. Alright, I think that demonstrates she it well enough. <clears throat> you got two little cynicals. Yeah, there you go. The longer you there wait there, the more they'll spawn. Up until either you have 15... Or one of them just stops moving. Sometimes they just don't move away from the spawn point and their big asses fucking block everyone else from going in. I feel weird. Some of my Pokemon have like human names, but then I just named one of them Reddit. Which one did you name Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> the Phalanx, because I saw on Reddit the real version, like the real animal that it's based on. So I was like, oh, Phalanx is based on an animal? Yes. <laughs> like a real, like, caterpillar. What the fuck? I need oh, to send the you Phalanx this, caterpillar? Find it. Is that what it's called? N no, maybe. Oh, hi, little goober. Okay, y'all. Let's do some more shiny hunting. It's based on Kirby. What's based on Kirby? Maybe a little bit, but it's also based on this real-life bug that I gotta find. I promise you someone came across them in the wild and they posted it on Reddit, and I was like, huh? Kirby? You mean the Pokemon? <laughs> You're so real for that. Um, hey Ryan, help me pick what mm -hmm. we're gonna hunt next. Tell me, like, a type of sandwich How? to make or any Pokemon that you should- that I should hunt. What's been what's been one of your favorite Pokemon in the game so far on your team? You're so cute. I'm so glad you asked. Oink alone, I'm obsessed. Uh what's another one of your favorites? I don't want to hunt a Lechonk. <laughs> it's a I have to do it in an outbreak, Valid. and I don't want to do outbreak, so I'm trying mm -hmm. to min max tonight. Well, still, trivia about me. Um What else do you like? Okay, who else am I loving? Um Dratini, that's also Outbreak only. Dunsparis. Ooh, I could do Dunsparis. Try to look at a three segment tonight. Y'all want to do Dunsparis? Yes. We could fuck around with the that's Dunsparis. That's a fun one. Yeah, let's fuck around with Dunsparis. I think I Litwick. have one of those and I named oh it Lucky. God. I never want to hunt Litwick it. ever again. <laughs> Not because I don't like, Lick, like Litwick. It's because I... You remember that outbreak event? Oh my god, I cannot talk tonight. Do you remember that outbreak event where they were all boosted and everything? I had a video pop off from that, and I caught 47 of the bastards. Mm. Well, I'll be damned. 
Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said this earlier, but to all of you who are here hanging out late at night, hey, you better drop a like on the stream. Real? I already dropped a like. You don't like. drop a like on the stream. I will come and get you. I'll what and get you? I will get you. Ayo. I will, will you get, come get you. Me? I will go and get you. What do I mean? <laughs> um, we'll discuss later. Ayo. <laughs> of course, I haven't. Okay, I sent the. I done the like. Post oh, thank you. In... I sent in Pokemon General. I'm unliking. With Good, Phalanx Goober. <laughs> Good. <laughs> tonight's but chaos. Then What's going on tonight? But yeah, then re-like it. You're just boosting it in the algorithm. Re-like it at the same time that everyone else is liking it right now. And then we might get even more people in here at the godforsaken hour of 1.44 a.m. on March 23rd, 2024, mm. Pacific Time. You have a baseball bat under my bed? I have... That's creepy. <laughs> no will to live. I'm kidding. Um, Bitch. <laughs> I will get you. <laughs> Come and I get will me. Do whatever you want to me. Is. Ayo. Will do. Uh, opposite of killing me? <laughs> I think that's called CPR. So mouth to mouth? Pog? I'm down. <laughs> Ayo? Okay. Ayo? So while I make this sandwich, y'all mind if I pull mm -hmm. the class? I'm go for it. I want to do a little bit of research here for for the people who are in the YouTube chat right now, not including Ryan because you're an OG Twitch viewer. But for everyone who found us Work. through okay. YouTube and is currently in the YouTube chat, tell me what made you click, what got you over mm. here? Was it the That's stream juicy. title? Was it the thumbnail? Was it the tags? Was it just the game? Was it just no one else is streaming this late? Like, be honest. What made you click? I'd really like to know. Go on, share with the class. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Yet again, share with the class. Like, what made y'all click? I gotta know. The Cynical Hunt isn't that bad, not gonna lie. It's just compared to other Scarlet Violet hunting, it's like really slow. But it can also be very relaxing. I, I might do a personality mark hunt for it one day if I want to do a really chill hunt. What up? I don't know what which pink Pokemon it, has, it will be, but I have to name one of them Breakfast because this pin, pink bitch is named Breakfast. Are you familiar? Pink bitch is named Breakfast? <laughs> which pink bitch mm -hmm. is named Breakfast? She's the, this little dog who's dyed pink. <laughs> And her name was Breakfast. <laughs> oh, you're not meme. talking about a Pokemon right now. Oh, the meme. Oh, yeah, I know Breakfast. Okay, mm -hmm. so we need to get you a little pink bitch named Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, what if we get bitch, you a but... shiny Lechonk? Shiny hunt you a Lechonk. Ayo. Do you have the oh, Nintendo <laughs> Online service? I don't think so. Aw, oh, damn, because if you mm, did, so. we could do a Union Circle... I can make a sparkling mm. normal sandwich with you. We disconnect and you still have the sandwich power up. Mmm. You're so cute. Also, I'm gonna start recording again. Okay, where are the Dunsparce? Where are the Dunsparce at? Watch, I'm gonna find a da Dunsparce and chat's gonna be like, erm, that doesn't <laughs> count. In which case, I'll actually, <laughs> I actually, I actually might rehunt it because I really want to try my luck at a three segment tonight. I just feel like the vibes are mm. right for something goofy, wacky, crazy to happen. Can you only evolve the three segment? You can't find it? Yeah, you can't find a three segment. Oh. You can only evolve it. And it's a Intriguing. one in a hundred chance. It's a one percent chance mm -hmm. when you when it evolves. 
Mm-hmm. And it's predetermined in the dumb spars, so you can't just soft reset and re-evolve things over and over to try and get it. <laughs> oh my god, that would be interesting. <laughs> if it is coded to be 3 segment, it will always be 3 segment. If it is not, then it never will be. I'm just remembering Jonah's reaction. Transfers, so it, by all technicality, doesn't count. Listen. The username is correct. <laughs> <laughs> the username is correct. Damn! You didn't need to murder him. Him? Did we do a oh, pronoun check party pooper? Pronoun check pooper. <laughs> pronoun check party slash pooper. R slash party pooper. That sounds like I don't want to. I don't want to find out what is happening there. Honestly, it's Reddit. Who knows what's going on? That shit's the Wild West. Why am I down here? I need to be up there. Hold up. I'm, I'm actually morbidly curious. <laughs> Wait, I'm a horse. You're so no lead coded. And by coded, I mean I don't Party know. Brainwashed. Sam. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Work. Okay. Brainwashed? I'm not brainwashed. I'm just a league head. <laughs> You're a little bit. Um, I the word know. is autistic. Oh, I don't say dear. coded. The word yes. is autistic. Aw, you call me dear. <laughs> <laughs> In this situation, that's, that's not a good thing. That was a very I don't condescending care. You call me dear. dear. You call me dear. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you'll take it, then I'll dish it. Okay. Work. Okay. Work. I need to stop saying work. <laughs> I'm scaring the Dunsparce. I'm the Dunsparce boogie man. Boogie woman? Boogie? Oogie woogie? Okay. The good news is that r slash party pooper is not really a thing. <laughs> Damn, for real? I, I thought you could say r slash anything and it would... And it would be real. I mean, I mean it's real. There's just like nobody in it. It has 58 members. Wait, <laughs> but nobody's posted in almost a year. Oh, and before I that, like to four years. That, dude. I'm sorry, friend. Forgive <laughs> me. Forgive me. Please burrow away in fear. I need you to despawn immediately. <laughs> I love how um parody Despawn subreddits are called are called circle jerk. <laughs> what? Like if there's a subreddit and there's a parody of it, it's the same name and then circle jerk. <laughs> Is that like the there's name nerd? Kinda. <laughs> like it's name nerds and then name nerd circle jerk. And then um I don't know what other ones there are, but because that's the main one I'm <laughs> looking at. Rebecca's gonna go look for a shiny Cyndaquil in PLA. Best of luck. Best I of once luck. tried to get an alpha shiny Cyndaquil and I gave up on that hunt before I ever did it. So I have D like seven phases of footage that are deleted and gone forever in the cosmos. Oof. If I give shiny luck, will it transfer to YouTube? To Rebecca? We can do a Rebecca <laughs> mm -hmm. Shiny Luck found fundraiser. Bet. Oh, but Switch. oh yeah, you're the only one on the Twitch chat. Okay, all the Shiny mm -hmm. Luck that Ryan is sending in the Twitch chat will go straight to Rebecca oh. for the next two minutes. I need to send more then. <laughs> That's three. That's four. That's five Shiny Lucks. Five's a good even figure. Find a shiny alpha relic. I would die for a shiny alpha relic or decidue <gasps> or anything from that line. Ooh. I would die. Five is an honorary even number. Y'all can't even argue that. Hmm? 
You said five is an even figure. It's a round figure. I meant around. Yeah, that's what I meant more. It's an honorary it's even, even number. Lack. I knew what you sixth meant. One. Because five is just satisfying. Because it's half of ten. Sweetie, one is half of two. Well, one is neither odd nor even. It's odd. It's prime. Isn't it odd, though? Help me out, y'all. If you'll consider oh, one I'm not odd. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, <laughs> how about the Mets? How about the Mets? Okay, party people, you are kind of based. <laughs> this one time. Don't take that and run with it. Five is honorary even because things usually easily like line up or count by fives. I don't know, five is just a significant number the mm -hmm. same way that ten is to us. Well, mm -hmm. it's a counting building block. Mm -hmm. Like, think about like the things, things in life five. that get... that. Yeah, think about what, how you feel when something ends in a... like... what like ends in an integer of five. Sweetie, some people are neurotypical. <laughs> <laughs> Listen... Running with it immediately. No! Wait, 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 wait! <gasps> Give it back! No, you are not based. Give it You're back! You are not based for when you said that, um... What's-his-face didn't count? That is not based. That is cringe. Wait, when I said? No. When... Oh, when, when Party said... Pooper was saying goodbye doesn't count? Yeah, that's exactly. pretty cringe. Yeah, that's that was pretty cringe. cringe. NGL, We're gatekeeping? not gonna lie, TBH... Be honest. <laughs> That's gatekeeping. And also, you're a woman. We believe women. So. Oh, you missed a really wrongs. funny bit. <laughs> you missed a really funny bit earlier mm -hmm. where I was talking about remembering the three G's: gaslight, gatekeep, <laughs> and say it with me: gag the hostages. Girl boss. Huh? <laughs> That's the correct. That's the correct response. Gaslight, gatekeep, gag the hostages. Huh? <laughs> I love the soundboard, but I can never get to it as fast as I want to. <laughs> I think I just need to leave it open. Bummer? What are you bummed about? <laughs> Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I feel like my brain is melting. We might be getting near the end of the stream here, y'all. Oh. oh, sweetie. We do not. Um, That's a little too... A little too graphic. Maybe we don't say that. No, no, he's got it. He's got it. He's got the right spirit. <laughs> a little too far, but he's got the right attitude. You know, we need more go-getters like you around. Do we? Probably not, but I'm going to say <laughs> yes. For the funny juice. I mean, we need more people. He's got it. Yeah, you get it. Why are there so many long fellas here? <laughs> Why are there so many fellas? I need dudes. Oh my god, there's so many fellas. I need to, dudes? I need to flee. I need to flee. I need to flee. Despawn the dudes. <gasps> Wait. Or de Cooper, the where? Where, where, where? Cooper, don't... Oh, are you manifesting? Or are you pointing out? Because... Or did Goober find a shiny? <gasps> oh, wait, is oh, Goober doing... Screw you, man. Oh. Screw you, man. <laughs> 
man. We thought you found a shiny. We were about to be happy for you. Chris is upon you. Chris is upon your family. Chris is upon your bloodline. Chris is upon... Not your pets. Give your pets kisses for me. But, but your Chris cow. is upon you. Your cow, though. Your cow, cursed. <laughs> How dare you say JK? <laughs> nuh -uh. What are we, seven? <laughs> Aha, JK. Unless... <laughs> Just imagine a vine boom when I did that face. Shit, we don't have that, do we? What? The vine boom? <laughs> we should have that on the soundboard. Real. Shh. Is that you? I don't know why. Was that you or is Jesse here? Oh, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay. Random metal pipe falling sound is usually how Jesse announces her presence in the mm -hmm. VC. Sorry, I was confuzzled. That always cracks me up. Confusion. Wait. Um. Well, if you ever have a cow, y'all are scary. Cursed. Instantly cursed. Y'all scare me. Also, uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but. Huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry you don't have pet. Definitely a farm Stardew Valley count for curses. Um... Yes. Maybe? Well, no, because if you curse, they might lose their game progress, and that's, like, actually terrible. Um... No, Stardew Valley is fine. Nice. You're, you're not cursed on Stardew Valley. But if you get a real cow, it's over for you. And the cow. Goober... Goober, are you, are you like, joking, or are you being mean to yourself? Because... You better not. No, I think Goober's just being a Goober. He really lives Good. up to the name, you know? Is he a goofy Goober? Um, I would even go so far as to say downright silly. <gasps> Rebecca, how you doing? Um, yeah, Re yeah, Rebecca been here. Also, Party Pooper, are you good? <laughs> you sound... Oh. Or, oh like, yeah, is Rebecca saying male. her Stardew Valley? No. Oh, you're what? no, sweetie, you're not what, cursed. What, what, we're not cursing her. No. We're cursing. Who are we cursing again? Party uh, pooper. I think we're cursing party pooper. Mhm. Mm yeah. Did y'all ever notice how pretty May is? Oh. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Lilo, you're so pretty. Lilo, yeah, she Everybody's is li pretty. Mm -hmm. have, have you two people been around for a puppy cam yet? Have y'all been around for I a puppy know. cam? Have y'all? Let me know if y'all want puppy cam. Let me know if y'all want puppy cam. We'll do full screen cam with the dog. Give her lots of scritchies and loves. <laughs> this dog tolerates my love so much. Puppy cam give me. I think that's a yes. Okay, we're gonna window out. Yes. We love a Lilo. We do love a Lilo. Lilo, is it puppy cam time? Hold up. Hold up. Hold hi up. from Papa. Papa Ryan says Papa hi. Papa says hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get those oh, screechies. Man. Get those screechies. What a good girl. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh. oh. Let's get some of those. Do you want your butt scratched? Do you like your butt getting scratched? Do you like your butt scratched? Booty scratch, 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 booty scratch. I love you, baby. I love you. Oh, she getting, she getting angry. Here, let's go up here. Let's go back up here. You like, you like the next scratchies? You like the next scratchies? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Is three here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Come give me your loves. Come give me loves. Come here. Hey, don't be grumpy. Don't be grumpy. Why are you being grumpy? Do you want tummy rubs? Do you want tummy rubs? Mm -hmm. Look at that leg go. Look at that leg go. She's getting the tummy scratches of a lifetime. Oh. <laughs> Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. Oh. It's a little lady. We get the chest up in there. We get her belly. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that leg go crazy. Okay, baby. I love you. Can mama get a kissy? Can mama get a kissy? Hey, 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 come here, let me give you a kissy, let me give you a kissy, little kiss. Oh, don't be grumpy, Ooh. don't be grumpy, yeah? you want more butt scratches, don't be mean. fine, you can get a few more butt scratches. <laughs> you can get a few more butt scratches as a treat. Oh, she's doing a little air lickies, she's doing a little air lickies. Mm -hmm. Oh, she getting it, she getting it, oh, hi, Jesse. Oh, what the France is doing? <laughs> no bite falling sound. Hey, Lilo. Hey, no bite. No bite. In honor of Jesse. In honor of Jesse, do the metal pipe falling sound. For real, for real. <laughs> what a good girl. What a good baby. Aww. Damn, three pretty best friends. The double hand scritch. <laughs> oh, she's like kicking both legs right now. She's kicking both oh. legs. <laughs> she's straight up vibing. Okay, baby girl. Mama's gotta get back to work. Can mama have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? No. <laughs> You're gonna be grumpy. <laughs> You're gonna be grumpy and try and fight. You're not being oppressed, baby. No one's oppressing you. <laughs> no one's oppressing you. She does not want to kissy. She does not want to kissy. Oh, maybe she does want kissy? I'm not oh. gonna do that. She will never trust again if I did that. Oh, she's kicking her leg from a neck scratch? Oh. <laughs> okay, baby. Mama's gotta get back to work. I love you. Yeah, puppy time. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So here's the deal. I started a new recording at the beginning of that puppy time. I will use that footage if we get a shiny in like the next like 10, 15 minutes. Sound like a deal? Shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> Yeah, that is my baby Lilo. She means everything to me. She is a pit bull boxer. She just turned three. Um, is the video out yet? Back in February. Or... The dog video, it comes out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, keep an eye out, y'all. There is a dog video tomorrow. In the morning, 10 a.m. Eight or seven hours and 52 minutes from now. I'm actually going to be uploading two videos because I sort of went to bed early Ooh. last night and forgot to upload my Friday video. Big oops on my part. So we're getting Dog Keep Quest video peeled. and Green Quest. All the green Chinese. Ooh. 
So if y'all like content, there'll be plenty to watch tomorrow before I go live, probably later in the evening. Well, not that much later in the evening. I'm going live at 6 mm -hmm. o'clock tomorrow because that's when our VGC tournament t starts. Mm. Speaking of which, I definitely need to finish building my team tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, asked, I haven't built my um, team yet. I asked Ali if you were ready, and she was like, I think everybody's ready. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I'm not ready. I mean, I, it's going to be really easy. Like, I have the materials... I have the means, I just haven't put in the time of actually, mm. like, going and training everything up. All I need to do Ooh, is just gotcha. spend a bunch of money on a bunch of vitamins and go and hyper-train stuff with the bottle caps I already have. I don't need to grind you anything, I don't need to do any raids or anything, I just need to do it. So, I'll get it done tonight. Oh, the dun I did not. Yeah. Did you get shiny the dun? Gonna get shiny the dun? No, I don't want shiny the dun sparse. I want dun spart. <laughs> Give me dun spart. <laughs> dun spart Simpson. Dun spart. Eat pant. <laughs> Eat pant Bart. Done, son. Are you done, son? <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> Are you winning, son? And if you want to change it to be talking to a woman or a grill, you simply say, Are you winning, hun? Aww. That's what I like to say. Like that Jesse, is cute. I'm like, Are you winning, hun? And it still rhymes. I love that. Er, mm -hmm. Well, it rhymes with the original. Love to see it. We get the rare 271. Oh, I see. Consider this. One segment to Dunsparce. One in a thousand odds, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Has, has anyone tested it to see if we could get a one segment to Dunsparce? I think um, that's just called a uh, jumbo size gun farce. Mm hmm. Fuck, I wasn't looking. I ran into another dead gun farce. Would this be faster just flying around rather than trying to scare them all away? Let's find out. <laughs> Experiment time. More of just, I want to change the scenery time. Mm-hmm. Fuck around and find out. We for real gonna fuck around and find out. Um, Mr. Who? Um, I beg your pardon? I mean, okay. Honestly, huh? shape-wise, huh? not entirely wrong. More like the beads, though, than like the plug. Yeah, more, more like beads. He's got the right spirit. He's got the right spirit. Just a little confused <laughs> on the terminology, but he did cook yeah, a little same bit, idea. But... Let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to show you a cooking show with Michael Simon and you're like, oh my god, it's Kofu. <laughs> oh my god, it's Kofu. I don't know, that guy just looks like a dad and Kofu gives dad mm -hmm. vibes. Mm-hmm. Mr. Who, who are you talking about? That's Thunderous. Wait, let me... Oh, Thunderous oh, I see is it. beads. Oh, that looks painful. Oh, that looks painful. right. I found a shiny dance press right as I said that. What am I... Pray. How am I... <laughs> what What part of that is going to stay in the reaction? Do I... Just that do I have painful to include, and that's it? Do I have to include that part? <laughs> do I, no, I think I just got to lean fully into it. Yeah, one of my chatters said dance press looks like a butt plug. Listen, I can't control my chat. Just be glad that that's not the chat that gets shown on the screen. Name it Beads. Rebecca! <laughs> You're the last one I expected to be on board with this. Name it Mardi Gras because of Beads. No! <laughs> All right, I always, that's a different kind of Beads, but... 
She's it's small. <laughs> She's tiny. She's a beginner size. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sweetie. It probably isn't a three segment, so it doesn't count. Erm. Um. Erm, um, actually. Um, when it rains, it pours. What you mean? Um. You're not squirting. <laughs> Good thing I didn't do anything yet. I'm gonna cut that part out. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all know that the words you say have an effect on the people around you. You realize that, right? Can we? Can this be a lesson that we all collectively learn tonight? When this inevitably mm -hmm. ends up being a three segment, I'm just saying. The vibes are right. <laughs> Things are really goofy right now tonight. I'm feeling Rebecca, that. Were you, were you talking about what I was talking about, or are you talking about something different? <laughs> the wrong thing. Big brain. Um. Hello. Hello, you're back. Yay. Any other nature guesses? I think Goober's the only one mm. in the chat that didn't nature guess. I'm gonna nature guess Quirky. You know I gotta. Um, Naughty. We got Quirky, we got Naughty, we got Docile from Mr. Who, Modest from Rebecca, Docile from Party Pooper. She is brave. Oh, very She's brave. Brave, <laughs> brave for showing up right then and there. Um, okay. Let's evolve this thing. Oh, right, I always forget in Area Zero we get this evolution screen. Okay, y'all. Done for us time. We have a regular old two segment. Oh my Nothing God. crazy. Three segment. It's the two segment! <laughs> Ripperoni. Ripperoni. Okay, that's cool. Um, I guess we're just gonna keep on going on with our night. Okay. Let me... Let me... <laughs> Party pooper. I'm just gonna say... <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Their name is not Beads. I don't think they even have a name. Yeah, I didn't name it. I'm not naming it Beads. If it was a three segment, I would have named it <laughs> Beads. But because it's just solutions. a regular two segment, it doesn't get a nickname because it's not important to me. There's always Gibble. True. Or consider this. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Party pooper, what you talking about? Are you saying I'm a red flag? I was just gonna tell you, like, shut up or something. I wasn't gonna say any stupid shit. Fine, you'll name your three seven shine to dumb stress from last week and be do it. <laughs> Oh, Rebecca. I love that for you, especially because it's not even a bad word, but it's very... It's very naughty. Suggestive when you think about it. It's very naughty. You better use a naughty mint on that thing. Okay, y'all. <laughs> we need another shiny to go after. What are we thinking? No more Dunsparce. No Gibble. No Minior. No Starters. Everything else is free game. Did someone say Alolan Geodude earlier? Is anyone still feeling Alolan Geodude? Tell you what, maybe y'all y'all drop suggestions in the chat. 
I am gonna go do my little smoky cam. And I'll be right back. Not smoky cam, but I'm gonna put up my be right back page and go smoke smoke really quick. Immortal Mutiny wanted me to hunt Tandem Mouse. Um, if you want to see me hunt <laughs> Tandem Mouse next weekend, I have a 24 mm. hours of shiny hunting, but RNG decides my targets video coming out. I hunted Tandem Mouse there, you and it's very funny because I had to fail a shiny, a charm or a shiny nose pass in order to find the Tandem Mouse. You'll have to see. Mm. But I will be right back, y'all.
Hello, I am back. I got coffee. Hello. Yeah. I am stony baloney. I'm thinking, <laughs> hear me out on this, y'all. I'm thinking one more shiny for tonight to end out at a rounded... What is it? What do we have? 19 shinies caught so far? Yeah. Let's get a nice 20 shinies caught and we'll call it a night. Lilo, stop. Hi, baby. What number are we at right now? We're at number 19. Oh, okay. Technically phase 21, but we failed. Or technically <laughs> phase 20, but that's because we failed the gibble earlier. What's 9 plus 10? <laughs> 21. <laughs> um, what are we feeling for the final shiny of the night, y'all? Oh, oh right, we're doing a Lolan Geodude, right? Oh, we yes. Go, I think so. We can go get the little buffalo nugget. Little buffalo nugget, little meatball guy. <laughs> Yeah, let's get that, dude. A little geocacher. Also, I hope that link works. If it does not, um, it should work because it's, it's from because it's from the mm -hmm, it's from it the Twitch. Work. Mm -hmm. Cool. But yeah, feel free to pop it in the shiny flexing. Prove to us that you are the chosen one. <laughs> um, let's go here. By the way, y'all, when I say we'll end it for the night, um, I mean that we will end the whole, like, how many shinies can we find in one night thing. We'll finish that up, but then we, we might do like an hour or so of winding down with some alpha resets. Ooh. Or, oh yeah, Ryan, did you DM the link or put it in the chat? Because if you put it in chat, it's not in there. Oh, big brain. I think you'll have to um, DM it because it doesn't allow links in chat. How do I... How do I DM? Uh, I actually don't know if there is a DM feature. Rebecca, if you're in the Twitch chat, or if you can hop over there for just a yeah. second. Yeah, if you can go to the, the Twitch chat, there's message. a link in there. Mm -hmm. Or it's connected to just my Twitch page. You don't have to even go into the stream mm -hmm. itself. You can hop over. Thank yeah, you. that's probably the best way to get the link. Also, drop a follow if you haven't already. What up? Heyo. <laughs> the big ball. <laughs> right. That's my real Ariana, what are electrode. you doing here? <laughs> I'm going to eat now. Okay, Goober. Thank you for okay, hanging out tonight. Night. You are lots of fun in here. Hope to see you again mm -hmm. in the future. Bye-bye. Good night. And if you haven't already, be sure to sub. Speaking of which, I'm going to yes. quickly check my YouTube analytics because... Oh, yes, we made it past funny number. Oh, thank God. I was stuck at 666 for a while, and I was like, please don't let this be my fate. Don't let me be that channel. <laughs> Where people just keep it at the funny number. Good news mm -hmm. is, if we get one more sub tonight, um, you can be mm -hmm. 669 and have funny number 69 uh -huh. on your number. What are we doing? Electric. That's right. That is a good plan. Oh. Um... I feel bad when I like something and it was at 420, but I mean, if I like it, I like it.
Wow, peppery. Very peppery. <laughs> All right, I was just putting a bandaid on my foot because I got this little stab on my ankle that I actually oh, just like, rubbed my sock against it and like, started like peel it. So I was like, I should get a bandaid on this. And luckily I had some nearby. Get well soon. Yeah, it'll be fine. Want me to kiss it better? Oh. Um, that's my feet. Stay the fuck away from my feet. <laughs> Keep your mouth away from my feet, or I will kick you. <laughs> Valid. <gasps> Oof. Okay. Well, Naughty we Nature's still Shiny 3 segment. And Hell it's yeah. Beads. Rebecca, I'm simultaneously disappointed and proud of you. <laughs> proud as a shiny hunter, disappointed as a human. <laughs> Hello? It's a red. Oh, Rebecca, Andrew, don't worry about. Wait, is red up? What's up? He just he just oh! joined the freaking call. Has it been four <laughs> hours already? <gasps> wow. So red has it's a weekend been, job today. So red has a weekend job today, but still wanted to wake up early for his um. Like it's not until eleven a.m., but he wanted to wake up early to do his workout, so he's just back in the VC while we're still streaming. What up, bro? Not much, and no, it has not been four hours. It's been five and a half. Does that mean Damn. you already did your workout? No, I slept in an hour and a half. Oh, good, good for you, dude. You need it. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. I do be deserving of it. Get that mm -hmm. REM sleep, baby doll. I say baby doll ironically. Anyways, I'm going to start recording <laughs> now. He's very much not a baby doll. He's a teddy bear, though. I'm the polar opposite. Polar bear? You're a teddy bear, though. I said a polar... I said polar opposite. He's a polar bear. Polar bear. <laughs> Is he a bear? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cute, Big white. Cute and huggable, but. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I meant, I meant the gay way, but okay. <laughs> anyway. Covered in hair? Question mark. Actually, don't answer that. <laughs> I don't want to know about your ass hair. People have ass hair? You don't? Huh? You huh? do? You don't? <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> okay, good. I'm you had to go there for a cause... second. I thought you were about to be like the most naturally silky smooth motherfucker around. Oh, man. <laughs> that was funny. That would have been... Quite a plot twist. You're like, you do? You don't? <laughs> Red juice has that effect. Man, this motherfucker uh, is mm -hmm. funny this soon after waking up. So what did I miss? Um, what did you miss? What was the last shiny you were here for? Shit, um... Froakie? Greninja, were you here for the frost last? I was here for the frost. Uh, um, Satoddle? What did he miss? I was here for Satoddle. Bonsai? No. Jangmo? No. I think frost Weavile? last was the final. Frost last was the last one you were here for? Or, or, no, Satoddle was. You weren't here for the Weavile? No. Or Sneasel? I'm happy you got it, though. That was my recommendation. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I went for it after. I did get it, and it had the snow frolicker mark. Uh, you missed a personality mark, Porygon Z. You missed a very funny score bunny where I sacrificed and killed a man to get it. <laughs> uh, we got the whole Gabite to spawn. 
So it's been a good night. We're doing one more shiny and then we're probably going to wrap up the one stream take and then swap over to do some alpha hunting. So by the way, all the people in YouTube right now, um, we're going to be ending stream for a little bit, but I'll be restarting stream and running for like one and a half, two hours of some shiny alpha hunting. So I hope to see y'all over there in the alpha hunting stream. Or if it just brings you right back if you're lurking, then hopefully that works too. Red, why didn't you like the Gengar picture? What Gengar picture? Because we don't blasphemize saints <laughs> in in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, are you gonna send me the picture? Sure, it's in the Discord, I think, uh, but I can send it too. Yeah, there we go. Hang on, I need to see this. I need to see this. <laughs> Oh, he got them legs. He got them legs. He got them chunky boots. High heels on. Double laced up. What? <laughs> Guess he's laughing at it. I can see re why Red <laughs> wouldn't like it because of toxic masculinity. But you know, I think this is a look for Gengar. I like it. it, has, it has I think nothing she's going places. To nothing to do with toxic masculinity it's just like gengar's <laughs> legs are stubby and stubby leg gengar will forever be the best gengar consider this but, gengar but with long legs <laughs> who's that um, also hi i'm on um i am joined in voice or the one in the background this is my lovely girlfriend jessica you can call her jesse and i'm in vc with the, one of my best friends in the world slash brother red and my sort of boyfriend, not officially labeled yet, friend Ryan. Ayo. Hey, Is that a good description oh, oh. for you? Do you like that pitch? Yes. <laughs> huh? Sausage party in Fuck, you just call me? Should I share my first huh? name on intent in the Discord channel? Yeah, go for it. I would love to see it. <laughs> I'm sure other people would be interested too. Fuck, it's fake mom. Fake one is when people make like fan made Pokemon. So it's just a Ooh. fake Pokemon. Would love to see it. Feel like to design their own Pokemon, make their own regional forms of stuff. Mm. Y'all are so creative. I've actually heard stories about like some Fakemon designers online being approached to like sell their design to Nintendo <gasps> because they want to use Ooh. it for an actual like form or something like that. Or they get hired by Nintendo directly as an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's happened before. I can't name any names, but I'm sure it's happened. I'm skeptical of that, though. I'm be real, I don't know shit about the other one, but Violet's pretty good. <laughs> um. I have not played Pal World. Uh, I know a lot of people wanted me to, but... I Ooh. figured it was a fad that would die out after a week or two, which it did, and I'm glad I didn't spend $60 on it, or however much <laughs> it was, because I do not make a lot of money. But I'm glad people got to enjoy it. My, The only thing I can say about Power World, I have not watched like a lick of gameplay other than like the trailers and everything, but f just from what people have told me, I think the reason it died out so fast is because it, the graphics attracted... Uh, certain players but then the gameplay appealed to other players oh hey shiny lola geo dude let me elaborate <gasps> cool. the art style was all cutesy and animated and would attract people that like pokemon for that same reason but then the gameplay mm, is sort of like edgy 10 year old i'm gonna shoot pokemon in the <laughs> face with a gun type of gameplay he's not marked Ooh. it's okay so it seems like the type of players that would enjoy the gameplay weren't being attracted for the art style. And people who were attracted for the art style weren't captivated by the gameplay and left the game as mm. a fad after a week. So that's why the game hasn't survived. Then I just heard that it was very glitchy and buggy and everything. 
But that's just my take on it. <laughs> Again, as someone who has not played it, just from what I'm hearing from other people. I mean, to Rebecca, are you Aussie? Early access, though. Yeah, Jesse has a good point. It's early access. It could change a lot. Mm, I think the game could true. go places, but I think they need to reevaluate their art style and maybe lean more into the nitty gritty side of things. Mm. <gasps> you are Aussie. Aussie. I figure as much. Because A, you're up late. B, you seem pretty invested in the Aussie region, which, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's, we think in Gen 10. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that earlier. We've talked about that so many times. <laughs> you know what? We were talking about... What were we talking about? We were talking about Power World and everything. Let's get quirky for this Geo dude. Mm. Sassy. Any other nature guesses in chat? That was so orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If she's still in the room, tell Jesse hello for me. Oh, Red says hello, Jesse. Me too. <laughs> she waves and says hello. Hello. All right, we got quirky, sassy, adamant. We have Hardy from Rebecca. He is calm. Clamming it up oh. for real, for real. <laughs> clam. Clam? Clam time? Clam time. I'm a clam. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm a clam? Hold up. <laughs> okay, y'all. You know, I think we're going to call it a night here. We got, we caught 20 shinies tonight. Technically saw 22 because of that Porygon and the Gibble fail. But overall, I think tonight was a real success. And I'm making sure this cat doesn't try walking over on my keyboard again anytime <laughs> soon. Alright, y'all. I'm going to do a little outro here for the video people. And then I'll stop the recording and label my footage. And get ready to shift gears over to some PLA hunting. Hell uh, yeah. Jesse wanted to go to bed soon? Um, like, maybe, although like... Yeah, I could help out with that. I could put up a little beer on back page and do a new starting soon screen for um the YouTube the new YouTube vod because I'm gonna start a new stream for Alpha Hunting just so it has a different thumbnail. All right, radical. So yeah, let me do this YouTube outro and we can get everything situated. Well, to you, the viewers, thank you so much for watching. I love doing these little how many trainers can I find in one stream type of things. That's always a really fun way to spend a Friday night. So if you want to spend Friday nights with us, I stream every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Um, usually starting around 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time, sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later, but always live later into the night. I'm now streaming on YouTube, but you can also catch me live at twitch.t slash but if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this where we kind of just go after random targets and chat suggestions and stream highlights and everything, drop a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for even more shiny hunting content, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. And that's a wrap. Hell yeah. Great work. Alrighty, y'all. So, I'm going to stay live over here on Twitch, but I'm going to put up a new starting soon screen. Jessie needs a back rub because she, she slept weird on her shoulder the other day and it's been in a lot of pain. So, I'm going to go and try and rub out some of the pain for her. Um, YouTube people, AO, rub out. YouTube people, we're going to be ending the stream and then in like exactly one minute, we'll be restarting the stream with a different thumbnail and we're going to hunt some shiny alphas on PLA. So, let me just make sure I save here. All right, save there. We exit out. We go over to PLA. And we're going to get ready to go. So I will see you all in just a few minutes. We're going to have a starting soon screen up. And I'll be back in a bit, y'all.